story. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Dodgeball Alberta Provincials 2024. Here we're watching Mint versus another Edmonton team. What is it? I'll just double check. Odd jobs, odd jobs. The timer stopped on this court. Oh, okay, cool. We have time over here. So, I'm Amanda, I play for Rack Attack in Calgary, and then we have... Hi, good morning everyone, this is Yvonne from Rack Attack, coming at you. So we got Mint and Odd Jobs. Yeah. So, Mint is playing with five people because they want to save the spot for Kyle B. This whole tournament is Big catch. Kyle B. You can see all their jerseys do say 34. I don't think they even need six players. I don't think so. Oh my goodness, they don't miss. They don't, for Kyle, right? Four for four, oh. Brad last year, I think, was MVP of Provincials. Oh my. Mint is unstoppable today. By Brad. Big rush, big hit. Holy moly. I'm very sorry, I'm not familiar with everyone's names. I definitely know Mint for sure, just not the other ones. Oh, I can look up. I'll look up their names. Play call, four balls coming up. Big block. They're looking for the grab. I wonder if we're going to see that big volleyball up that Kyle's famous for. Yes. Oof. Two throws, two outs. That was two provincials ago that highlight is stuck in my head every time. Yeah. People all over, all over the world have been trying to replicate it. Yeah. <laughs> the cow beat. Oh, my. Big cross court. Like Mint doesn't really even need to come all the way up to make their shots. They're they have a power quite ball. deadly even from yep. dodging three there, two there. Oof. Another point on the board for Mint. What is the score now? Looks like it's 4-0 for Mint with 23 seconds left. Pretty equal in speed. Oh, Up. oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah. Let's Takes go. Their rush that speed is about the same. By Adam Webster. Adam Webster. Brad is safe. Brad hits. Up, 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 another up. up. Yes, that's two ups. Going into sudden death. Six on four? Six on I four. I thought Brad was dead, but I guess maybe the count. Oh, looks like refs are talking. Did that throw count? Does anyone know what the regulation is on that? If you catch after the sudden death timer has gone off, looks like they did count it. Yep. Yeah, it's six okay. on four. Sudden death is a whole other game. Yeah. Okay. I think it's the one time I'd never want a ball. 
Yeah, it's dangerous holding one. Odd jobs, dodging two. It's now a five on one in sudden death. Here we go. Target should be ball here. Oh my God. Nice. Breaks back Big Adam. up catch. Looks like the player stepped off already, so he's he's got to go off, unfortunately. So the odd jobs are actually a small roster. They currently only have seven players and they come from Edmonton. Ooh, big windmill. So who just threw, number 11 is Chris. I'm gonna put your last name, so I'll just say Chris. A lot of exchanges back and forth. Odd job's coming up, dodging another. Now it's four on two balls. Ooh. That Ooh, odd jobs is dodging even better in sudden death than they were in regulation. Look at that, they are Almost yeah. unstoppable. They have now six balls. Some people, some teams I would throw them all. In, uh, death, eh? They are shy. Not here. Oh, four, three balls went. None connecting, unfortunately. Adam now two. Oh my goodness. Sneaky. Ref's calling Safe. bounce on that, looks like. Wow. You have to talk closer Choose to the mic. Two shot. Big dodge. If anybody can Another do this, dodge. Adam can do it. He has now just one ball. He looks like he breaks his knees every time he dodges. What's going to happen? He's going to throw last one. He sure is. Together. No, no catch, I don't believe. Really? I see it as a catch, no. but that's just my. Oh, they called it a catch. Yeah. Okay. Ref's call. Oh, oh very close. They had so many situations where it was five or four balls yeah. against two. Yeah. Great dodging from Odd Jobs. Great catching from Mint. Yes. We're now switching halves. It's 5 0 for Mint. Odd Jobs did a good job at like the shadow catches and the pop-ups. Mm. It is the first game in the morning though, so yeah. everyone's kind of waking up, yeah. warming up. Definitely emotional morning with uh, you know the celebration mm. of talking about Kyle B. Yes. There is a GoFundMe that is um, live right now mm -hmm. uh, for Kyle. Yep. Um, there's also a, um, jersey. a special jersey, um, and, a, and a, someone has donated armbands, stickers that are for purchase today. Yeah. And all the proceeds do go to the family. Opening rush here. No one lets off. Mint with an obligation. Mm. Just one, missed. Yeah, one shot, one hit. The right corner, surviving two, four. Mint coming back with four. Boom, boom. Oh, two throws, two hits. Big counter out the left corner. Fighting for that ball. One standing in no man's land. Big dodge, big oh. up. Oh, yes. I think Corey. that hit the floor first. Oh, interesting. Looks like they are calling it a catch. Big counters. Not a whole lot of coordination between the odd jobs players right now. They're kind of looking at each other. Mint coming in. It's an Ooh, uphill big battle hit. to actually come up from a. 5-0. Ooh, big dodge. Big lateral step there. Okay, bye, Paul. It's a four-on-one situation. 
Big dodge. Oh. oh. He dodges I was two. hoping. I was hoping. Just barely getting clipped by the last one. Great job by the odd jobs player. I feel like Odd Jobs is going to have a very long tournament with a small roster like this. Yeah. Opening rush, mint to the line first. Big kill. Betty, you want to come? Oh, she's doing great. Betty Mac is here. Up. She's dying to commentate. What stream are you on? Big block. In cloth, that would have been a hit back. You block back at the other player, that's a hit. Mint coming in with four balls. Ooh, big hit. Mint is deadly accurate. Odd jobs with four balls, five balls, three players. No hits, unfortunately. Back to one. One ball, two balls coming in for odd jobs. Mint coming in with four. What? Big dodge, big lateral, woo! Oh, unfortunately, caught him not looking. Eyes front at all times. Big counter, big catch, and that's game. It must be tough playing against, you know, players from your hometown. Absolutely. Because you you have nothing to hide at this point. Yeah, you've practiced with each other so much that yeah. you know each other inside out. Yeah. Four minutes and 20 seconds left on the clock. 7-0 for Mint. Another kill for Mint off the rush. They're fast. They're accurate. Odd jobs coming in with four. Oh, big hit. There we go. There we go. Oh, jobs are still looking for that point. Maybe this is the set. Oh, big double. That's tough, especially when you stand so close. Oof. Ooh, good job, Washbrook. Brad. Washbrook. Classic Washbrook. Yeah, classic. Mm. Yeah, mint dominating here. Six on one situation. Trying to pre throw, unsuccessful. Ooh, got him when he wasn't looking. Oh, he survives. He's got four balls. Washbrook not letting down. He says, oh, come up. I dare you. Come up here. I'm going to catch your ball. I'll either hit you or catch you. Oh, yep, yeah, as he says. <laughs> and that's 8-0, Mint. And how much game time do we have left? There's two minutes and 30 seconds, but it looks like the timer's frozen on our side. Bit of a fumble on mid side. Yep. Good dodge. Odd jobs coming in. Play call. Four on two balls. We send two. Not hitting anyone this time. Nope. Ooh, that sounded hard. <laughs> hard throws, but nothing happened. Mint is looking really good. They're approaching together at the line. Pace is good. Odd job's good lateral dodging. Oh, just so honest. Just barely clipped him. Wow. That was from Paul. Good hit. Uh -oh. 
Down oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's his favorite. Ooh, oh, that's a, a double. double on the mid yes. side. Yes. He doesn't he couldn't even see it. Nope. Those Communication. Are the yes. Kyle would have probably caught that with his back muscles. Oh, 100 <laughs> <laughs> percent Oh, oh yes, Brad big cat. Oh. oh, Leonard out. Big cross Leonard court, with though. a big Taking smile. Washbrook. It's one on three. Like these are these are possible. This yep. is impossible. Now we're down to three mint and Chris. The dodge. There we go. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> With the <laughs> hit at the end. Yes, yeah, just the last trailer. Yeah. The trail is so effective in just catching someone when they're just 100%. trying to recover from a big dodge. Yeah. It is now 9-0 going into sudden death. I don't think I've ever seen 10 points being won in a right? Mint is definitely playing very hard today. Yep. Early ball from Odd Jobs. Not connecting. One coming back. Two coming back. Three coming back. And catch. Nice catch. It's so hard the first game because you're, you know, just warming up. The adrenaline hasn't kicked in. Ooh. Oh! oh. Uh, I it thought that was like two, a catch. But yeah. That was oh a nice my goodness! Wheel. Deadly accurate. Last one coming in a little bit late. It's now three that just on got three. Out is right? oh. Don't quote me on names. Corey. Both with teams a being nice quite ball trigger to catch happy. And he missed it. He's quite upset with that little floater <laughs> of a ball. Those are the hardest balls to catch, the ones that are just so nice up in the air. Ooh, Ooh there we go. Oh, Leonard. Wow. The catch. There we Another go. Domineering. Ten zero. Game. Ten zero mint against odd jobs. Good fight, odd jobs. There's still six minutes left. Oh. That was it. No, okay. that's it. Oh, okay. Well, good job. Good I game. I guess this is the end of us. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, Dodgeball fans, we're live. This is Matt Creamer commentating uh, Future versus Fresh. All right, here we go. Uh, fresh up. I don't know a lot about the Fresh team, so this is going to be a learning experience for me. I have a lot of experience playing Future, a bunch of rascals they are. All right, let's see. It's on Fresh. Let's see what Fresh can do. Let's see what Fresh is all about. Oh, getting an early shot off the toe. Ankle Hunter off of, uh, oh, Dan's safe. They're calling him safe. No, they're out. Those big ankles. All right, Dan's out. They're down to Dan. Fresh with another big hit off the start off Nick. All right, well, at least we know one thing. Fresh has accuracy. It's important, gosh darn it. I was missing everything in my first game. As long as you get the ball on target. Hey, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, you know what I mean? All right, first throw by uh, Future. First aggressive throw. Swing and a miss. Oh man, fresh with another sh uh, shot off the line. Those are hard to get, just cold turkey shots. All right, well the first game for both of these teams, they're, uh, they're shaking off the ring rest. First, first game of the day, big hit off Nigel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, Sean survives that one, getting low. I suppose I should use the last names because you guys can probably see those in the background. Or no, we got a diagonal shot. Okay, I can actually see the angle we're working on. Nice, isometric. <laughs> oh, another ankle shot. Oh my gosh, we gotta be careful for these guys. They're ankle hunters. That's the key, man. Everyone was ducking today. You gotta aim low. I think low is the way to go. Farron with a shot on target, but a big block by the double zero himself, double negative. All right, that might be a bounce. Still there, ankle hunting, that's nuts. All right, Farron is definitely a bona fide rascal, so let's see if he can keep these guys on their toes. He's got ball advantage, so he's got to throw. He's got a little bit of a nasty dipster, so he's gonna do a backcourt dipster here. Boom! There he goes, gets low. Oh, there we go, clean and true on the counter shot. Oh, that's, oh, I couldn't see it, but it sounded like a hit, but he survived. Ankle Hunter, Farron with a double ankle hunt. Oh my God, he missed both though. But on target, gotta give him credit for getting on target. There we go, finger block, good honesty. All right, Farron's bringing it back, it's two to one, or two on one, I should say. There he takes it, call it, they're calling him out. All right, he brought it back. Future's got legs, long, luscious legs. Good block by 88. All right, Farron's gonna take the shot. Oh, goes, dips it too early. A premature dipster. All right, Fresh has gotta take the shot here. Counter throw by Farron, and a big snag by Small. Hey, well that's it, you know, the, the score, the score says 1-0, but that game went right down to the final throw. All right, all right. It just the, uh, the tail of that game was early hits. Fresh was making their shots count. I don't think Future had many uh, ball advantage throws early on in the game, so they just had to kind of grind it out. But isn't that funny, they got all the way to the end. There you go, Nick takes a big shot early on. He might have got traded, but he does get a kill there. You could tell there was a little more urgency in Nick's play there. And you can see Coach uh, marks his Ravi on the side. You know, they want to want to perform well for Coach. Another early hit off Nigel, counter fires. Oh, Sean with a nice play there. Sean's throw is very accurate. It's always a, it's a troubling thing to see Sean come barreling after you because you know he's not going to miss. All right, let's see. Oh, Small gets taken out. You got to watch for Small. That, that catch he had was definitive. Noted Small. All right. Uh, number three with the throw. You know, when you got those ones, you can't get too close. You just got to take a shot before they pick up balls. He's ankle hunting. Misses. Uh, big shot from Mike, he misses as well, everyone's staying alive. All right, one thing is for certain, certain. Future wins the award for loudest jersey in the gym. There you go, there you go, with a little bit of a yell. 
little bit of a battle cry there. All right, one apiece. With one minute to go, four and a half minutes to go. Ish, roughly. <laughs> it's getting wonky, we're being uh, alerted. All right, Future flubbed the early shot. Liam gets taken out. I don't think he saw that ball coming, though. Uh, good uh, throw of opportunity by Fresh. You can tell that they have, uh, they have an instinct for the game here. I do believe they were third or second place? No, third place last year uh, in the uh, total provincials. So you know they came to play. Nice hard throw by uh, Cody. But a miss. All right, Farron gets that ankle out of the way. He's like, not today. These are my ankles. All right, big pressure by number 17. The captain, oh, he's got the big C. Lots of pump fakes by Fresh, but they don't come out with a hit there. I'm noticing Adam Bader not on the court. He's still got his sweater on. I wonder if they're saving him for tomorrow. I wonder if that was Coach Mark and uh, Mark and Shot Day. Am I getting the name right? They have two coaches, uh, Future. I wonder if that was uh, their call. Say, hey, keep that arm fresh, buddy. It's going to be a long day tomorrow. All right, big hit off Cody. And Nick in the middle gets crossed. All right, uh, Fresh is definitely willing to take those trades. And they seem to be picking the right calls, at least from my perspective here. I'm sitting straight in the middle of the court. It's not a, usually an angle you get to see this type of dodgeball from. I'm sitting on the 50-yard line. Think about it. Anyone ever watched dodgeball from the 50-yard line? It never happens. Seems like a different sport. Sean with a big block there. Maybe I'm going to stand up. There we go. Now we're living, living the dream. All right, two balls on fresh. What do they opt to do here? They stay alive, get the ammo back. Smart play. Sean's going to give a lot of pressure on the line to say, hey, I'm watching. I'm a rascal too. Mike with a big cross court. Doesn't come up with it. That is a beautiful, just start jumping. You just got to jump against these guys. More high flying maneuvers. Oh, big shot. With a block. Sean, more accurate throws from Sean. And they get him back on the shoulder. Up, oh, does anyone grab it? No, oh, but they both run over the line. I can't believe it. Oh my God. Hey, that, you know, killer instinct. They both wanted it that bad. Willing to just cross the line for it. That crossed the line, boys. All right, and bringing it down to a tie game. I can't believe that. All right, well, a little luck on future side there. Let's see if they can take advantage of it. All right, you might not be able to tell from the camera side. But one thing Mike is known for here is a very fast release on his throw. When he's winding up, and they call themselves out. Very good honesty by Fresh. Fresh honesty right there. So Future now pulls ahead. Mike's throws very quick, comes out very fast. It's almost had no wind up at all. You can never tell from the far away view though. <clears throat> I'm telling you that on the court. That's what it looks like. All right, Future a little early on the, uh, they were first to the ball. Fresh is gonna pressure up, get that ball back. Dan with big pressure. Lots of pressure from Future. They stay alive, they all get low. Everyone's getting low today. What, did I miss the memo? Get low. I like jumping. There you go. Mike gets hit on that cross though. Future's very good at uh, moving after they throw, but uh, Fresh is just accurate enough that it doesn't matter, it just don't matter. Bounce. I think Joa stays alive there. All right, high fives all around. Is this a timeout? Oh, sudden death, okay. 
All right, sudden death, no blocking. You see a block, you take a drink. Oh, you can hear that one across the gym. But now Fresh has four balls. They're going to ammo up. Let's see if Future opts to throw first. Oh, the Shagger might get this one. Eddie Shagger, no, no shag. I also noticed Alex is not suited up either. Another Future player. They're shagging for themselves. Good try. Buzon goes for the big catch there. You got to do that in uh, Sudden Death. At least he didn't block it. When you block in sudden death, that's when you really got to kick yourself for. All right, did they snag one there? Or take a hit? Nope. All right, a lot of arms on the court right now. And they do bring one in. Temple taken out. This is a big match here. You could end this 2-2 for Fresh. Down to one, double O negative. Makes the hit, and no team catch. Hello. We have another commentator. That's right. I decided to come at halftime. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do you think that's what's going to happen for a Fresh? Are they going to regroup at halftime and come up ahead? I think they're going to all have to change their jerseys, freshen up. Mm -hmm. I, I really think what Fresh needs to do is uh, get some swag, like some uh, fabric softener or something, like a special brand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Gain. Gain is my favorite of all the <laughs> smells of the, of the laundry. <laughs> wow, so these are some tight matches so far. Yes. Tell me tell me, tell me so about them. So far, it seems like Fresh, the name of the game is that Fresh has accuracy on their side. They're making almost all their cold turkey throws on target, ankle hunting all day. Uh, but Future has legs, and they're scrappy as heck, so they've been able to bring it close uh, on their losses. But they have pulled it out uh, two times in a row here, so it's Future's momentum right now. Down right. to the last throw. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Black and Trunk. I like this matchup, too. Both guys move really, really well on the court. Definitely. I don't know too much about Trunk. Oh, oh ankle hunter and again. he finishes it. This is what this guy does. He can move so fast, get to every corner, um, and then and then just make that hit. In that case, that was a perfect place for it. Yeah, that's the name of the game. Uh, everyone I've seen on Fresh Throw, they got very good accuracy. I'm watching you guys. <laughs> and this Fresh team is actually very fresh compared to last year. So there's lots of brand new players on brand this Brand new, one. yeah. Yeah. So we do have the, the veterans that came last year, like Greg Buzon and Brian Flowers. Mm -hmm. Jerry Trung was here last year. Um, Chris Berry, of course. The Chris Berry. I don't know if you know. You have to say the Chris Berry okay, when you I was say on, it. Good thing yeah. I knew. Good thing yeah, I know now. Now you know. Um, but, yeah, we see Kyle Temple coming back after a couple of years. He played on Onslaught a couple of years ago. Okay. Um, he's been to Nationals before. He's he's one of those, like, kind of sleeper guys that you kind of expect to just kind of be chilling out. He always has a super chill way, but makes a lot of great picks. Lots of action right, right yeah. there. Right oh off the goodness. start, you can see Sean running like a bat out of hell. They really wanted to start that game hard. Uh, Nick is well in the line and manages to get that counter throw block or uh, catch. And they took Small out. Well, Small's got hands too, so that's a big hit. Yeah, really big hands for Small. Yeah. But <laughs> oh, <man>. uh. <laughs> Fresh isn't ready to go down. No, Fresh has got some kick in him. Nice to see Joa on the court here. Yeah, he, even though he's a hometown boy, we don't get to see him play a lot, but I had no idea he had as hard a throw as he did because when I first moved here, he was injured and did not throw, but he was always in the gym. So the first time I saw him throw was a year after I met him, and it's a hard throw. Yeah, and he just seems like one of those like 100% dedicated guys, always doing everything. Also, like volunteering for everything and helping out. And Oh, yeah, he's a gem. Call him salt of the earth, shall we? <laughs> yeah. All right, one takeout for Fresh. Yeah, they're bringing it back. Kevin Good Goo's honesty. getting hit. Yeah. I think that hit him in the ponytail. The ponytail's I mean, a liability. Yeah, I you got it. We should probably just cut we're that. Gonna off. Have to go, we're going to have to go cornrows, <laughs> cornrows next game. Yeah, yeah. Someone braid that up. Yeah. Now, Greg Boo's on. I call him oh, like wow. the king. Oh, I was just going to give him so many props <laughs> and for being like disregard. the guy to stay alive disregard. forever. Yeah. Come on, Greg. You're proving me wrong here. Uh, but still, like, nice, tight, close games, everyone. Oh, yeah, there's been no blowout. Well, actually, the first game was kind of a blowout for Fresh up until uh, early on. They made, like, four hits in a row. Beauty. Yeah, so really lots of action happening in these these first games. Or in the rush, pardon me. Look how fast these guys are going. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Temple getting knocked out. He's like, I'm not even going to throw this ball. Forget it. Five. 
So speaking of some of those new players, Kyle Mellon played on Excel last year, on Fresh this year. Okay. Like a change on Fresh. He's moving on up. Yeah. Wade Small's been in the dodgeball community for, oh man, like at least 10 years. Wow. Uh, playing rubber dodgeball in the rec leagues for ESSC. Oh, oh double. Oh, double. Take yeah, what can you do? Mm -hmm. What can you do? But Wade is deadly and uh, never should uh, underestimate him. No, I mean, I don't know anything about the fresh players because I've only been here for a year, maybe two years most. I saw him last Nationals and I didn't get to play against him, so I don't know anything about this team. Well, that's why I'm here. Oh, big catch oh, by Dan Lack. Boom, boom, boom. You can totally walk in front, that's no problem. Yeah, do it. Yeah, do it. No problem. <laughs> All right, Fresh getting ready to tee up another team throw. Oh, there nice cross court. Oh, good on Steve. Calling it a pound. They're a green. They're green. A pounce. I almost called it a pounce. They pounced on him. <laughs> oh, nice, nice throw. Nice getting low. Getting low. I don't know if I missed the memo, but everyone ducks now. I thought we. I thought we were jumping. I thought oh it was a jumping Oh my gosh! Sport. What a trade. Yeah, had to go for that one. No flinch though on either guy. And you gotta make that shot, right? You know you're going down, you're if, right at the line. If like, you're Sean and you're already taking three steps at full speed, you darn well better take that shot. Yeah, take the dedicate to that shot. Oh! oh! So close by Small to take that one back. Future up one point. Okay, that was a big game. That was the tiebreaker game. Mm -hmm. mm. Never mind. That was the <laughs> the put an extra <laughs> nail in the coffin game. There's yeah. how much time left? Four minutes? Oh, there's minutes? five minutes. Five minutes, so anything can happen. So much time left, you never know. At the rate that these guys are playing, definitely. And with that sudden death at the end, you never know, right? That's true. Ooh, uh, that hit. was a nice tricky play. This time they opted to have Nick do a big fake throw and Cody came and took a sneaky shot. And what a benefit too, to always have kind of like one player down right from the get-go on these rushes. Yeah. Just killing it. Getting low again, oh my goodness. Oh, there, big yeah. play by Cody. And, and that's nice, Like I feel like as a dodgeball community, we're all like, we have to throw, we have to throw group throws, we need to be super organized. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's nice just to walk up to the line, they're getting organized, they're not paying attention sometimes. Like, just get the hit, it's right there. I agree, but you do have to practice that and you do have to trust your teammates. That not everybody's gonna throw all <laughs> yeah. the time, right? Yeah, totally. Sometimes if you have someone like Cody playing, he's gonna throw it so quick, you don't even have a chance to throw your own one. Like, all right, I guess he took it. <laughs> yeah, it's gone, she gone. Flowers taken oh, and out. A big and catch by oh, Cody. Wow. Foley making a great grab there. All right, turn it up. It was the first game of the day for both teams. Looks like they're getting their sea legs here. Man, I love that that fall backwards catch. I know, so I gotta nice. work on that. <laughs> it hurts my butt too much. I am sorry. I can't. Yeah, I gotta get like butt padding or something yeah. for it. We're too old for that, you know? Like, I'm too old to do yeah. just about anything here except <laughs> throw anymore. Oh, That's and right. I put a microphone on. Yeah, Mitch, do. thank you. Thank you for correcting us. We <laughs> could put a microphone on or organize a tournament or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we can start talking about. Uh, oh, I went, oh, there's lots Anyone? of things happening here, but I think this one is going to be tricky to, to get three points in three minutes. But yeah. I feel Unless like it's been done before. It could be done, yeah. but they're going to have to make every hit count. Mm -hmm. And Future's going to have to make some mistakes. Well, uh, mm -hmm. get two gets a trade one. there, so one in, one for one. Oh, oh, oh Sean Farron, oh, and jammed oh, the old up a finger. finger. Oh, he's you know looking right at me. He's giving me a thumbs up, but I don't. Do you know how hard he had to, to not use an F word there? He killed it. I'm, way to go, Sean. Nice work. All right, work. but it's the, the left thumb that yeah. he'll be back. Oh, for sure. Nice. Oh, Nigel. Getting low, Nigel. Nigel. Oh. Tallest guy in the team getting low. Or tallest guy in the court, anyways. So you are noticing people ducking a lot yeah, more? Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen a single jump today Yeah. On this in this game. Mm -hmm. I know in my first game, I noticed everyone was ducking. I'm like, I just got to start throwing low. Yeah. What the hell am I doing? Exactly, yeah. Toes. Faces and toes. I know it's probably a horrible thing to say out loud, but. I don't know if I've ever sub or intentionally aimed at the face, but. I, You know, I it get it. Like it's it's kind of a gentlemanly thing. Yeah, I guess, like, because your face, you're going to always try to block or, like, cover it, right? Ooh, Cody's but. throwing a little extra pepper on that one. I just know when I get thrown at my face, I have extra mobility. Like, it's like a survival thing. Like, yes. you ain't hitting yeah. this face. Yeah. Or for me, well, I'm giving away my secrets here, but I uh, like to put my hands in front of my face so ah. I don't get it. For pure survival. Excellent, excellent survivability for the dodgeball court. Yeah. So everybody throw my face. Obviously, it'll work. Fresh up on players, 4v2, or 4v3, I can count. Nice shot. 
That survives. That is one thing that I, I do say about Alberta players. I obviously am a huge fan of Alberta players, but the one thing that I think that as a community we need to work on the most is just like accuracy. Have you ever <laughs> noticed as that? As a province-wide? As a province-wide thing, <laughs> accuracy is kind of the thing. And I've seen a lot of like really good That's shots awesome. today. Lots of like things just right on the toes. Um, and, and it looks really good out there. So maybe they've been working on it. Maybe, maybe that's what we will be game. known for this year. Yeah, accuracy. Nice block by Dan. Yeah, beautiful. Just ducked and just bit down on the mouth guard. But he did get the block there. It looked good from my angle. Mm -hmm, definitely. One minute. Two, two, oh, nice try. Just gets some sort of finger or yeah. wrist. Still up for fresh, though. They can easily take this ball well, easily. It's never easy, is it? Yeah, well, they, they got 45 seconds to go. Oh, Coach Mark is shagging for the team. Mm -hmm. Actually, both coaches are shagging for the team. What a, what a great set of coaches. <laughs> or just they want to be able to coach from the sides, and this is the <laughs> only way that that's allowed. <laughs> All right, Always trying to circumnavigate the rules, am I right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Kyle Templeton. Another accurate throw. Yeah. Oh, and Lack just given the face, eh? Like, oh, I got that one. <laughs> yeah, love it. All right, 2v2. Oh. Okay, Futures accuracy is really getting uh, zoned in here. Totally. I don't think they've missed in the last three volleys. And it looks like Future will take this one, but we will finish out the sudden death. Yeah, points count for the seeding tomorrow. Is that accurate? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, get your points. But All it's right. kind of last. So it, like, the way that these one, the, the standings work is it'll be most total points, then the head-to-head -head match. So if you are tied with somebody, uh, let's say Fresh and Future have the same amount of total points, mm -hmm. but in this game, Future won, they'd be ranked ahead of them. Uh, and then if it's if they didn't play each other for some reason, which in this case wouldn't happen, the kill. then um, then you would go by the the differential. Nice dodge by Dan. Man, this good guy. movement. I Lots of movement here. It. Like his feet never stop moving. Ever. Yeah. Oh, oh there it is. And Flowers is able to close it out. There you go. That was well earned by Fresh. Yeah. Keeping it nice and close. All right, there was moments of that series where it looked like it could go either way for sure. Yeah. Lovely to see all these new players just fitting right into the fresh fold and uh, coming out strong. Of course, future looks exactly the same. Same roster for probably the last, what, three, four years? The last maybe? two years, yeah. They've added yeah. Joa and Cody in the last two years, but they've been on for the last two years. Yeah. Really helps, you know, like that, the experience and the, and the cohesion, right? Yeah, like I said, you got to trust your teammates, and the more you play with them, the more you trust how they work and how you work. So we'll have another game with Future versus Spicy, who were, what was their team name last year? Uh, was Spicy was called Titans. Titans, right, okay. So a it's lot the same, of the same. The same yeah. lineup, they've added... Uh, Max Cluche. Max right? Cluche and yep. Adam, or not Adam Bader, uh, Alex Bader. Alex Bader. Uh, Alex Bader is a very dark horse get for them. Uh, he's a very he's a game changer as well. So they've got two huge additions to that team. Yeah, and he played Trashers, right, Alex? Yeah, Bader he was Trashers. And yeah. playing against Trashers, he was the one we were most worried about because he's the hardest one to hit. He's mm -hmm. the black hole. Yeah. So the one that everyone focuses on. Yeah. Um, for moves a big guy, really he well moves too. really yeah, yeah. For a big guy, he moves really well, and huge he plays throw. smart. And yeah. then Max, obviously, a Team Canada player. I've been playing him. I I knew him before he was on Team Canada, but uh, yeah, he's uh, he's been training hard. He moves well. He's a really tough guy to play against. Like if, if we're dealing with like stats in a sports game, like he's got really high and every there's no there's no flaw in Max's game. Yeah, and his release is so quick. Yes. I would love to see like a slow motion uh, version of his throw, just to kind of like see like how how much his arm kind of goes backwards. It's kind of crazy. I early on in my dodgeball days, that's what I did all the time. I would always photo like I would be videotaping from the side sneakily. And then I would go home and watch it in slow motion. Be like, why is that throw harder than mine? That was before I knew how to throw properly. Yeah. Like, uh, but one thing about Max's quick throw is it's not just a quick release throw. It also has curve on it. So for oh, yeah. a quick throw to have curve, that's very deal uh, hard to deal with. Yeah. Watching a lot of the other provincials in the last couple of weekends and, and some, like watching some of the curves on some of those throws, it's absolutely unbelievable. I just, I wish these balls, these uh, like Dodgeball Canada WDBF balls, I wish they had the texture of the Gator Skin balls because these ones don't curve as much as gator skin balls. If there were a seven inch gator skin ball, I'd be able to curve it like an extra, an extra five feet. 
a court to, like cross court because they don't have as much texture on them. They're a lot smoother. So I, uh, I wish we would change balls, but everyone's used to these ones now. But then you lose out on some of the catching game, which is, you know, That's true. my favorite part. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna get smoked out and not pay attention. Ooh, some new jerseys then. Oh. Yeah, oh, they're bedazzling. Mm -hmm. They're fighting now. Who's gonna have the loudest jersey on the court? That's right. Okay, let's talk about Kevin Chee. Oh yeah, he's, he's the black hole right now. Uh, oh, playing I against Kevin Chee, he draws so much aggro and so much attention, but he's also very innovative in the way he moves. Uh, there was a matchup in the practice, uh, we've been doing Wednesday practices, Vince, Future and Spicy, where it was uh, Cody Foley and Kevin Chee, and they were going head-to-head -head at the very end of a game, and I was like, this will be very interesting, because Cody Foley has a lot of experience. Kevin Chee's fairly new to this format of dodgeball, like two or three years playing it steadily, mm -hmm. um, but he did this, what he did against Cody was he did a fake throw where you, you follow through with your fake throw and turn it into a spin, and then came back with another move, like another fake throw. Like he was doing like spinning fake throws, what? and it actually stumbled Cody enough that he managed to get him off balance, which is so hard to do, and uh, he won that game. And so I was I was very impressed by Kevin Chee's ability to do that. He's just an innovative player. Yeah, I, th I think, and, and I, I think I have to say it out loud, I think he's my favorite person to watch. <laughs> Your favorite person? I think he's like my my favorite Alberta athlete to watch. I, I just love watching him so play. So what? Fresh uh, adopted him last year, didn't they? They, they did. Brought him the yeah, nationals. The nationals. Yeah. So they must have just seen him play. And said, "Can we just bring that guy with us?" Yeah, yeah. So at the end of this tournament, there is opportunity to um, adjust rosters uh, ever so slightly. Um, that's true. That's true. Which is awesome. It gives some of these teams an opportunity to bring some of these players that maybe didn't qualify but can still kind of get yep. experience on that that top stage. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's a good opportunity for us here in Alberta. We do get quite a few uh, teams to take to nationals, which is very nice for us. We get four men's four. teams. Four, yeah, that's great. And three women's teams. So out of the eight men's teams, we get half of them get to go. So we're very thankful for yeah. that. It and is nice to see uh, West Coast Canada um, getting more exposure in the uh, the seven inch format. I feel like for a, a while there, at least from my perspective, because I came from uh, Vancouver where the VDLs King, yeah. uh, VDL plays the big ball format, and that was all that was played for 10, 12 years in a row. Um, and so a lot of those players got really good, but just not experienced at this format. Yeah. And so in the last five years, say, since 2019 or so, that's it's slowly become the main format that uh, most people play. Mostly because you can actually, you can see the advantages that you can play the best in the world in this format, but you can't really do that with the big ball format. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's always nice to be able to play teams from out of town, play teams from other countries, and but with format. VDL, you can play a lot of really fun tournaments. True. Well, VDL has <laughs> VDL has the TOC, which is the Tournament of Champions, where yep. they uh, they bring teams from out of town, uh, international as well. And Unicorn Cup. Unicorn Cup is Alberta's Calgary, uh, right? sort of big ball format tournament. And it's draft too, which is super cool. It is, but yeah. uh, draft is stressful. I I always <laughs> dislike being on a draft because really? unfortunately, unfortunately, if you get drafted early, there's a lot of responsibility on your part to, oh, to shape the it. team. Nah. Yeah, just play and have the best time ever. That's the whole point of a draft. Actually, um, in Edmonton, uh, we re kind of reorganized our women's community, and mm -hmm. we had amazing, amazing draft uh, leagues on Tuesdays this, the past two seasons, and it's just been like awesome. We've brought in so many new players. Oh, that's good. And and just watching the change of these brand new players in one season has been unbelievable so I'm well it's really good if you excited. get if you get new or inexperienced players to play on a team that they nor with good experienced players that they normally wouldn't get a chance to play with it does grow that player quickly Absolutely. very quickly yeah we're trying to do that for the men's now but um, it seems like uh, Kevin Beebe and Joel Kravitz from our Cannoneers team mm -hmm. they've been spending a lot of time like really trying to make teams happen in Edmonton too so that's really great to see the some of these teams change a little bit We'll see how they perform in this tournament. All right, for anyone watching at home, I would say these two teams are the one, the number one and number two favorites for Calgary. So you're basically watching Calgary's top two teams play each other right now. And interestingly enough, Spicy took the practice game on the Wednesday. Ooh. They said they don't usually win against Future, though. Mm -hmm. They're so modest. But I do think Spicy has been practicing harder than anyone, frankly. Uh, they've been going to out of town, out of like international tournaments. They've been playing a lot. I think getting Max on their team. Yep. was a, a big turning point for them where they take it very seriously. Future, obviously, as well, so you get a good clash here. All right, now I see Bader's on the court now as well as Alex, so we have uh, the full the full Future team in effect here. Mm -hmm. 
not the baiter on the future side. So now this right, is going to be two baiters, super yeah, And they're not confusing. related. I always yeah. thought they were because they were both I tall. I know. And I thought they like they looked kind of alike enough. Yeah, I was like, all right. Cousins, but no, no, so, yeah. no. I did ask last year. I'm sure they could ask all the time. I just assumed. I yeah, assumed yeah. that they were brothers. Yeah, because I don't know if Calgary's like Edmonton, but it's basically oh, a small town. <laughs> it's a big city, small town. Big hit by uh, Sam off Bader there. Big hit. Joa staying alive on a couple of throws. Notice how he got low. No one's jumping. That's right. It's out of style, I guess. Jeez. I'm just all about the lateral move. I don't know. I don't want to jump because I'm old and it hurts my knees. <laughs> and I just step one to the side. It's fine. It works. That's good. The side step works. Yeah. You time it right, it's, yeah. it's impenetrable. It's tricky when you have six people on the court because you're always stepping on someone. But yes. Yeah. Easier when you're the last person. That's right. I also came up with a move called the penguin one time where you just walk along the back wall. See, because I said Alberta needs help with that aim. So I could just walk along the back wall and I, sometimes I would say. Oh, big first good, game taken by Future. Hunt. That was an early win. Let's see if Spicy can rally up here. And sometimes that's what it takes, you know, lose that first game, reset, yep. come back stronger next time. Absolutely. I don't know if Spicy's played yet either. I don't know if they played on the other side. Oh, no, they did just play. Yep, they just came off playing Cannoneers. I don't know the result oh, of that one, though. Oh, oh wow, taking throw, yeah. takes out Nigel. Yeah. yeah. Does that look correct? Yeah. Oh, the score? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're here to talk, man. <laughs> it's easy to talk about dodgeball. Big I mean, block. You, I mean, the, the viewers would rather have us talking than the quietness, right? I guess. That's what Otherwise, they're like, for. is something wrong with the stream? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's broken? Yeah. Somebody turn it back on. All right, Angus getting low. low. Angus, another old timer, but he he doesn't move like an old timer. Yeah, how old is he? Are we allowed to say that? I know he's younger than me, proper. and I'm probably, probably one of the older guys in the gym right now. Mm. I'm one of the older ladies in this gym, too. Actually, I'm playing on Team Dinos, and one of the girls like, are you called Dinos because you're so old? And I said, wow, thanks. <laughs> oh, lack taken out on a nice That was a good play because uh, Sam Al was taking so much pressure and so much attention, and then uh, Havers took the cross there. Beautiful play. Oh, oh does Ranjot nice. bring it in? Ranjot, he he's known for that. He's a rascal oh. for catching. And you it came like under his hands and then over his hands. Well, and they've been playing against each other for the last 10 years, Ranjot and Vader, so they know each other well. Not in this format necessarily, but. Isn't that interesting though, hey? Like all these teams that play against each other, like all this time, anybody can win because they know, because they know each other so well, mm -hmm. right? It's nice to be the team that nobody knows. Bounce. We'll you call can be bounce. a little be yeah. a little tricky. Well, interestingly enough, uh, we play uh, Mint and then Cannoneers back to back today. It's the all Edmonton special, so I don't know much about any of those teams uh, about playing them necessarily. Mm -hmm. so you haven't played Mint? Uh, we played them last year, but we don't. We haven't played them in a year. Yeah, uh, I guess, right? Yeah. And I don't think we've ever played Cannoneers, so it'll yeah, be Yeah, brand new team. Brand new team. They just uh, formed this off season. A couple of, uh, a few people from Fresh were taken uh, uh. onto this new team. That's why there's an extra one there. Great to see four uh, Edmonton teams. There was only three last year. Nice double dodge in the corner there with Eric and Sam both jumping over each other. Oh, oh there you go. Up. You got to take Grand Shot out. You don't want him catching you. Yeah. And that's tough on the back pedal. You got no ball and then mm -hmm. nothing much you can do there. I think Koo just saw a really good opportunity oh, nice. there where he wouldn't get countered. Max getting low, staying alive. I like this new uh, the towels on the towels on the backside. I think it would be a liability. I feel like yeah. I get hit in the towel all the time because it just it's an extra it appendage. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you don't want wet hands. Wet hands probably oh. don't work so good. You get a little bit of. It's good deception there. Yeah, I uh, sweat is like the bane of my existence. Mm -hmm. Which I, is opposite in cloth. I just started playing cloth now which has been really fun. But man, you want, you want sweaty hands for that. It's that easier to grip, grip them, yeah. <laughs> so, so different in that way. Look oh, how nice fast move. that releases. Mike's release is very fast. But he looks unpleased with his targeting. Mm -hmm. 
And he has like, he's normally the guy that you don't see a lot of emotion off of. So that was fun. That was fun for me to see him. You don't see emotion unless he's throwing at you. And the emotion you see is anger. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, that's, that's like an extra thing. It's like intimidation. But have the intimidation factor. Nice movement by Angus, just getting up there. I envy him. I don't know how he does it. What's his last name? Lau, right? Lau, yeah. yeah. I'm bad with last names. Like, it's names I see, but I never pronounce, so I'm That's just going right. to butcher That's last right. names. That's right. Okay. That's okay. We're, we're doing what we're doing. But I know these people. That's what it's That's like. That's right. You're I feel friends. like I'm friends and you can just people. trash them on uh, the commentator, Mike. Too. Wow. Oh, Back and nice. forth between uh, Mike Koo and uh, that was Max Couché. Yeah. Coach Mark sending the ball back. Just got to be honest. You got to be honest. Ooh, Another Mike big is hit. really heating up here. Takes out Angus. All right, wow. Uh, Spicy went down from a big advantage here. Oh, wow, what Nick. a shot. Yeah, definitely. All right, All right two apiece. Yeah, tied up. Nice hops, there we go. No ducks, get up there. <laughs> well, and it's also good to have more than one thing in your toolbox, guess, right? True. Yeah. You duck every time, then they are gonna start throwing at your feet every time. And when you're ducked, you can't you can't move either, which it's is true. interesting. But when you're in the air, you're also dedicated to your dodge that's as well. That's true. You only have so many action points to use, right. to use them all. Yeah, that's why I like the sidestep, because you have a few more options. All right, I like the uh, the energy from Spicy here. They're showing they're not backing down here. Nice throw, but good dodge. So in this in this scenario, it's three three balls a piece. You throw two ever? Uh, I think you mix it up. Yeah. I don't like to be down too much, so I probably wouldn't opt to do a, a double throw. Yeah. It does kind of leave you bare, right? Yeah, you can get countered a little easier with the double throw. But I, I like just being able to like throw as hard as I can. Nice block. So I like to, I like throwing single. I love it when the team's like, hey, hey Creamer, look, that, throw. I just talked about doing double throws. Now you don't have to. There you go. Yeah, you got four balls right now. Just being patient, waiting it out. And now they get to wait for another one. Oh, oh, what a shoot. You can hear that one. <laughs> that was clean <laughs> and true. No chance to move away from that one. Uh, Should have jumped. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in that scenario, definitely. Oh, Eric what a nice shot. Eric with a long shot. bomb. I did not see that one going in that corner. That was a really good no look. All right, they're throwing two here, aren't they? Yeah, they're nope. probably. Or nice make block. A now All he's right. got lots of balls. Is he going to throw two in a row here? He might if he gets countered. He should. They got no balls. They got no organization. They're going to get the, oh, it's too bad he couldn't get, like, one more shot <laughs> He's off. He's just ready for it because yeah. he doesn't know how quick they're going to release That's coming back true, at too. him. That's true, too, yeah. Once you get that ball in hand. Oh, my. Yeah, this is a, this has been a long match. Yeah, this is a crucial match, or, too. Sorry, game, pardon me. Oh, uh, the tag? Or is that all ball? I think that must have been ball. It must have because he didn't we heard even something. flinch it. Yeah, he didn't even flinch on that one. Yeah. Oh, wow, what a nice good dodge. throw. This is good play yeah. by Eric. Usually Eric sometimes seems like he's a little... Oh, oh, get it, get it. Oh. oh. That was that was some very good play by Eric. That was epic. That was an epic game. That literally went on for what? That was like a good five-minute game, yeah. It, was it? Yeah. Or, there's, this, there's only been two so far. Yeah, yeah. it might have been an eight-minute game. Yeah. And now we'll do sudden death right away. I guess going straight to sudden death, yeah. Might as well. By the time they get organized, it will be sudden death. All right, Mark on the court yelling at his team. I love when Mark yells at the team. What's he yelling? I don't know what he's yelling, but I just like his intensity. Mm -hmm. Well, and they've got the momentum now with a 2-0 two, two game. That's true, that's match. true. Match. Oh, man, I keep getting mixed up. Sorry, guys. I still don't know the nomenclature, so I'll probably get it wrong all day. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since I've been on this microphone. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Or nice shot. Organizing provincials is, uh, is taking me away from the microphone. Oh, well, I, well done on it. There's yeah. there's no small feat here. That's a big deal to get this many people involved. Everyone's like, 
they expect it to all run so smoothly. It's, it yeah. can't be smooth. There's so much weird stuff that goes on. Yeah, but I mean, amazing. We have an amazing group in El Dodgeball, Alberta, and everybody's helping out and doing their thing. And oh man, today when we came here this morning, everybody, right. oh, what can we do? What can we do to help? So, the worst shag I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Heading the game. <laughs> she'll, she'll hear about it later. She'll hear about it later. <laughs> That's going to be the, if that's the game oh. changer, right? Okay, well, we can blame that on that. Yeah, right? that ball that's, all, that's all Yvonne's fault. Yeah, obviously. That can be the, the theme for the rest of the day. All right, heavy throw by Dan Lack in the corner, takes out Alex Havers. I hate sudden death. I hate its guts. Yeah? I don't what, like. What would you like to see? Just like game game's over? I'd like to just play to the whistle. Yeah. I think, I think it kind of, it, it just adds an extra thing to think about. I can't block. You should be thinking about blocking. Blocking's a part of the sport. Yeah. It's like they should just say, all right, everyone play with one eye closed. You know, it's, it's like yeah. you have a weird uh, I can deficit. see your point. Yeah, I do, I do see your point. But I do love that it just offers a, just an extra layer of, of yep. strategy, too. And, like, seeing that Ooh, people need to my. have more than just a hard throw and, and more than just the ability to block balls. Well, what do you think do well. is the uh, main ed strategy in sudden, sudden death? death? Or mm. is there one? Because it seems like it introduces a lot of chaos. Uh, oh, and John almost comes down with one. Came back. Oh, and Bass is oh, out Sanu too. says he's out. Oh. Wow. Man, that came down fast, didn't it? Whew. Yeah. Future. Much faster than that last game. Yeah. yeah. That was a quick one. Yeah. I guess that's the benefit. I, I understand the benefit since it's a timed, it's a timed deal, so you need to end it hard. You know, you can't yeah. just be like, all right. But the problem is, sudden death has no time limit, so you could technically spend eight minutes in a time limit or uh, sudden death if yeah. you want. Yeah. Yeah. So that is kind of the downfall of not having these clocks uh, stop, but it keeps the games on time. So <laughs> yeah, what's the what's the benefit, right? Um, oh, the clock doesn't stop for that one. We do today? not stop clock. Okay, okay. It just keeps going and going, just like the Energizer oh, button. Okay. That's right. That's how we keep uh, we keep everything uh, smooth. All right. Good to know. Yeah. Good to know for my future uh, episode or games today. That's right. So. The games right now, they are on halves. So, we'll, like, for men's, we'll have 10-minute halves with a two-minute halftime. If, if that sudden death goes past that two minutes, it just runs into the second half clock. So, um, that one, obviously, no issue there. Really? Oh, I guess maybe we're about a minute off. But All right. That's a lot of work to do in six minutes and 50 seconds for mm. Spicy here. But they need not unpossible. Unpossible? <laughs> All right. So just we need to get people going here. Are they adding time here? Is that no, what's going no, on? No, no, no. I see the ref no, here. No, do not add time. Keep rolling. All right. They're about to bring the band hammer down. See, that's when you're trying to organize a dodgeball tournament. It's important that it all runs on time. All right, little technical difficulties. All right, Spicy back at it. Let's see if they can uh, shake it off. Start the second half hard and heavy. All right, big miss there. All right, this will be interesting to see what Spicy comes up with. Middle throw, good pressure by Sanu. Keep Adam Bader at bay. Ooh, Durr. nice one. Nailed it. Oh, I'm just looking at the time. Oh, low, low, low. Everyone getting low. Bader, does he bring it down? Nope, Bader gets taken out by Sam Al. Oh, nice shot. Nice Just shot a by nice Liam at yeah, Ankle Hunter. Ooh, I like that. Ankle Hunter. Ankle Hunter. Maybe that should have been one of the awards for the awards. <laughs> Best, Best Ankle, ankle hunter. hunter. I like that. I think Fresh might have had to take it on that first game oh, they played. Amazing. They were all ankle hunting. Oh, hard throw by Max, but it just misses. Oh. And the ankles again with the yes. ankles. Yes. Okay, I take back that Alberta needs to work on putting putting things in the right spots. <laughs> you got to watch me play. Then you'd, then you'd oh, be okay. like, yeah, okay. Alberta yeah. needs help. <laughs> Sam getting way up in the air, survives. Yeah. Really enjoying watching him on that wing. Lots of great things happening yeah. over there. Bounce. She with that pressure, legendary pressure. It says, Nick, get the heck out of here. She takes, no, she was just pressure. Man, she even fooled me. I'm the commentator. Thanks, Melody. 
You are my comfort too, we miss you here. You shall be dinos next year. And we have 4v4. Three balls apiece. Just misses. Liam throw, bounces it. Feels like they've kind of, everybody's kind of slowing it down. I guess that, that makes sense for I guess future. You, you, Why you push? need to pace yourself for tomorrow, I guess. Nice block by Sam. And having those, those two games back to back, these have been some pretty intense games. Yeah. Oh man, nice just kill. That's such a hard kill. <laughs> Who has just been on fire today. Yeah, Koo's an animal right now. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I see what you're talking about, the angry face, I see it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's intense. I've never been on the other side. We never play co-ed right now. Yeah, that's true, that's yeah. true. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Lee with a nice takeout. All right, this will be an interesting finish. Spicy with four balls. Are they throwing two? Uh, I don't know. The other team has the advantage. I don't know if I would go two yet. The player advantage, anyways. Mm -hmm. okay, future just taking their time. Might as well. They're ahead, like you said. Yeah, future, there's no pressure for them. Oh, but they did somehow. Did they snake Sam? I didn't see what happened there. Oh, I missed it too. Maybe he stepped out of bounds? Yeah, I looked away and then he was walking off. Mm -hmm. All right, just Eric again, last one in. He's dealing with a lot of pressure. These are three of the rascals on uh, Future. They make you think about a lot of extra stuff. Well, it's and you have to do that for three people. Yeah, that's tricky. Well, just their their style of play, it's to sort of fustigate you. Oh, um, I like, like that. Like Farron and Nick, very good pressure players. I would personally hate to be in there. <laughs> so much trickery. Well, you might have a chance a little bit later today. Oh, we will, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I mean, secretly, I love the challenge. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm coming away with W on this one. Yeah. Lee's really hanging in nice there. Nice play by Eric, though. He gets the kill. Oh, but he oh, calls Oh, steps on the line. Yeah, on the women's court on the other side, they're light gray lines. And yes. I was just like playing over on the out of bounds. <laughs> like, you're like, 12 um, feet off court, yeah, pump faking like someone. Essentially, I was doing that. They're like, um, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Thank you. Just need like a support person on the side to make sure that, you're not, right. that you're not too far onto one side. Yeah, I know what you mean. The, uh, the, ha the center court line on our court was a green line on a dark blue uh, floor. It's like, couldn't see it. <laughs> yeah, we're taking out, taking out on that one. But we're still 5v5. This future had somebody knocked out at the beginning as well. Yeah, both teams have such a big lineup too. There's a lot of, a big roster for both teams. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you try to have some of those conversations at the beginning of games. Like, who who are we focusing on? Who do we need out first? Mm -hmm. I don't know who you pick there. That's uh, pretty impossible to, to decide. <laughs> we want them all out. Honestly, when I'm playing against Future, I like to get Nick off the court because I feel like if he's on the court, he makes he makes it way harder for our team to uh, perform. Yeah, yeah, we can't organize properly. Mm -hmm. uh, Farron as well. Like you're saying, the Rascals. They're the Rascals. Mm -hmm. Also, in terms of like strategy, when you're looking at throws, oh, a nice. Oh, nice return fire. When you're when you're thinking about throws and stuff, do you look at people, or are you more about like let's let's organize and throw at certain positions? Like when we're in the team conference. Yeah. Like um, our team personally doesn't pick a target a lot. You just sort of trust the person you call to pick the target. But on occasion, it's a, it's a rare occasion. But oh, do they get Whoa, it? She brings it down. Catch. That was clean. You see how smoothly he did that? If I did that, I probably would have hurt myself, but yeah. he, he looked like he did. I would insta-bruise in that one, the side. Oh, nice throws. All right, this could be the one. If they could end this series with one victory, I think they'd probably, they'd call that a, a small victory. Oh, Nick's down. 
He wanted that one too. It was right yep. in his pocket, just couldn't couldn't hold it in. Well, this is good. I, I want to see Joe out here. This is a lot of work he's got to do here. Yeah. He's got a lot of work. Is that a full team? Is that a six hour shift? Oh, indeed five it is. Oh, shift. five, yep. Yeah, no. Five hour shift ahead. Nice oh, block. nice movement too. She getting up and out of there. Oh man. <laughs> His pump fakes are unbelievable. Yeah. I love cheese pump fakes. Very good pressure. I just can't talk about how much I love. Well, he's also very hard to hit. Like, <laughs> so you want to take him out, but it's mm -hmm. legendarily hard to do. Yeah, and like the, he'll come back up on you and run up to the line super, super fast, like before you even have a chance to even consider anything. Nice oh, double nice. block. Yeah. I really do like having Chi on the wing, but I, I feel like in the past. Look at that pressure. Oh! He doesn't take it. Oh, he caught it. Did he catch that? That went right off his foot. I had I had their shagger right in my way. I couldn't see. What are they going to call this? That's a catch. That That's a catch. Wow. Wow. So Unbelievable. Does that Somebody mean Chi is that. out? Or that was, yeah. Is he on the sideline? Yeah, he's on the, he's on the sideline. Okay, that yeah. was a catch. Went right off Joa's foot into his arms. That's unbelievable. Oh, oh, Bader coming down huge. Bader catches the Bader. Bader what is Bader happening? Action. Oh, now Joa's got all the work to do again. All Thanks, right. Adam. He's still got a five-hour <laughs> shift ahead. We used to call that the Dayu. There was a guy who used to, like, get caught in, yeah. and he'd get out, like, ten seconds later. <laughs> and so that everybody would be like, no. So there this you go. Trademark. That was the Dao. Oh, oh my god, he did it again! He, that's his exact same catch. <laughs> it's not an accident, folks. Oh my god. All right, that Nigel's got to focus up here. Unbelievable. That is outrageous. Oh, nobody can All control right, these uh, Spice has got to be feeling some pressure. Oh, now. and uh, Big two pressure. outs right Two apiece. This is crazy. Oh my god. Stay gosh. focused, Spicy. Oh, good move. Oh, he's Oh out. my Down gosh, just ran shot. Down oh. ran shot. Oh, too bad he couldn't have made that hit. This is uh, quite Ooh. the turnaround. I can't Ooh. believe this. All right, he's going to play it safe. Yeah, if he took that throw, he'd have got a hail of bullets coming his way. All right, there's a TikTok reel that's coming from the, those two catches off his feet. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, my and word. And come back to finish it. What a game. Oh, what a game. Talking about how much work that Joe had to I, do, and he did it. I said it at the start of the fresh game. Future's got legs, long, luscious legs, man. Oh, they brought that wow. one back. That is a long. Unbelievable. Joa, unbelievable. Wow. All right, I think I have a game coming up, so I'm going to leave you solo to wrap this one up if there's something. Thanks, Matt. Down. Yeah. We are going to do sudden death. Future up for one nothing. Would love to see Spicy come off with a sudden death win here for the last game. They put in an absolutely amazing show. Just a couple of unfortunate bounces in that last one. And we are in sudden death, so no blocking. Probably see people throw a little bit more, more chest height maybe than normal. Or try to still try to hit toes. Lots of patience here. Oh, Nigel Wan taken out on the one wing. Future still has five though. To Spicy's five. Nice pump fakes. I don't really see pump fakes being synchronized as often anymore. It used to be like a big three, two count like this. Oh, big catch by Ku. This is probably the most catches I have seen back to back to back in a, in a game in a long time. Oh, another one! And another one takes out Lee. Oh, and some hits. Oh, man. That was a bloodbath. And another catch to finish it off. That was like four catches in one game. Unreal by a future. Leaves them at five. Oh, it says six to nothing over on the score over there. It is six to nothing. All right, there, that's the correct one then. Next game up will be Mint versus Immortal. So Matt Creamer, who was just on the mic, will be playing for Immortals. Mint, it's the Edmonton team. First place at Provincials last year. 
all wearing their 34 Breeze Bois jerseys. Tough day for, for our community here. Really expecting to see that face. And it's been a, it's been a rough one. And big thanks to everybody watching in the community who sent out support and thank you so much for, for providing all of that. We really appreciate it. If you have any interest in supporting the family, they are, I think they're gonna be doing some more of the commemorative jersey orders eventually, but if you would like to donate to the GoFundMe page that was started by a couple of Edmonton community members, it is um, linked on the Dodgeball Alberta website, so just dodgeballalberta.org. Um, in the news, the, if you click on there, you'll find the link. Thank you for everybody who supported so far. Obviously a big cost to the family and not really expected. We, again, really wanted to see that face here today. And also at this point, if you're browsing social media, uh, Dodgeball Edmonton, there's a, an amazing video made by Melissa Favone of, of all of Kyle B's like, best recorded moves. Oh man, there's some, the, the cross courts on there, just spectacular, I think I, had to have a, about seven cries about it uh, yesterday. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just an unreal guy. Unreal guy, we're gonna miss him a lot. So a couple new faces here at Mint this year. One of them is, a, a, I'm gonna call him an old face, I'm sorry. I'm calling you an old face, Jason Hennessy. Um, has been to nationals several times, went to Halifax in 2017. I'm aging us a bit now. Um, and uh, has played with Onslaught uh, when it came to Edmonton in 2022. I believe he was on that team um, and has been to a few nationals here and there, but it's been, it's been a few years now. Has an unreal uh, windmill throw. Also have a brand new player in Josh Croft. His, uh, his girlfriend, Christina Barassa, plays uh, in Edmonton. And she's a force and so is Josh too a pitcher for, for baseball, so the crazy skill there. He's just learning the sport, though. It's it's kind of my favorite <laughs> playing with him because he gets so excited about dodgeball. Like, he was kind of just like, yeah, whatever, dodgeball for, like, the couple of years that Christina was playing and uh, just started playing on our Wednesday league nights, and he's just, every time something happens in dodgeball, he's just like, oh, man, this sport is so good. I love this sport. <laughs> so all, always really crazy to, to see uh, these new players just loving what dodgeball is and, and how could you not it is great <laughs> i tried to retire at one point but i can't it's just too much fun we also weren't going to see uh mike Woodell wasn't sure if he was going to come from uh from mint but after losing kyle he's like no we have to play for him so we're so glad that he's here also seeing a new face on the other side of the court for Immortals, Jordan Udenarden. He was a member of Mint last year. Uh, he's moved down to Calgary, so now he's playing with the Immortals. See Matt Creamer there, 85. Most of the players on this team have been on this team for quite a few years already. Uh, I think it's a pretty consistent roster over the last few years. So again, you get that, that kind of chemistry throughout the years of playing, which is always a benefit. Okay, so now I get to be biased and tell you my favorites to watch here. Um, of course, Corey Andell on the mint side. He's a really tricky guy, like just stays alive all the time. That sidearm throw that he has is very deceiving. You think it's gonna kinda hit you in the chest and it hits you in the toe. Um, and then on the immortal side, I really like watching Trevor Myers. Really fun player to watch. And double takeout, Adam Webster and Jordan Udenarden. So we're down to fives on both sides. Oh, nice movement in the middle there. See that side movement. The side movement is what you want. Works out real nice. Reed Colley taking a nice block. Oh, side them hitting out, hitting out by Corey Andell, see what I'm talking about. You think it's gonna <laughs> hit you right on your ball and then it hits you right below it. Morrill's getting organized. 
Of course, and you gotta love Sam Long on the on the immortal side. He's been around since like Calgary Sport and Social Club days with the big rubber balls. Oh, nice block. Reed Colley get hit out. <laughs> Four v four. Nice throw by Hennessy. Seeing an overhand throw. I'm surprised by that. We'll see what happens as the game keeps going. Paul Laking hit out on one side, and Bledman hit on the other side. This is kind of just like nice and even. One gets hit on one side, one gets hit on the other side. Oh, and a nice counter. Long hit out. Oh, and Myers, that was a double. Leaves Eugene Liu. And he's taking his time. And Hopper Browers with a ball on the one wing. Another dangerous person you don't want to um, have a ball with when you're throwing. The counters are quick and uh, he'll run up on you. Couple throws. And Dell gets the one below. And we'll reset and do this again. Brad Washbrook coming onto the court, who was the uh, the crazy savior of provincials in the finals last year that put Minta ahead. It was a four v one, tied, and Brad Washbrook gets. All four of them. I mean, two of them on future did step out of bounds. We will we will say that, but uh, it was absolutely unreal how the end of that that match ended. The, did I say end too many times? You know what I mean. <laughs> Trevor Myers calling in the middle. Oh, look at that nice wind up. Bellingham. This is a new player for me. I don't think he was here last year, but I love I love his windup. I'm a big fan. Mint with five, Mortals with five. Everything's very tight here. Oh, everybody jumping on this one is interesting. Creamer was talking about how a lot of people are ducking down low. We're still seeing a lot of jumps here on the Immortal side. Myers getting hit out on a trying to grab a ball. Gosh, rookie move, right, Mitch? Never turn your back on a dodgeball. It will not turn in your favor. Croft getting getting a move in there. So now it's gonna be hard to know who's who on the mint side, everybody wearing the 34 breeze ball jerseys. Beautiful. I don't know if you saw the, the commemorative jerseys that, that uh, were ordered, but um, I loved the mint one. It reminds me of the of a t-shirt that Kyle used to always wear. Like the, the pattern on the on the jersey is a one that he used to wear and oh man. Just beautiful. So I'm very excited to get that to wear. Oh, Croft getting a little bit of a knock there. He's just trying to live like Brad Washbrook there with the hat on. That's a that's a Washbrook uh, staple. Nice shot on Bellingham and Webster taken out on the counter. He wasn't too happy about that, but you know what? It's coming, every counter. Udenarden and Sidetheb. Have a Hennessy Hoppenbrowers mint side. There you go, there's that underhand windmill. Not as accurate as uh, we're gonna, we were kind of expecting. Again, we do have to give Hennessy a bit of a, a berth. Basically, they called him two weeks before this tournament and said, you're in, and he said, oh yeah, I've been in the gym three times this week already. <laughs> so, beautiful. Oh, nice shot. Oh, nice throw. Udenarden able to get away. Balls are even, people are even. On Immortals to throw. Bounce a little short. Mint sitting with four balls. Are they gonna throw two? No, just one. Oh, but what a nice counter. What a nice follow, pardon me. 
trail. I, I'll find the word eventually. It's there. I've had a child. I don't. Words. Words are not my friend. Udnarn coming up the line with Scytheb. Oh, and Humber's letting one off a little early. That's not normally his style. He's normally pretty by the book. And a bounce. And a shot on the toe. What a beautiful toe shot. And that'll do it. Udenarden taking out Hennessy for the first point here for Immortals. Oh, now it's tied. Just kidding. I can I can follow all the all the points. On the mint side on the right wing is Reed Cauley. He would played with Mint last year. New player. Plays a lot of baseball. But got brought in to the dodgeball fold. And Dell taken out by two balls, but I mean only one was necessary. Mortals are full steam ahead here. And Croft taken out. Brad Washbrook actually not having a, too many opportunities to play with Mint this year. He's been working out of Saskatchewan a lot. But he said he's been hanging out with the Saskatoon group. But if you're not seeing him in a mint jersey, I mean, the world is not right, so. Okay. Mortals got the burden to throw. Nice block by Collie in the corner. Burden on mints. Yeah, come on, Adam. Come on in. Here we go, Immortals. Oh, and a nice, nice counter by Blendman. Hello. And now I've got uh, Adam Bader with me. Hopefully I'm better at this than I was in that last game. Oh, come <laughs> on, Adam. Oh, good. You're beautiful. No, stop it, Eric. Oh my gosh, those catches at the end of that last match were just unreal. Right? Yeah. Liam Joa, man. Those two catches off his toes. Like, yeah, so and how gross. to like do the exact same thing like twice in a row? Oh yep. my word! When it rains, it pours. That's right. I uh, think you guys made four or five catches in the last game. Yeah, that was gross. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with my team. Yeah. Oh, and a nice, nice hit. Oh, Jordan against his old team. Yeah, I know, right? It's kind of weird to see him on the Calgary side. That feels right. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, we're sad. We're sad to see him go, but of course. This is pretty cool to see him on a, with an Immortal jersey on, too. I know. I like how he still doesn't quite want to match the whole team. <laughs> He's like, ah, I'm still, I'm, I'm still kind of Edmonton, you know? He's like the, Gotta um, wear the white. What's it called in volleyball where you got The libero. Like, He's the libero, yeah. Oh, of course. He's a tall libero. Yeah. Getting just tagged on the top there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh. libero's normally the short oh, guy, Oh, man, right? classic Brad. Let's go, Brad. Yeah. I mean, can he win a five-on-one? Oh, he's done it, man. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I remember last year's <laughs> finals. <laughs> I, was just, I was just talking about that. PTSD. Oh, uh. uh, yeah. But, I mean, you two of your guys did just step out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, because Brad, look at Brad. How do you not get scared of him and run away? That's true. Oh, oh man. nice. And just, like, the most honest guy, too, he right? Is. Like, yeah. he feels the wind off one. He's like, yeah, I'm out. Yeah. Solid overall, dude. Yeah. Never had a bad experience with him. No, no. Ooh, nice dodge. Except when you're across the court from him. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, well, that's not. But that's not his PTSD. fault. Yeah. That's, that's, him, too that's good. him just being good. Yeah. But he oh. did it He does it humbly, which yeah, is always look, nice. We're down to three on one, just yeah, like that. I told you. Oh! oh! Nice try, Brad. Oh. That was a great throw by Lou there. Yeah, good timing. Good timing. Yeah. I really think that's what Immortals is doing really well in this game, is really like knowing when to throw these counters. Yeah, they have some really strong arms, too, across the board. Definitely. So Mintel try to regroup. It's two to one. That was sudden death of course. Oh, was it? I guess so. <laughs> Good thing I'm commentating, too. Yeah. Oh, second half. Cool, here we go. This uh, dodgeball hub setup is pretty great, though. Isn't it? Yeah. Man, Max and Megan are... <laughs> yeah. But early, early stages, man. It's yeah. awesome. So much. But it's so cool. Like, as, as a starting point, man, it's in great shape. Yeah. I, as a tournament organizer myself, um, a few things to iron out and definitely 100% would hop right on board with it. Yeah, it was so easy to like 
post everything on our website and stuff too, like all the schedules and like the standings are available really easily. It's it's pretty cool. And as time goes on, it'll just get better and better too because um, yeah. all these teams will and all the rosters will get kept on Dodgeball Hub and all the bios and everything. Like for a team organ or a, a, a tournament organizer, it's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. So big thanks to Megan and Max for putting this together. Also big thanks to Max who I'd just be like, hey, by the way, can we fix this thing? And he's like, yep, gives him a couple hours and it's all done. So great experience working with Dodgeball Hub. Oh, oh what a nice throw by Kramer. Matt joined us from the West Coast a couple years ago, and we are very glad to have him. He drops absolute bombs. <laughs> he is, he, I have been on the wrong side of those a few times, and they are they're they rough. They hit. They hit. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can. Oh! oh that nice. wasn't a good enough bomb. Nice catch by Sam Leung. Catch is good. Not sure what they're calling here. Oh, he got. Oh, they're saying that Adam got caught first, and then so his catch does not count. Oh, okay, fair enough. He's saying he, he didn't get hit. hit. He said he got hit when he went for the catch. So okay, it's all right. It's okay. Call's been made. We'll keep moving. We'll yep. keep moving. That's okay. Hoppenbrothers loves a good challenge. Six on one. Let's do it. Let's do this. Hoppenbrowers making the, the cloth team.
All right, dodgeball fans. We got fresh versus spicy. This will be, uh, this will be an interesting matchup. I'm excited to see this one. Let's see if the ankle hunting continues. Fresh early on takes Angus out. Return fire block. All right, I'm gonna see what. See. All right, sorry, people are talking to me. A uh, Max calls himself out. Finger block. All right, early outs on Spicy. The Spicy's got a lot of legs, though. Another long, luscious legs team. Let's see if they can hang in there on this one. Alex with a miss. Still three balls total here. Let's see if they throw an early one, if they hang on. Well, good control. They opt to hang on. Four balls on Spicy side. Sam takes a shot. Going for those ankles. Uh, number 21 survives. Nice block by Havers. All right, they got four balls. I think they're just going to throw one. If I was them, I would throw one. But who are they going to throw at? Good pressure by uh, Fresh to keep Alex from uh, throwing. And Sam is out. He loaded up. He's got ammo for days. He's got infinite ammo. Good pressure by uh, Fresh. Good block. Big block by Alex. Havers, that is. All right, he's going to let fly here. No, he stays alive. Lateral movement and the ankles. I'm telling you, it's, they must be practicing it. They have to be practicing it. It can't be an accident. All ankles all day. All right, good start for Spicy. Early out by Ranjots out. Angus doesn't come down with the catch. She with the legendary pressure on the center line. All right, Spicy's got the balls. They got a good lineup here. But that's a lot of outs in the first volley. Alex with a shot on target. Calls himself out. Good honesty by number three. Big block. Kevin Chi got like five feet of air there. All right, what's the call? All right, they're going for ankles themselves. Kevin Chi is the one to throw. I always find it hard to throw when you're the middle because you got so much pressure looking at you. All right, do they opt to do a counterattack? Nope, just all pressure. I notice when we play spicy, that's a big part of their game. If you throw and miss on them, they're immediately getting in your face. But they don't always throw. They're always in your face. So much attitude. Last thing you want in your face is a spicy ball. Hey, there you go, Mitch on the mic. I've been sitting here for three minutes with the mic unmuted, and I just didn't have an opening. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I'm sorry. I, I tend to blabber a lot. All right. No, it's more about me having talking. Don't want to, you know. Talking is hard. Oh, it's been a day. It's been a day. Well, yeah, you got. There's only so many processes your brain can run, and you're <laughs> running a lot right here. Yeah, every day. All right, they brought it back, three to three. And we've seen these teams uh, play against other teams a couple of times today so far. Yes, that's why I'm, I'm interested to see Fresh go against what I would consider to be Calgary 2. And Fresh would be Edmonton 2, correct? Uh, it's the 2s, the battle of the 2s. Max with big pressure there, gets out of the way. So quick on his feet, that Max. Alex going cross court for the second time I'm noticing here. They really want this number 76 out. I wonder if they saw something. Maybe he's the ankle hunter. Oh, there it is. Max goes for the trade, but they call block. Okay. You do got to be careful with those corners because they are the ones that do the countering. That's true. So maybe they're throwing off the game by not quite countering That's the true. counterer from the Nice dodge by Max. What a, a bout of athleticism. Speaking uh, of the counter. <laughs> and it's there. All right, there you go. Big cross, big block by Small. Ooh, I love a good 2v2 going on. Yeah. Ooh. There oh. it is, and the ankle gets taken. All right, Small's got a lot of work. I'm betting he's going for a catch. Ooh. Ah. You're Michael's wrong. For, well, uh, eventually. Yes. I think deep down in his That one was parts. a little too high for a catch. All right, now he's thinking catch, catch, catch. That's a lot of uh, horsepower on uh, Spicy's side, though. There's a lot of arms here. Oh, but he does go for the catch. Yeah. 
didn't quite keep it, though. And uh, I had something to say there, but I wasn't sure. There was some intimidation coming from the spicy side that the, the catch attempt seemed a little you know what? slower than it should have there been. Is, there is a mental aspect to this game, which I am really fascinated by. When you have a hard thrower throwing against a hard catcher, it's like whose, whose mind is going to be stronger. And in this case, it was on the spicy side. A Although, spicy mind. <laughs> the very spicy. Oh, gee, with a big start and big ups. Ooh. All right, number 17 with a big catch there. Does Max come down with a catch in return? Holy smokes. Man, he, he arches back enough, just enough, for that ball to pop up right in front of his face to be able it's, to grip that. It's definitely not an accident. You know, Max has a training facility <laughs> in his garage. Not a maxident. <laughs> hey, that ain't no maxident. I'm not saying that again, but yeah, that was pretty good, actually. <laughs> oh, Max stays alive. Looks like he hit the ground hard there. I saw a wince, but he's not going to let you know any more than that. He's not old enough to break a hip yet. <laughs> Anyone's going to break a hip here, it's going to be me. <laughs> she stays alive. Angus with the kill on the far side. She with pressure. Just Whoa. pressure for days. Look at Did you see? The and way then, he inches back yeah. constantly, he was buying those yeah. fakes. But that's the thing. She was de delivering so much pressure that Max came in and killed the guy beside him. Oh! And if that, that, if very that smart extra play. ball didn't come out, that would have been a catch. Very smart play. See, the thing is, she will do that fake, 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 and then the next volley, he'll throw the first one at you. So you can never tell if you should take it easy or not. That's part of the mind games aspect. Yes. Oh, for sure. He's got a good, a good toolkit to dip into. All right, corners for Spicy. They, both, they all survive. Max with a big shot. Gets him in the knees. Had a lot of dip on it, that one. Small gets a shot on target, but it's blocked. Small, another almost on target. He survives again. Big block. Small's got survivability. He's got a lot of work to do, though, and the rest are going to have a conference. I wonder what they're talking about. Oh. No idea. Huh? And they're calling him out. I guess it was a finger block. Have been. There was four, four opinions that were had, so. It is tough. It's tough to call those with this ball because it's hard to see if it's a finger or not. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if that was it, but, yeah, Small looked a little confused by it as well. Sometimes you just got to take it and play uh, extra hard in your next round. Yeah. <laughs> nothing, nothing worse than getting hit out before you had a chance to throw, though. That's the one where you come back like a bat out of hell. <laughs> yeah. Never again. It, it can be demoralizing, but in this sport, you can't let it because yeah. the, next, the next round starts so quickly. Yeah. Or set. It is hard, but there For is proper a proper terms. <laughs> proper terms. Yeah, I'm going to get it wrong. So you, oh, as yeah. long as you get it right. Nice toe shot. Max down and survives. Ooh. Almost lost that ball. Almost. Good, good sweep by Alex yeah. Havers. Yeah. All right, I can see why they want to get 76 out. He does have a lot of pressure for the uh, fresh. It's very active. Oh, big snag by Havers. Ooh. Eric Lee gets up in the air, and number 21 gets out. He looks frustrated. They got Flowers out pretty early this time, uh, that corner. Mm, yeah, yeah. You, you can tell they want him out often, too. So. Oh, nice trade to get uh, oh. Bader out. Okay, holy smokes. Catch. Yeah, they just evened it out or took the advantage. Holy smokes. Yeah, well, that was a quick turnaround right there. Super quick. Uh, both of us blinked. Yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes. All right, and that's it. Fresh took it. Which is good because going into the half, they're at least tied. Oh so this my gosh. might start as uh, no blocking. Wow, 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 uh, wow. Just based on the timing, I'm assuming. Are they? Yeah, they're doing it. Yeah, they have to. And it is running clock, so what you see at home isn't necessarily what the players see. So the players are seeing still a minute 
45 left in no blocking. Uh, but that's just to keep the games rolling. Right. Oh, big snag by 17. Yeah, Chris Berry. That was right? a huge cross court, though, but he read the whole thing. I think that's Chris Berry. I think I'm right. <laughs> I have to be right. Oh, Bader Tits taking out the frustration seeping in. It's they can't start second half with frustration. It's that backwards hat. I'm right. <laughs> He's the only one in the gym with a backwards hat. He's got the C on his shoulder. I'm right. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> C stands for Chris. Oh. Now that's what I call commentating. <laughs> uh, I don't do this very often. There's no, a reason yeah. why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. That's a perfect surgical shot. The doctor's in. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, Sanu wanted that Ooh. one, you could tell. Might have Very gotten good him in the there. eye a tiny bit, had to wipe his... Maybe it was just a little tear, brown. just a uh, tiny tear. Could have been sweat, you never know. I got sweat in my eye. Oh, that was a great read by 21. Now Sam Al was looking for it, but he wasn't ready in time. Mm. A little bit of a lob there, tried to push him off the court, but... He's smart enough to not hit those lines. Ooh. All right, Ranjot oh. with some surgical precision. Everything is toes all day. What is going on here? This is even a bit of a line out there. Oh, uh, was it? For, no, he got hit. Nice dodge. 21 got hit. Double but o. he dodged out enough uh. that if he didn't get hit, it oh, could yeah, have been yeah. a line out. That was some good maneuvers by uh, double zero. Ooh. Oh, he survived. The yeah. ball block. Nice play by Eric. Had to go for it. It's Is he going to go again? It's a good thing he was ducking down because he would have been out by a double there too. <laughs> Just fortunate, very fortunate. Ball grabbing. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> and canceled. Yeah. yeah. In this sport, there's a lot of things that. It really, it, you just get a pass. Yeah. The ball jokes, you just get a pass. Oh, Ranjok is taken out, and Eric is taken out. Small with wow. a huge heads up play. Hey, and that makes up for, and I'm not going to say mistakes, but unfortunate moments that happened all along the first half. Yeah. And he takes this second, or this first no blocking going into the second half for his team. Wow, if you're going to take those two shots, you know, when you have two balls, uh, and you have to, you, you throw that first one, you're already up the line. If you take that second throw, you darn well better get it on target. And he got it perfectly on target. That's exactly big what smiles, they need. Big smiles, big smiles. Yeah, yeah, they're going in the second half with a lot of confidence. Smiley smalls. Smiley smalls, that's Look what that. they call him. He's not even smiling. What well, not anymore. About? He was. Oh, he's game mode. Got it. He was a beam of sunshine for a split second. Now he's all serious. <laughs> okay. Nice pressure early on by Chi. I like that jump spin move. It has been keeping them at bay for three games in a row, I think. Survives. And there you go. That was a good dip by Angus. He's got the left arm dip. It's hard to read. Needs a bit of a haircut. If he had no hair, that wouldn't have bounced right How off. How bad it do you want it? Past. You well, gotta exactly. want it. Make your sacrifices, right? <laughs> I shaved my whole body before dodgeball. Perfectly smooth. You're wearing tights. Don't lie. <laughs> well, I meant to. I don't oh, Okay. She with big pressure gets that ambient ball that's floating around there. Double throw. Interesting. Ugh. Bader's out. Frustration's got to be seeping in. He's there's, handling it well. Yeah, there's a bit of reaching happening yeah. in, his, uh, in his game that he needs to get out of his head. Well, there's been a couple games in a row, so, yeah, he definitely wants to get that rectified. Yeah. But that doesn't always mean to, to grab, to, you know, try and get all those catches. Because yeah. if you're reaching, that's all you're going to get throughout the whole match. Angus with the ankles. He's having a good game. Angus has got a two kills under his belt. Two ankles notched on that belt. Third hit. All right. Spicy's coming back with this one quick. They're making quick work of this one. <laughs> nice jumps. Ooh. There you go. Big block by Max. He's up at the line. She comes up to pre uh, pressure protect. That was a great wow. cloth style block by Kluche, too. Yeah, he's I say cloth style because he was holling it oh, okay. like as if the ball were bigger, but still keeping his hands away. Get those from hands safe, the yeah. Front. yeah. Wow, Flowers staying in there. That is Flowers, right? Yes. Yes. I don't remember names very well, but sometimes certain faces 
stick in my brain. That's fair. It doesn't help that I don't know anyone on Fresh. Today well, is my... You're from my, Calgary. It's okay. That's fair. Oh, Max with the mean throw. But he gives the arm up. Sorry about that. That's to tie it up. All right, now, we yeah. got a show. now we're getting a show here. Who wants it more? Big Doug got to eat. Now, is this a nice spicy match to wash or an, watch or an absolutely fresh match well, to th watch? This, this one will decide it. Are we washing our hands or are we eating Red Hot Chili Peppers? Uh, you don't mix the two. All right, I'd like one the to other. wash my hands before and after eating. Hey, come on, live a little. Yeah, yeah. Give it away now. <laughs> she with the throw goes wide. Oh, Angus gets taken out, clipped on the ankle. Cool. Sam with a big kill. He's flying. Did he survive? It almost looked like he wow. ripped his leg off to dodge <laughs> that one. Did you hey, see that? How bad do you want it? <laughs> That's twice now. You said that. I don't need this goddamn leg. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Spicy's really running away with this one right now. Did they get him? Oh, they did. Oh, they did get After him, After taking out, like, three of the opposing team. Oh, two in this case, I guess. Unless there was a catch. Oh, they must have been a catch because Angus is back in. How did we both miss that? Uh, there was a lot going on in That's that split second. Oh, Sonu gets lit up. Big block by Flowers. Sends it back at Max. Dodge, dodge. Flowers staying alive. Dang, Angus making a big catch. And a return fire. Okay, Angus is heating up big time. Bader got clipped right in the kneecaps during that sequence did as well. Did he? Jeez yeah. Louise. He's not having a great one. He looks a little defeated, but walk it off. Walk it, walk it off, champ. Fine. Yeah. All right, so we still have two players on fresh here. More ankles all day. Oh, man. Ankles all day. Flowers goes for the no-look cross court. Survives that rush. Takes another shot. Max brings it down. Yeah. All right. Spicy definitely looked like they were in spicy mode there. It's almost looking like... They're going, this is a great back and forth match yeah, to the point yeah. where like you still cannot tell who is going to win this Yeah, not yet, game. not yet anyways. I also think that this is the most points we've had out of any match today Four so to three. far. Yeah. Yeah, so far, yeah. Set points, sorry. I mean, set. The set yes. is the, all the games together? No, the game or the match or something. The set is the individual. A set is the individual point within all right, who a decided match. this? I, get, I Get don't Dwayne know. on the phone. I don't. I don't agree. I don't with this. think he even knows. I've had this conversation with him plenty of times. <laughs> wow, cross courts everywhere, but no one comes away with a kill. I'll text him right now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's busy. He was invited to do commentary this weekend, but he had his hands full with other engagements. He's an Alberta boy, isn't he? Oh uh, yeah, All Edmonton. Right. Usually he makes it to these. Sometimes he's even on a team. That's true. But uh, he's even missed Westerns for the first time in a while. Oh, my too. word. He's she just with the big return fire. Just got his hands full. Yeah, he's a busy boy. There's a lot going on in the world of dodgeball. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. You got to be careful with that. When oh. you're up to the line, you're winding up for those big cross courts. Oh, my God. Max with a big cross court. One thing I'm noticing is Fresh is willing to throw first on the counterattack. There you go. Wow. Taking out Flowers. Chi with the pressure. That was a shocking hit, actually. I don't know. Flowers I, would I want think that might one have been safe. But Angus is going to call himself out. Too honest? Is that mm, what you're saying? Well, no. He, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, oh, I, yeah he I just, did the he same just thing. confirmed off court. Well, the yeah. thing is, when in doubt, you're out, right? That's yeah, the thing they yeah. always say. So if you show just a little oh. hint. Wow, the power. The raw power. Man, Temple could have dodged and threaded the needle on both of those, but they, they forced him to jump, allowing them to throw directly at his neck. <laughs> so yeah, the neck is as not a result, he got hit like basically in the chest and wasn't ready for a catching attempt. We need more pure neck shots. It's a rare shot. Oh, man, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you the story someday of when I got hit below the jaw oh, geez. With and the ball? up into the jaw and kind of got knocked out from it. it knocked like, out from these balls? Oh, yeah, they were foam. Wow. That's a clean and true shot right to the jaw. I hit the back of my head on the oh, court, well, there, so that's, that. that's where that happened probably. Well, that, that explains it. Yeah. yeah. 
All right, Fresh is down early in this game, but can they rally up? All you need is one kill. Oh, big Ooh. block. Sends it over our way. You could have caught that. <laughs> nah, it was like it had 10 to shoot feet this, that way. This yeah. cup on the table out of the way. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's a very Max-like play where he jumps up with the pressure, looks like he's going to fake you, then says, no, nah, hell no, I'm going to take that shot anyway. Man, it's a treat to watch him play sometimes. And he was at Westerns a couple weekends ago as well. Or yes. Like a month ago. Just can't not be playing. Yeah, Goes well, he's been taking it can. very serious. Yeah, yeah. I believe he's heading out to Toronto for the tournament in May as well. What uh, tournament is that? Uh, the – I honestly should know the name, and I'm blanking. <laughs> I'm blanking, Since buddy. Since somewhere around here, I'll ask him. Fair. <laughs> I think it's their mid-season clash okay. that they have every year. Oh, right, 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 right. It was in July last year, but oh. now it's – in May instead. Early, yeah, because yeah. isn't something's going on in July? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, Nationals. Nationals. Yeah. Sanu with his big grab. Yeah, I know he's wanted that one this whole series. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Sanu got now, one under his now back. You can, now he can play. Well, now he can play. Sanu's definitely one of those kind of catch-heavy players, so a catch-heavy player got to be catching. I think he might be good. Got less than uh, half a minute left, less than All 30 right. seconds. If you finish this one with fresh and then win in sudden death, you can tie it. And it doesn't look likely. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. But they're still going to play it out for right, the plus for the points. Yeah. Sam gets taken out. Wow. And it's on the court. They lost it. How did that not hit my drink? <laughs> I'm shocked. What is I that? Did he? What? Was that not a I catch? think uh, the ball that hit him died before his oh. knees made that catch, or whatever that was that made the catch. Before his knees caught the ball. I don't know what caught the ball. The ball just stood there. <laughs> <laughs> the ball was just floating there between his legs. There is no safe sentence in this sport, is there? No, yeah, you just got to let let rip. Man, those are big <laughs> balls. It's crazy. You got to let rip. He's, he has two balls in his hands. And every league needs at least one team called uh, Balls Deep. In fact, I was on, in a league once where we not only had a Balls Deep, but we had a Balls Deeper. Mm. And they played against each other. So. <laughs> well, I mean, even deeper would be funnier. Balls mind, even deeper. The whole no, league no, not even just balls, wrong. but just even deeper. Even deeper. Max gets out of the way, does a great job of getting out of the way of that one from the counterattack by Barry. And Barry gets taken out. All right. That's game. 6-3, honestly, like, spicy. And the other team, um, who beat who beat uh, Mint earlier today? Uh, that would be my team. Oh, yeah. congrats. Thank you, thank you. I'm shocked. I, I was actually able to get shots on target that game. It feels good. <laughs> really? When you get a shot on target, you're actually an attribute for your team. Huh, go figure. You've been in this game for so long. Are you shocked by that? No, I'm shocked by missing. You know, when, when you miss close, it's like you can't even take solace in that. Yeah, uh, it was a yes. close miss, but it's still a miss. Who is next on this we court? we got Trashers versus Spicy coming up. Trashers versus Spicy, the hometown so boys. Spicy's not going away. This no. is Spicy's last game, though. For the day? Uh, for today. They get to go home after this? No, I'm talking about on stream. Wait, I might even have a game. We have you a game? probably do. Are we up? Not yet. Okay. You do? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Reffing? Okay. All right. I'll stand and commentate instead of ref. Does All somebody right. else want to commentate instead of me? It's hard to do this and do that and do this and do that and that all at the same time. Where are we I today? Am. Do you want the headset, Megan? Fresh and spicy just played. Perhaps. Is that the one? No. Yeah, yeah. So next is Thrashers and Spicy. Okay. So next is Thrashers and Spicy on this court. All right, at least I know all the names of these players. All right, I will say Trashers, not Thrashers. Uh, trashers are, they're scrappy. They're a very scrappy team. T traditionally, we have a lot of trouble with them, even though they don't practice, they don't have structure, but they are just a bunch of scrappy players, and they come out and brawl with you. So it'll be interesting because Spicy has been practicing very hard, and they do play with a lot of structure, although they are an aggressive team. We've seen Spicy a few times today, and we know what they can do. We've it's seen crazy it. what they can We've do. We've tasted it. I need 
something to wash my mouth out. Go ask Fresh. They got soap. <laughs> or they got minty fresh. I think uh, it's breath the gum. It's the gum. Yeah, okay. It's not. So I wouldn't want to put soap in my mouth. All right. Either way, that they, need, they like, need hot sweat. That's how I used to be punished back when I was a kid. Did you ever get the soap in your mouth? Uh, to the point where I liked it, and they had to change to Tabasco sauce. So that's the whole fresh and spicy connection yeah. oh, that man, we got that going one hits on personal, here. Yeah. Right? yeah. But never both at the same time. You know what's even worse? Tabasco sauce and then washing it down with milk. That was a punishment. <laughs> and I'm not. Not like outing my parents for no, these No, no, no. That was the that was <laughs> the style at the time. It was the style at the time. I've I've given my son the old. Um, careful, I haven't done careful. like. Careful. I you know the laws changed back in no, the 2000s. I haven't said you're gonna get your mouth washed out with soap. I said, if you keep it up, we're having nothing but broccoli for dinner for the rest of the week. That's not bad. And that has helped. Okay, I would. You know, I don't remember if I liked broccoli when I was a kid. But I do like it now. I do like it now, too. I know he doesn't, or at least he says he doesn't. I've seen him eat it. Well, it's because you don't let him leave the table till he does. I know, yeah. He likes to, and he likes to milk it. Like, I want to leave the table. So you don't let yourself leave the table until he's eaten his broccoli? Sometimes I'll have to sit there. Sometimes. Uh, Sounds like you're punishing yourself more than your son. It kind of is. It kind of is. But I can't let him know that because then he gets power over the situation. It's always a power struggle. Do you sit there with your arms crossed and just like no, no. downward look? Sometimes I look out the window, passive aggressively. That's all I can yeah. really do. <laughs> just grab the newspaper yeah, just, and a I'll pipe and look out the window and just don't say anything. Just get the monocle on and a top hat. That was what happened when I was a lad. They said, "Hey, you're gonna have to sit at that table until the dinner's done." And I remember sitting there till it was dark out. Sometimes like I don't want to eat that Alfredo sauce. Now, I love Alfredo sauce. <laughs> Alfredo is the best, actually. It is one of the best. All right. Trashers have a couple of new players today. I'm seeing Billy's brand new. Uh, we got Kevin as well in the white jersey, also new to the team. And I don't know if he was on the team last year, but... Naven in the pink shirt. Definitely has a cannon. Good gets for them. And also Richmond is new on the team. Number 10. So Just looking a, at the standings here. Uh, for as many games as you look good in, I'm shocked you're only in fifth. Yeah, we tied two already. Oh, these aren't updated then. Oh. Well, we've tied two and won one. I think we've only played three altogether. Okay. Well, these are close. Three? Well, then one of them's listed wrong. Okay, well, yeah, because Canoners need at least one. There's draw. always the audit when you've yeah. got the, the database system going on, right? So that'll be audited for sure. You want to do commentating? You boys? Yeah, yeah, do it. Let's get you guys. No, I, I just did one. All right, we're going to tag out. All, All right. Future boys in here. Woo. Uh, we'll be right back. Very nice. Back for an all Calgary matchup here uh, with all Calgary refs and all Calgary commentators. Let's go. Yeah, let's do this, Adam. Oh, nice catch by oh, the other baiter, the better baiter. <laughs> we are not related. Two ABs playing in AB. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, nice touch. So it looks like Trevor, Trevor. five on four right now. Got to really watch out for Spicy's counter rush. Yes, they will. They will push you all day. Yeah, and 
especially with Max here on the left wing. His cross court throw is pretty disgusting. If you want to, he will get to you. Yeah. But you can't sleep on trashers either. They got some really strong throwers and some really good survivors. They can uh, run games very long and outlast you all day. Nice dodge by James. I'm really liking uh, the fakes on both sides. They're really committed. Yeah. Looks good. Ooh. Almost got him on the cross there by Tor. Breathing a sigh of relief from Sam. Oh. Getting some adjustments from producer Mitch here. That counter push by Sam on the right wing for Spicy is he pops up and comes at you very quick. Yeah. He's very good at baiting balls out of there too. Uh, I, I did that earlier on the stream a few times and I didn't hit him at all. So that's cool. Yeah, it's pretty lethal. Oh, Ooh. but that, that's also the counter point. That. That if you get caught up there a bit too far, someone will punish you. Yep. Good throw by James. All of a sudden, 2v3. 2v3, yeah. Oh, good oh. shot. Oh. oh, good follow up on Eric there too. Yeah. Got to gotta make sure it's a, a good out. 1-0 for Spicy. <laughs> so these two teams are pretty familiar with each other, but uh, we've been kind of practicing Calgary over the last little bit. But the Trashers have the advantage of a couple players that were not really available for practices, so a different look than we'd seen at most of our scrimmages. Uh, so they might be able to catch Spicy off guard with some of those newer players. Yeah. Oh. Trashers' new addition with uh, Billy. He's got a baseball background, right, with Billy? I'm not sure, but I know he came from the Edmonton Lister oh, College okay. League. Uh, so his throw is really solid and his defense is improving significantly. Yeah. He was also coming off of Achilles, I believe, last year. So That's right. still getting back to full health, and but definitely taking good strides and fitting into the Calgary community pretty well. A late addition to the Trashers team today was Kevin Zhu, who's been around the oh, basketball right. team forever. Uh, and he's a, he's a strong pickup. They had a couple people roll their ankle the weekend before, which is never ideal, but it's always good to have a backup just in case. Yeah. And a deep roster, right? Going, yep. Especially if they make nationals. Yeah. And with this year, Provincials, we added more round-robin games. So we have seven round-robin games for the men. So uh, having a little deeper roster benefits everyone today. Because there's still three... If you go all the way to more, there's still three playoff games. Mm. It's great to see Naven back on the court. Yeah. He's another one that uh, kind of could catch Spicy off guard. Hasn't been able to make practices because he works kind of shift work in and out of town. Yeah. Uh, but every time he takes the court, he's a, he's a dangerous person. So got to watch out for him. Ooh, let's try Kiko. Yeah. It's great to see, like, the wide array of athleticism in dodgeball. Yeah. Right? Definitely. And people come in from different sports backgrounds. It's yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Naven's got a badminton background. I think Richmond has a soccer one. So it's really oh, cool to try see. Naven. Yeah. All right. 2-0 for Spicy. Pretty commanding so far. I'm curious to see if Spicy is going to take out the double rush at mm. some point. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. They're quite good at it. And with, when they have Angus on the other oh, wing, too, right. it gives them the benefit of a drop back to the lefty. Mm -hmm. uh, so Angus isn't on the court right now, but if he steps on, I wouldn't be surprised if they start doing that. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're doing it right now. Yep. Yep, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh. Yep. And on that double rush back, you got Sam as the option, and he did a good job holding. Yep. Oh, well, keep it out. For oh, oh really? my God. Let's go. I didn't even get a say yeah, to well, watch out for number was, six Havers, was, and then he goes and gets caught. Wow. It was, it was that, was a crazy, that was a great play. Yeah, it was a mid-bite on my applesauce and almost spit it everywhere. <laughs> oh, good shot, Billy. Another oh, person wow. to watch out for is Elliot on Trashers, number 49, I believe. Yes, he's got yes. a very, for how tall he is, he gets incredibly small. Yep. And he'll hide behind a ball really well. The only thing you can yep. see is his two feet poking out to the side. <laughs> and That's they, right. They are big targets, but when, the, when he's down like that, he can, especially if he's in that last person scenario, he can take out a team by himself. Exactly. And, and control the court. If you give him two balls, he basically disappears. Yes. Comes invisible to the, the thrower. 
Some good counters here from Spicy to bring yeah. it back to yeah, a, look at that. a close game. Nice block, Max. Nice dodge. Oh, nice try. Look at that teamwork. Great counter by Ranjot. I love the difference. Even playing fields. Yeah, I love the differences in shoe styles you see. The yep. best, uh, best shoes in the game got to be James. Oh. James on the left side here. He wears bands and plays comfortably in bands, and I don't know how he does it. I do not know either. Yeah. It's his signature, though. It is, and he does it well. It works just fine for him, going with the no knee pads, too. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's built for shin splints, but avoids them somehow. <laughs> Try. They're really focusing hard on Max, and Max doing a great job at surviving double yep. throws right now. You're in a tough scenario if you're here as trashers, because both uh, spicy players are very strong catchers, so you almost have to send two. Uh, but the the trashers players have the benefit of really strong defense right now. Yeah, uh, agreed. They are they are very tough out. So it, this is kind of a chess match between the two right now. It really is. The amount of times we've seen Tony versus Ranjot match up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're both very very smart players. We'll play yeah. it as good as they can. Oh, oh great look try. at that. Yeah, capitalizing. Yeah, that was a great great throw by Ranjot with uh, Tony at the line. Oh, good try, James. A good double very push there decisive. by Spicy. Yeah. They saw an opportunity and took it, and James tried to throw his way out of it, but sometimes you just get stuck there. So it looks like Spicy's lineup's pretty fluid. I thought they were going to sit uh, a couple players out for the match, but it looks like <coughs> everyone's getting some play time. Yeah. You got Kevin oh, Chi nice, on. Nice catch Ooh, by James. Yeah. And a good block to follow it. Well done. Chi, Angus back on. Yeah. Oh, got him down. Ah, and he holds. Have yet to see Kevin Zhu on the court yet, though. Yeah, maybe he's just shagging this game. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Oh, look at look at Alex Bader getting small, using the floor. Love yeah. to see it. So Alex Bader comes from a volleyball background. He was a former UFC volleyball player, uh, and from what I've been told, was very good. Played, I think, semi-professionally or professionally overseas for That's a bit. That's what I've heard, too. Um, yep. So his, his movement very much follows a volleyball player, and he's really good at getting behind the ball and also getting out of the way. Yeah. And then when he lets his release go, if he puts his whole body into it, it's a, a very effective kind of similar to what you'd see in, like, a spike in volleyball. Yeah. Oh, good job. Nice throw, Naven. Alex Havers jumped the gun a bit there and tried to move to offense and got caught and punished for it. Oh, wow. Big throw nice by hit Eric there by Eric. Eric, yeah. Finding his mark. Just missed on that one. Good move by Naven. Uh, just, uh, yeah. just touched Tor in there. Raised the shoulder. Try. Just got, almost got under it. Another three on three. These games have been close. The score is Not leaning reflecting. Spicy's way, but they've been some pretty close games. Yeah. Coming down to very key matchup right now. <laughs> nice block by Alex. Good defense. Good try by Eric. Everyone surviving. <laughs> that ball proceeded to leave us and go into the change room. We're just coming up on sudden death right now for the first half. I expect Trashers to send a few extra here. Yeah. Uh, and everyone survives. Yep. Okay. So this is actually a pretty big point going into sudden death for Trashers. If they can get this, the game remains a little bit more in reach, and second half they can grind it back. Being down four is a bit more of a hill to climb, so we'll see what they do here. Yeah. Be a test of resilience. Yeah. The 
in the words of Shade Berkeley, uh, Team Canada Women's Phone head coach, um, it's suddenly that's sort of about intelligence, right? Yep. Playing whoever, whichever team plays smartest. Yep. Is that why we lose all of ours? Yeah. <laughs> we go into primal <laughs> primal mode. <laughs> what? Our big monkey throws don't work? Yeah. Dang. Oh, good try by Naven there on the free throw. Alex looking to counter it back. Good dodge. Ooh. Billy gets touched. Oh, good counter on Tony. One on one. Oh, he lined out. Oh, he lined out? Yeah. Oh, that's a big point for Trashers. That's, that is a big point. When you're six foot five, that line comes a lot that's faster. Tricky. Yeah. <laughs> His toe caught it, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we got a good. We've got a game going in the second half. Yeah. A lot of counters so far. Yep. Yeah. As expected. Yep. A lot of like big hits, like the sounds they're making too. It's like yep. quite satisfying to hear yeah. this. It's kind of nice having like this bigger gym for this. Oh we're yeah. Used to, we're used to playing a lot tighter courts, but this bigger Very gym, good there's point. a bit more room. You can see your throw go a little bit further and see what it does after it goes past people. And also, yeah, the, the sound echoes a bit more in here. What do you think uh, Trash's approach is going to be to the second half? Yeah, I think so far they've been... Uh, from what I'm seeing, they're, they've been quite... Uh, oh, reserved on, <laughs> yeah, yeah, quite reserved on like their counters. It feels like Spicy's the one uh, initiating a lot. So what I'd like to see from Trashers is like some punishments, you know, yeah. some repercussions for going at their own teammates. Yeah. Yep. But may maybe their strategies to uh, soak some balls in as yeah, well. Yeah, and that could work. Make some enough. team plays. Yeah. Yeah. Six on six. Cross by Alex, just comes up short. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Elliot, yep. Yep. You can see Tony talking to him right before, just probably making sure he heard the call. Another Elliot throw. Oh, oh there we go. By Tony. Oh, There's great catch by Torin. Yeah. Torin makes a great catch, looking around no for a teammate to come on, but no one's out yet. So, well done by Trashers. Great done. Oh, great done. What am I saying? Great job. <laughs> <laughs> Mixing everything together. Who invited this guy? English gets hard sometimes. <laughs> You're telling me, man. Kevin Chi on the left wing here for Spicy is one of the most agile players you'll see. Yeah, uh, He comes from a badminton background as well. and Track and football too. Yeah. So he, you played with him before, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Dan yeah. used to play with him growing in high school? Yeah. In yeah. high school. Yeah. So they're, they're very yeah. familiar with it. And I, I remember the first time I played, one of the first times I played Kevin Chi in our other style here called Boss. Um, he proceeded to dodge a ball, and in that time, that one we have back walls. He jumped up to dodge a ball, jumped off the wall, and went forward to attack. Yeah, someone. that's right. And it's I was like, it was I like was a like, double jump. Yeah, and I was like, what, was what am I walking into? This gym yeah. is wild. This yeah. this guy's an athletic freak. And yeah, we're gonna probably see it on display here. His survival is incredible, and his blocking is next to uh, probably that's like probably the best in Calgary. So, Let's see what he can do here. Yeah. Good block by Elliot. Oh, gets over it. Yeah. Ooh, he plays in a style where he's deliberately trying to lead the throwers yep. to where he is, right? And yep. then he'll just dodge it. So, Yeah, and he's really worked on his throw this year, too. So he it's, has, it's carrying yes. a lot better. Uh, and, it's, yeah, it's become a lot more of a threat from yeah. further back in the court. So he doesn't have to put himself into the same positions he used to. That's so right. Good on him for working on that. Yeah. Ah, just how does yeah. he not and, get tired? And Spicy ch trusts him in these situations. Oh, yeah. So. This is his bread and butter for yep. spicy, and if you get Elliot in this situation, it's similar for Trashers. Yep. Like you, you feel still pretty confident. Uh, I like that take. Nice try. A little bit of impatience. Yeah. They did have four balls there. It's you'll very rarely hit Kevin G on a single throw. That's right. You have to you have to get him moving, and the second one's probably got to get him. 
Yeah. yeah. Oh, but the line will get him. Oh, no. That's one thing, I guess. That's too bad. Great job by Trashers. We're going to 3-2 game right now. Good on Spicy for making sure he was good. Yeah. Not taking it too hard. And well done on Trashers end. That was very uh, commanding. Of yep. them, of they the played win. that well. They didn't put themselves in a bad spot to give Kevin a chance to dwindle them down. Yeah. Well played, teams. Uh oh. Oh, a sideline on the rush there. That's tough. Yeah. Speaking of the people that were injured, so Leon, who just lined on the rush there, was the person that ended up spraining his ankle last oh. week. And it was, from what I heard, it was quite a swollen ankle. So good on him for still showing up and playing today. Hopefully yeah. he's recovering well. Yeah. Nice setup there. Good block by Elliot. As you said, right? Look yep. at how small he got in that yep. fraction of a second. Yeah. And Sam's got a tricky throw. It's really whippy. So, oh, oh nice catch goodness. by Torin. Totally on purpose. Yeah. A the few friendly apology. Yep. Yeah. Apology. Sorry, I'm just better. <laughs> <laughs> so it sticks to them because they have six. six. Oh, yeah, points. they have six people, yeah. Oh, good throw by Eric there on Torin. Got under the throw from Torin as well. Yeah. Last ball. Trashers. Double Ooh. dodge there. Oh, good oh. try. Got under the first two, got clipped by the third. Traded himself for three balls, though. That's oh. not it's not bad in that situation. That was good commitment, for sure. Oh, sticky Ranja. Oh. Well done. Yeah. He Ranja is yeah. one of our clutches players yeah. in Calgary. Catches everything. Yeah. And his throw is like sneaky, like little little curve at the end. He's yeah. a great player. Wow. Uh, He's been he's been on a tear this year too, winning yep. basically everything, everything possible. I don't think he's lost a tournament or league he's been in since since last year at least. Oh, it's good Whoa. dodging, Billy. Gets under three of them. That's right. Give yourself a clap. Good little amp yourself up there. Yeah. Earned it. So we got five balls here. Eric Pressering. That's a good take by Kiko. Yeah. Nice trying to follow up by Billy. This is a very resilient game. Like yep. catches on both sides. Now they're yep. backing down. Yeah, still very winnable here for Travis yeah. too to bring the point back to tie. Absolutely, only one point differential. With just about three minutes left. Yeah. Billy caught, caught with his feet flat there. Yep. All good. It happens. Yeah. The fake really set it Blocked up. Blocked by Kiko. Oh, good try there on the throw by Sam. Yeah. Yeah, when he starts mixing those in, it makes you think twice. Yep. You just, just can't get his comfortable moving up. Great block by Naven. Yeah. Naven's another one of those players that if he ends up being last left or last two, he's very difficult to get out. Yeah. The more balls he has in hand, the better his survival is. And it gets, like, exponentially better, too. Nice try. Ooh, good try. Bounces in there. Four balls for Trashers. Spicy being very liberal with their counters right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really want the win. The block by Max. Shot behind it. Nope, they're calling a hit. So minute and a half here, Naven's got to try and grind this out and pull for the tie before or go for it in sudden. Tough task, but I think he could be up for it. Oh, the line. Oh, that line has been dangerous this game. Yeah. That's got more final kills than players have. It has. 
Let it not be Cla on Cla Classic Alberta. <laughs> I know. Classic Alberta. <laughs> So they need to squeak out a really quick point here. Yeah, let's see how they speed things up. Yeah. The plus minus is still important. So regardless of what happens, if this one goes into sudden death, they should getting that extra point is still super important. Especially because with the first round of playoffs, it's very matchup based. And if you win your quarterfinal, essentially you guarantee your national spot. So mm, that's right. You wanna you wanna play a matchup that's good for you, and being higher in the standings is probably gonna be better for you. Good dodge by James. I'm really liking these setups from Spicy. Yep. One minute. They're very in sync. Oh, Max tried it. So still a minute according to the head ref. Ooh, almost got him reaching. Good job by Alex Bader to keep his hands in there. Blocked by Billy. Ah. Aggressive counters by Trashers. They kind of got to at this point if they want to try and squeak it out before mm -hmm. the end, but nothing is connecting there. Ah. Still have three people left, but some really good on target throws from Spicy there. Yeah. Good block by James. Oh, big catch by Sonny. Big catch. Oh. And he. Oh, so just James left. Oh, no. Nope. Yeah, that's game. Oh, because he got caught. Yeah, that's right. Did he get caught? No. No, uh, James got hit at the front. Uh, he okay. tried to trade. Uh. So, so we're going into full sudden death here for the plus minus. Yeah. Close game, though. Yeah. Even Trash's body language, they, they don't have the language of like feeling or looking defeated, so we we'll yeah. love, love to see it. Yeah. Well, a trade there, the lefty on lefty damage. Yeah. yeah. Competitors through and through. Yep. Two of the OGs of dodgeball in Calgary deciding to take a break together. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Have a seat. Yep. <laughs> You're tired, I'm tired. Let's go together. <laughs> oh. Good shot there on Naven. Oh, big hit on Tony, too. Yep. Alex Havers is hitting right now. Yep. I wonder if they're going to keep feeding him. He comes from a baseball My background. My guess would be yes. Yeah. Oh, there, oh, go. there he goes. He's, He's three for himself. three. He's grooving. Three for three. Big dodge by Eric. Great job. Uh, let me guess. Alex Havers is going to throw. I'd put money on Ooh, that. Oh, good try, <laughs> Billy. Almost caught him sleeping. Oh, yeah. He's calling for it. <laughs> He's like, why are we even huddling? Oh, he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't. Oh. Whoa. I would, I, if I was him, I'd be like, I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, now they're now there you go. Oh, there great hit by the other Alex. Good job. Great match by both teams. Yeah. Perfect. All right, we got to go warm up. All right. Yep. Yeah, that's right.
2024 Alberta Provincial Dodgeball Championships. Edmonton versus Edmonton. So we got you two Edmonton commentators. I'm Erica Spitzmacher. I'm Shree Harrington. And so excited to be here for another year. Uh, how's things been going so far today, Shree? Ah, uh, it's been interesting. Our team kind of came together out of the, Riot. I play for Riot. We came together out of the Alberta Women's Comp program. So we've got some experienced players, some new players, but like coming together in the last few months, we are. Uh, yeah, I just watched you guys play against Rack Attack. Man, that was close. It well, was, it oh started man. close. Yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, but, but you looked so good. It was very exciting. But of course, Rack I Attack. I made a catch, and I was happy about it. <laughs> Rack Attack, of course, able to make some adjustments and uh, did end up coming up with the win there. Yeah, they're a very experienced, solid team. We got to, they, they so much held composure, the line. Right? Oh, my man. Gosh, so but we were up 3 1, and I wish, uh, you know, it, moments like that, I'm like, Maybe it would have been nice to have 20 minute women's uh, <laughs> round of games because we probably won't want to win them. Oh, we can't time. win them all. But yeah. here we are with <laughs> Mint versus Cannoneers. Cannoneers, a brand new team this year, put together by Kevin Beebe and Joel Kravitz. Lots of uh, experienced players, a couple new players as well. So you'll see like the second one in and the fifth one in, Byron and Willis. They are new, but they started playing like Lister Dodgeball at the U of A. Um, and then a few of the other players have been to nationals and played at provincials before. Bryce played for Mint last year. Um, oh, nice shot. Yeah. That by Waddell. Yeah, Waddell, then, Waddell coming in hot. Yeah, and then Mint also just looking pretty similar. Lots of lots of new faces on there too. Oh, yeah, nice. a couple new faces. I know uh, like Waddell and maybe Jason. I don't know if they were originally gonna play for this provincials, but came in uh, in the last few weeks made that decision. And then, um, of course, we do have Jason Hennessy, like you were saying, oh, straight up. Well, not straight up enough. Who hasn't actually played for five years? Yeah, I saw maybe? him again and was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but they're looking pretty good. I know they've had some big feelings today, and it's been pretty hard to kind of focus in. Mm -hmm. um, but. And we've also given them a lot of chance to like think about all their feelings, because we, uh, we took them out of the, the need to ref. So they just oh, get to nice. sit in it all day. But um, yeah, it, I'm glad that they can because obviously this is a tough day. Yeah, absolutely. But and uh, Kyle B's family, of course, sitting and watching every single game. And then the memorial table's right next to them too. <laughs> it's hard to hard to forget. Yeah. Uh, but they've well, been they're feeling it on the court too. I'm sure. Yeah, lots of really experienced players though, and they've been getting in into the into the mode that they need to when they need to. So. We're seeing it here. Oh, oh, Josh Croft just, oh, just missing. Big oh, catch Brad by Rush. Washbrook. <sighs> Big time Brad, as we called him after he Big won that. Big time Brad, uh, oh, one. that's what it was. I was like, <laughs> did we call, I knew there was some sort of verb that we used. There was also a different, uh, more inappropriate name that we called him at the after party oh, after, but I obviously. won't say that was true. <laughs> that's probably the, the, the best idea. Oh, a nice shot. Nice there. hit there. <laughs> so Mint takes the first game. I know Cannoneers. Uh, are gonna want to come out pretty really strong hard. again. Totally. Them? Definitely. Some solid arms on that team. Uh, I know Joel tried out for Team Canada this year. Yeah. I think he he's uh, had the he's radar close. gun every single every single yeah. practice. He throws over 120 sometimes. Oh so. wow. Kilometers yeah. an hour. And he also really like has a like he really thinks about the game a lot and really mm -hmm. uh, him and. BB, Joel, uh, Kevin BB are very big into like how to do things, when to do things. Yeah, little trade there, Jarvis for Waddell. And let's take a minute to talk about Andell's mustache. Yeah. Um, what is that? <laughs> I thought he'd given up on it, but uh, it's, I mean, at least he's got a little bit more of the beard now, but he was just rocking just the mustache for a bit and people were concerned. <laughs> Oh, uh, ball aching, getting hit out in the middle. He's gonna Just love that we talked about this too. I'm oh, sure he'll. like how could you not? Though it's right there. <laughs> that that little little caterpillar on there. You can't you can't <laughs> not look at it. All right, we got four v four here. Corey takes that throw, misses. Nice and shot Bryce by takes Parody. Yeah. Kali just kind of like, oops, I put my hand in there. Should we be doing more last names? Should I do that more? We should definitely do last names if okay. you know them. Yeah. If you know them, do them. All right. Yeah. Can do. <laughs> can do attitude. <laughs> Jansen Ooh. over here is telling oh, us that we should. Yeah. Oh, my God. Way to fight what for that. Grab. So many little pop-ups. Refs are taking a second. 
Should be a catch. Uh, he might have touched that back line. Oh. So I'm not sure if they're counting. All right, we need to make a call we here. We do have a couple line refs yeah. on either side, so. Love doing that. Especially with some of the lines in there because they're hard to see. I mean, yeah. red's not so bad here. All right, they're making a call here. There's a lot of gesturing and a lot of mm -hmm. back and forth calls here, but. Yeah, so they're gonna call him out there. Yeah, no catch. Too bad, because oh man, that was a lot of pop-ups to try to Lots make that work. Lots of pop-ups. I mean, way to fight for it either way. Yeah. But Cannoneer's looking a little confused, a little, hopefully not too defeated mm -hmm. by that call. I know sometimes that can really take you out of the game if you're frustrated when a call doesn't go your way. Yeah, especially when it takes so long to make the call too. And yeah. then you're like, you, you kind of get out of the mode and then it's like, okay, now go. Yeah. So hopefully they'll make this quick and it makes sense and we can just pop back in. Yeah. Love those Canada oh, jerseys. They're calling Andel out. So maybe the catch was good, but the uh, but then he stepped out of bounds. Oh, Washbrook knocked out on that one. Just Joshua Croft left. All right. I love watching this guy. Move. Oh! oh! He Josh wants every catch. He wants every catch every all one. the time. Joshua yeah. Croft is newer to dodgeball. I think he's played like two seasons of comp dodgeball. He's and adapting it. to it really well. Yeah. He's a, a, a ball player, so yeah. I think. Is he a pitcher too? I feel like he's a pitcher. Yeah, anyone in that kind of sport really just transitions really well into dodgeball, I find. And I, he's watched a lot. His uh, girlfriend, Christina Barasa, plays the riot. Uh, so he's watched a lot at uh, nationals and provincials levels. And, uh, and is a little bit sad that he didn't start playing sooner. He told as me that. Everybody yeah. says yeah. that, right? Like, oh man, this is so fun. Why didn't I start sooner? Yeah. Oh, pretty common. Can we talk about Cannoneer's jerseys for a second? Don't yeah. you just love them? I do love them. Yeah, it, the, the arms are cannons. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's very cool. It's hard to come up with like new designs and new jerseys that haven't been done before. Yeah, this one's great. I love yeah. it. I don't know if you checked out our new jerseys. I, I was going to say I do really like all the colors of the right jerseys. Yeah. But so yeah, we bright. were like, oh, we can't do blue and black or like <laughs> red <laughs> so and black. Everybody has Everybody's that. doing that already. Yeah. yeah. But also a lot of girls didn't want to wear white because they were like, it's not flattering. <laughs> I want black. Oh my. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Joel nice takes shot. out. Yeah. Joel Kravitz yeah. takes out Dwayne Hoppen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's too bad Hoppen Browers is such a long name too to make it more difficult to say. Yeah. All right, we got a couple As of someone veterans. who used to have a five syllable name. Oh yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Know. Got a couple of veterans left here on Mint. Throwing so two and not making that connection there. It's uh, Webster and Andel versus five Cannoneers players. Ooh. Oh, nice. Thought maybe they both. got that catch, but they got the catch, but they, I think they got them both out. Kevin Chaput on Cannoneers is looking pretty solid. Last Provincials, of course, I don't it was on camera. He uh, tore his Achilles in the middle of the throw. Yeah. It was a uh, gross, pretty <laughs> innocuous looking play and took him out for a few months. But yeah. he's back better than ever, it looks like. Totally. And it was also just like that was the first year we saw Shaput back into dodgeball after a catch there. Kravitz on, on Washbrook. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. It was, it was many years since we'd seen Shaput on the I court, know. too. So it was yeah. so lovely to have him back. And then, like, first tournament he's back. Injury. <laughs> Couple big hits there by Andal and Liddell. Freeman takes a seat. Or, I mean, just stands in the out, really. Yeah. yeah. Not really sitting in, in this. Oh, nice hit on Willis. Hit. Five beat. Oh, Chan. Yeah. That's Byron's last name. Sang. Sang. Okay. Yeah. I, I wanted to say Wong, but I was like, no, 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 that's a different person. <laughs> different oh, yeah, that, that's BC. <laughs> yeah. Oh, knocks out Andel. I mean, I don't. I'm not normally a fan of that shot, but obviously they were all kind of huddled together. Yeah. Got a lot of balls there. I took I took one on that earlier. It mm, worked. I'll yeah. take it. Griner hit out on that play. Who I always called Grenier for a really long time. There is another Grenier in Winnipeg. Oh yeah. Nick Grenier, right? Yeah. Let's see, let's play how many dodgeballers do you know? <laughs> oh, very oh, big, big ball up. Which tells oh, us gonna take Webster. our stats guy. Mm -hmm. Mitch over here. Oh, nice throw by Peavy. Good dodge by Waddell. Yeah, I think I, I knew that Mitch is also saying that uh, Nick Greg needs a, an AHL ref, which is pretty cool. Oh, that is cool. Oh, and she puts out. Down to that big PB and oh, Hoffman Brown is taking Renner a bit of a risky play. Taken out. KBB, we 
we call him, or Kevin. Oh Beebe. yeah, I don't. I think I actually know what his last name is. Did Brenner Bourget. Br Bourget. Bourget. Brenner Bourget. I guess we shouldn't talk about last names. We should just know them. But that's okay. We got it. <laughs> I think people are enjoying this probably, oh. and if they're not now, they will in the future. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Nobody's paying us for this, right? Yeah, we're, this is a volunteer job, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate us. Yeah. And gosh, do we Ooh. love that Mitch Jansen Paul comes Laking all the way from wherever Reiner he is. Both trade there, so five v five. All right, it's on Cannoneers. Oh, nice, tr Another, oh, nice follow. Another little trade there. But it's 4v4 now. Can't trade forever. No. Chan looking really two. nice. I love watching both of them move on the court, both Sang and Chan in the middle there. Yeah, they're so young too. They've got, and they've developed so much in the last few months oh, alone. Man. Like I, I can't uh, imagine where they're gonna be even in a year from now. I got to play with them on Wednesdays a couple weeks ago and I was just like in awe, just watching them, having a good time. Collie and Waddell taken out on that play. Waddell getting up a little bit slowly, hopefully not injured. He's also, you know, Daddy, daddy to three three girls while yeah. he's trying to play here. I don't think you can see it on the stream, but his three little girls are just off watching and you know coloring and things like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's dedication to Kyle B. Randall right taken out right at the toes. Those are the types of shots I love to make, and I hate getting hit out oh, on. Oh, right, worst. Oh, what a shot by Bryce Parody. Uh, actually, that's another person I hate when they throw at me. It's so hard to know where these yeah. shots are, and they are so fast, and like, I don't know. Yeah, I uh, actually trained last summer at Racquetball Court, like every week, a couple times a week with uh, Bryce Parody, with Joel Kravitz, with Kevin uh, Brenner Forge, uh, and like me and Jessica Jeffries as well, and Des. Um, and just like getting those reps in, getting that kind of competition, especially in the summer and the off season, everyone came back so much stronger. I think it really helped. Yeah, and I've always admired Parody's uh, dedication to, to dodgeball. The he mechanics, is, he's yeah. just like. He cares so deeply about this sport. It's awesome yeah. to have him in a community where where we need it. Totally. Yeah, we will take all the, the hints and the tips that we can get for throwing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm lucky uh, to play with him on Wednesdays with a couple of the other guys on this Cannoneers team, and they they definitely push you to be a better player. Yeah, it's a way to get better. And he actually taught me how to throw when I first yeah, but like when I first got into foam, I like didn't understand the mechanics at all, and he was just like really willing to put in the time and help me out and give me tips, which was uh, really great. So appreciate that. And having like Jarvis Griner too, same thing. He's got a lot of good knowledge about throwing. He's he's a baseball pitcher as well. Yeah, he did a pitching clinic for the women's community uh, last summer or maybe last spring. Yeah, and it yeah, was really yeah. helpful. Yeah. Um, even just getting like warm up tips, cool down tips, and then obviously like the, the mechanics of how to throw uh, really helped a lot of us out. Oh, wow, just a lot of action there. Griner getting hit out. Griner's been going for a lot of those catches at the line today and is it working out for him? It hasn't been. And I, I was shagging for them earlier. I was like, don't do that. <laughs> Get back. It's too hard. Yeah. yeah, I was like, it's not worth it when you don't have anybody out too yeah. and there's not really that much on the line there. Like Some you don't need to plant. It seems like that, yeah, like that's what that's the question, right? Do I do I try to backpedal or do I or do I just wait and see if I can get the catch? But or drop or something. Something, like, yeah. Yeah. And I know that um, that's something that they're really pushing on, I think, Team Canada for, for most of the squads is, is like the movement and, and the backpedaling movement. Yes, I know um, the men's cloth camp happened a few weeks ago and uh, Coach Victor Gravilli is, is back in that position for the men's team. Um, and they didn't touch a ball for the first like four or five hours of their camp. They just uh, did agility drills and getting back and trying to survive without <laughs> losing too much energy too early. Yeah, and Hoppen Browers was saying like just how valuable that time is and mm -hmm. how how it's so good to have those those tips. Yeah, I'm hoping he shares them with us. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. I did already ask him earlier <laughs> to share them with yeah. yeah. Not today, of course, not this weekend. We've got other focuses, but when we're Wow, back. lots of lots of trades going on here. Yeah. Parody's oh. out, Laking's out. Brenner Bourget and Sang versus Andel, Colley, and Hoppenbrowers. A little bit of a high throw there from Hoppenbrowers. I've also noticed, not uh, not as much today, but uh, at the 
Team Canada level, a lot of guys are starting to not wear knee pads. Really? Yeah, to help uh, get them moving a little bit more and not drop and plant. So mm. It does kind of leave you, yeah, it leaves you kind of vulnerable if you're on your knees. Not I definitely wouldn't do. trust it early for myself. Catch. Yeah, big catch. Nice job, Sang. Oh, big and hit. then things turn around right again. Right oh, wow, oh, the lots of there trading here. Collins left. Oh, wow. <laughs> down, down, yeah. down. Cannoneers up Cannoneer for two. Ooh. That's the second half, so seven and a half minutes for Mint to try and claw their way back and make this a tighter game. And it is a lot of time. You can easily time. get two more games in. So do you think that's going to change how Mint is attacking things here? I'm not sure if... I don't think Mint's had a lot of practices uh, since, like, in the last couple weeks especially. And Fair so enough. I don't know if they've found ways to really adapt their gameplay without Kyle B on the, on the corner wing there. Uh, yeah, I really feel for them in this situation. But yeah. I think they're all really experienced players, and they have found ways to win before. Oh, wow. Oh, oh unbelievable. Almost a team catch there oh. by Liddell, but couldn't nice save try. it. But Croft and him both out now. So Mint is kind of like, I feel like Cannoneers are really pushing hard here. Yeah. And I they agree. don't, do they need to? I think they're kind of trying to make a statement a little bit. Yeah, fair enough. But maybe continuing to push, if pushing is working for them, yeah. why, why let up on something that's working? Yeah, absolutely. Lots of trades are happening here, but in this case, now they're down 3 2. And they're That's a still bit quicker of a team on their feet, especially like the two players left here. Grant Freeman? Yes, Freeman. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Freeman and Chan. Chan. A uh, little bit quicker than Hennessy and Hoppenbrauer's. I mean, Hoppenbrauer's pretty quick on his feet, but. Oh my gosh, yes. Hennessy, like, though, you know, we, we, he's, he's quick, though. It's been a while since we've seen it, so <laughs> who knows? Who knows what's And up? I mean, Chan is like 23 or something like oh, that. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That has shown his quickness. And, and he's an before. excellent catcher. Look at that duck, too. Like, yeah. oh, so quick. I feel like he didn't even feel that in his knees. And you know who would? Anyone else on the score? <laughs> Me. I, I felt I would. just watching it. Ooh, getting a little bit of a sail there. You can tell we're starting to get into the middle of the day. The balls just start sailing a little higher. Yeah. And I mean, it's a two-day tournament. So I know for me, I've been like, OK, I got to conserve some, some, some juice in the old arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing Westerns this year, I found on day two that I was struggling a little oh, bit. Oh, unbelievable. Both Takes them catches. both out at the same time. Hoffenberg was so close to getting that, that yeah. catch. Just sneaks out. Some really close almost catches from Mint. Yeah. Sometimes those bounces just don't go your way. Yeah. But so do you still keep trying to catch or do you do you work on just trying to move and survive? I think for them at this point, they've got five minutes left. They're down three. I would try and go for some of those, but I think I haven't really paid attention too much to the rest of their games today. So it depends on where they want to land in the standings. I was <laughs> joking yeah. with them like, oh, the Men's 1v8 and 4v5 play at 745, so you probably don't want to end up with <laughs> You don't want to be first and you don't want to be last. Yeah. yeah. Somewhere in the middle is good. So, well, not too close in the middle, but yes. That's my motivation to, <laughs> to win against you after this. Oh, later. cool. Great. Oh, Ooh. just continuing to just rocket these balls. They have some arms on the Cannoneers. I mean, they very aptly named. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but they are throwing a lot, like, right at the chest. Yeah. So is it just that it's hard enough to, to break all these blocks? Or what, what's Mint not doing? Um, I feel like they're a half second. Their hands are a half second behind. Mm. It's I don't know. I feel like the Cannoneers are also putting a lot of pressure at the line. Maybe it's a little hard for them to tell who's going to throw. Like, they're maybe not quite as ready. Yeah, fair enough. Well, Freeman's starting to rub his arm already. We got oh. some more dodgeball to go in here. Chan. And Dellen Waddell up against four. Oh, just. 
Seems like it bounced. That's what the call is. Kind of a little wide there. Maybe just not throwing as accurately. Oh, Never nice mind. shot. There Adele. we go. <laughs> Adele's like, <laughs> and no, I was like, excuse me, this. I know what you're about to say. Yeah. And no, you're yeah. wrong. Getting a little tired, maybe. Yeah. But Cannoneers just are taking it to them. Like, this is nice block relentless. there by Adele. It's relentless. Like, yeah. the shots are coming in fast and hard. And they're taking them from the back court a lot of it. Like, Freeman just took that shot on Adele from the back corner. Just not expecting them to be ready, and sometimes it's working out. Yeah, but I mean, Andel's so good at these 1v situations. Oh, so. totally. Oh. Uh, you know, he's maybe I should just <laughs> not talk about Just tell him he's trash. This, this Andel yeah. guy, he's trash, and then he'll do something amazing. That's what we got to do. Hey, not throwing accurately, not making catches. Yeah, yeah, and then he'll do all the right things. Yeah, two minutes, uh, just over two minutes left in this match. Starting kind of to feel a little, little out of reach, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, the, the points do matter for the standing, so I think it's still worth it to try and try and claw back a bit here. Yeah, however, the uh, the differential only matters after the head-to-head -head battle, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. And since everybody's played everybody, if, only if it's a tie, it would be a problem. Yeah. So. But I mean, why give up? <laughs> why give up? Work together, see where you can get, see if yeah. you can find some, some weaknesses in the other team and see if you can you know, start exploiting those, right? Well, because everyone has a chance tomorrow, right? Yeah, definitely. That this is just for seeding today, this round robin setup, and then everyone's got a shot to Keep for going. playoffs and to, and to qualify. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of nice. It's not like, you know, you walk into day two being like, what's the point? Yeah, yeah. And I know in the BC Provincials, uh, I think the eighth seed almost upset the first seed on the men's side. So Amazing. anything can happen. That's right. That's what I love about this. Oh, nice try. It does sometimes feel like there are less surprises in dodgeball. Yeah. Yeah, like less upsets, but I it love happens. a good upset. Yeah. And I mean, in playoffs, you have a lot of time. So yeah. I think that's what kind of prevents a lot of that. Totally. Oh, oh, taking a double. A double, a double hit there by Brenner Bourget, taking out Polly and Washbrook. So, 3v3. Thinking about it, but looks like it hit all ball. Yeah, sometimes you get, gotta, gotta think about it. You do have bit. to. Oh, what a catch Big by Parity. by Parody. Oh, no. He can clip that. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna clip it, but somebody will, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been finding, um, Playing cloth, like both you and I playing cloth now. Mm -hmm. um, transitioning between foam and cloth, sometimes I, I have to take that extra second. I'm like, in cloth, like, oh, it hit my fingers, but yeah, that's Finger fine. Blocks. And then in foam, if it hits my fingers, I gotta think about it. Like, okay, yeah, I gotta, I gotta yeah, walk off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks like we're coming down into sudden death here. It's gonna be Hennessy versus four Cannoneers players. Um, sometimes it's hard if you're like, these are the moments where maybe you step out if you're like, can, can I take it? I don't know. Yeah. But it looks like he's going to try for it. Why not? Oh, first shot. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> why not? It's done. That's why not. That's a why not. Yeah. <laughs> Go well, for this it. was fun, Erica. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah. When do we play next? Uh, we played three. Half an hour. Ten. Three ten. We could do another one. Who's playing? Um, next up. Mint versus future. Ooh. Oh, it's two. Oh, we're swapping to women's now. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Oh, so we're gonna play on stream. Oh, sweet. We should pick good commentators. We're gonna say nice <laughs> Oh, we get stars. to pick? Okay. Well, everybody's a good commentator though, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Everyone's a good commentator. <laughs> I was, uh... I mean, here, we only have the stellar ones, like me and you and <laughs> At, Adam uh, Bader came and did a bunch. Matt Creamer is unbelievable. Yeah. So we got we got lots of skill here. Got lots of talent. Yeah. On the court and on the commentator mic. Yeah. Yeah. So we could do the next ladies match then. All right. Which Who's is... Uh, who we got? Supernova and Rack Attack. Calgary teams. Am I too early there? No, it is. Yeah, Supernova and Rack Attack, which is actually nice because then I won't be late for my game for sure. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. There's no chance of you being late no for chance. that. No chance. Yeah. 
This will be a great battle. I, uh, I'm very excited to see how this goes. They've been playing against each other for a little while. Oh. Uh, Supernova's got some new players this year, or like mm -hmm. new additions, not necessarily new players. So Jasmine, who played for Banshees last year was, mm -hmm. and played for Thunder at Nationals, she's on Supernova this year. At she's McCaffrey. doing a tour. She's doing a full she's tour, a full tour. <laughs> of all the women's teams. <laughs> uh, McCaffrey so she's Dinos played. next year then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> McCaffrey played for Thunder for the last what, three or four seasons. And That's now right. she's Lives in she Calgary. also moved over to Supernova. And then Hope, who played for Balls Eye Terriers at the last year's Provincials, mm -hmm. she is playing for Supernova, Supernova as yeah. well. Um, yeah, Rack so Tech, same same roster. Oh yeah, yeah true. hundred percent the same. Why yeah. would they change it up? Yeah, They're winning. Yeah, <laughs> they've definitely seen some uh, some success on the court and yeah. really good um, chemistry. They they they're friends that have known each other forever and and I mean it, yeah, I think they've been playing for like five or six years together. Yeah, yeah and they I think they played boss together before that even. Yeah, and they're all like buddies, so and it they're makes just like the very nicest people. Yeah, I mean. Like Gia, I think is constantly smiling. I don't know how her face doesn't hurt more, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did see a lot of smiles too in your game. From my team, yeah. for me, like from from Rack Attack while you guys were playing, um, like Riot versus in Rack Attack, they were still just smiling away yeah. even when they were down three. I mean, it's hard to even be mad at them when they get you out because you're just like you're just so nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but some people, you know, you walk up the court and you're like, ah. Yeah, Man, I yeah. hate that you're the one that got me. <laughs> <laughs> Put that smile away. Yeah, you're supposed to be intimidated by me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> totally. Uh, I was playing at, at Westerns. I was on stream. You can't see it because her back is to the camera. Yeah. But I was playing against Nadia Lee um, out of BC. It was a one v one, and then it lasted like three minutes. Like. Oh, I saw that. It was so long. Oh, but it was good. We were just walking back forever. and forth. But you can't see it on camera, but what was actually very unnerving is she was grinning ear to ear oh at me my the gosh, whole that's time. So and I was like, <laughs> afterwards, I was like, why did you smile at me? And even people on the sidelines were like, why is she smiling at you? This is it so It worked. <laughs> it worked, She's obviously. like, I was, trying to, I was trying to just, you know, unnerve you. And I was like, it worked. It didn't work. I no, got because you won. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, I mean, but it was unnerving you. Yeah, it was like, it not was enough to, to knock you off your game, though. Are we on right now? Oh, yeah. Just keep talking. Yeah. yeah. Erica and I are doing commentary still. That's right. For this next ladies game. Ladies for ladies. Supernova women v. Rack women. Attack. Yeah. We're I also do super love these new Supernova jerseys. I super love Supernova jerseys. Yeah, we, they, yeah, they rolled them out for Westerns, and like we had designed our jerseys but hadn't received them yet, and mm -hmm. a couple of us were like, are they accidentally close? But I think there's enough of a difference. Oh, yeah. You can't really totally tell. Different. The colors are different, too, aren't you guys are a little more like red, and these ones are a little more Yeah, maybe pink. we should get Priscilla and Christina just stand in front of the camera so the people at home can oh, that, see. That's not the right camera, though. Oh, oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Look, the camera's over there, though. That ladies. camera. Yeah, I think that's different enough. Oh, yeah, like there's green. Yeah, green. The and colors stuff. are different enough. But oh yeah, yeah, Riot yeah, yeah. Jersey. Yeah. Supernova jersey. But love the colors. I love the brightness. Yeah. Oh, and Rack Attack Amanda Sartin's getting in. They're like, ah. <laughs> what? Do, do I get to stand here too? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. All right, we're doing a little bit of adjustment here, so just to make sure that uh, we've got the women's lines where they're supposed to go. Definitely uh, stepped out. Some people have stepped out of the line, so it's great that we have the line refs for this and have the lines. Oh, am I not talking loud enough? Oh, I can hear you a little bit better now. Oh, okay. You're like in my head now. That's the way I like it. That's what's gonna be for our game. I'll be in your head already. Am I in your head now? Oh, yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Yes, the women's games for the, the fans at home watching, mm -hmm. um, 15 minute halves instead of 10 minute halves that the men's had. Just there's fewer games for the women to play, and so a little bit longer, so they get a little bit more court time. It does, I think, change some of the some of the outcomes a little bit, some of the strategy a little bit, just playing a little bit of a longer game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it also I kind of I do like it because if you kind of had like a tough start, it gives you time to to adjust, right? Yeah. Whereas some of those really short games, like if you lose the first two, you're just like. Now what? So I, I do really like yeah. it, but it if you're the team that gets up by two, obviously. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit of a, oh darn. Yeah. Supernova came up on us 3 nothing. 
oh. this tournament, last provincials, and at westerns, and then we've had to claw back every time. We we lost by one today, but I'm like we can't can't do that. No, you can't don't keep, have time. Uh, getting in the hole that much. Mm -hmm. Is it just the way that they play? They come out real hard at the beginning, or is it just you guys have trouble adjusting, or what do you think it is? I think. Um, they come out a little bit hard, and then they're, they're just very accurate. Mm -hmm. Makes it's a difference. Tough. Yeah. yeah. Jasmine, who's running by, I don't know if you <laughs> she uh, had an amazing catch on, I think it was Christina Barasa. Um, she was tying, she was like adjusting her hair, and she caught it with her elbows. Oh my gosh. And we were like, that is just unlucky. <laughs> like, or just the coolest skill ever. Yeah. Catch it with your elbows. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, none of you people get to see that on live stream. Guys. Oh, man. I mean, maybe. I think all the ports maybe. are recorded, so maybe maybe that picked up. And Oh, this was today? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All, the, all the courts are being um, recorded. recorded, so we can archive that for later. Yeah. So we can talk about some of these players uh, on Rack Attack side. Who do you love to watch the most? Man, I feel like Yvonne is such a hard player to hit out. I was locked up against her on mm -hmm. the like on my left side of the court. Mm -hmm. She was playing right side, so we were it, she's just so hard to hit and mm -hmm. we kept just like letting balls be absorbed by them because she had two balls and like why are you throwing at her? Yeah. She's too good at blocking. Yeah. Um so she's really fun to watch because I just feel like she gets back into an offensive position really well and she pressures well and she's got a good no look. Mm -hmm. um, we definitely wasted a lot of balls on her yeah. when we played them for sure. <laughs> but like their entire team is really fun to watch and they, they really commit to team catches. Uh, mm -hmm. In the game previous to ours, they were making, uh, I think it was against oh, I w oh yeah. yeah, I watched it. Just so many pop-up catches. Oh yeah, that too. But on in your game too, I think they had a few. Maybe I, I, maybe I blocked maybe that it out. was no, no, maybe it was my game. Maybe <laughs> I blocked it out. I remember them doing it. And I, oh yeah, no, I hit Betty Mac. Up it went, and I was just like, yeah. yeah. And then and then it's like sometimes bye -bye. it's hard. You're like, if you throw too hard, there's too big of an opportunity. Oh, I for know because obviously I throw way too hard. Tree, you do obviously. throw pretty hard, Eric. Oh, thanks. As uh, someone who's been on the receiving <laughs> end of your ball, you throw pretty hard. All right, oh, we're getting started. Started. I do want to try to like pride myself on rushing faster than Betty Mac, though. That that's my one. That was my one goal today, and no, I, I, don't I did okay. I'm lucky that I don't have to rush because <laughs> I've got some real fast feet on the team, and yeah. I hang up more on the left side anyway. So. Yeah, that works out okay. Yeah, but the rush has been not very. Haven't seen too much happen in the ladies' games in the on the rush. No, I, f I feel like men's games, it's just so quick and like three people usually get out right away. Mm -hmm. Women's games, it's often maybe one. Oh, big two. catch big by catch Lou and hung out on the rack attack. So we're, yeah. we're doing a little bit of trading already to get started. Chung out on the supernova side. That was just too much to keep track of there. Yeah, 5v5. Five five. We're even. Nice movement by Supernova. Yeah. And something that Matt Kreenemer was talking about a little bit earlier, too, he was saying that people aren't jumping as much anymore. Now, generally, laterals, you know, laterals, a, laterals, yeah, a yeah. women's game is is not as much jump, uh, just as, you know, yeah. Bader just jumped, just to disprove my point. But uh, I do think that that stems from, like, that national level where that was such a big focus for the last world mm -hmm. was, like, moving more laterally, not committing to jumps, because once you commit to that jump, it's hard yeah. to... But even, like, committing to the drop is kind of tricky, too, right? Yeah. You got nothing in except the catch, and with the way that people throw so hard and, and all these curves that people are putting on some of these balls, like, you, you're really kind of limiting what you can do if you're dedicating to planting. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh, nice shot. Nice hard throw there by Lou. I feel like her throws really developed quite a bit. Well, she did play with um, Rack Attack in the, at Nationals last year, right? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> did, she, did she? I honestly don't remember. I mean, I was asking you the question. I knew the answer. but <laughs> <laughs> She was picked up by Rack Attack after, after Provincials. It looks like Hope. Uh, Jubinville. Jubinville. Yeah. I was so used to her Facebook name. It's oh. not Jubinville. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Jubinville got taken out there. Yeah. So Rack Attack just a little bit down here. They've got two. 4v2. But pretty confident in their ability to get it back. Betty just oh, I was taking just out say, Rachel yeah. Wong there. You never, ever, ever want to be on a one-on-one -on -one with Betty back. Or, yes, three-on-one even. Her ability yeah. to survive is unparalleled, I would say. 
Yeah, maybe she'll win that survive. Oh, Ooh, there's one. Popped there's up one. Uh, from McCaffrey into her own teammate Lou there. That has happened a lot today. That's happened to me twice. I, uh, I was on the receiving end, which was awful. In the mint game, man, there was a lot of doubles. Tons yeah. of doubles. Got to keep your Something eyes about up. the balls today. Yeah. That's why I just don't block. <laughs> One, because they go into my fingers. But two, then I can't block it into someone. I love I win. blocking. Oh, I wish I could be amazing blocking. But I, it's a hard sometimes going into sudden death and, and making that, like, switch in your mind. That's like, right. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Don't. <laughs> That's another thing that Matt Creamer was saying earlier today, too. He's like, why do we even have, like, sudden death? Just play out the time. Like, because you're having to adjust so much. Because you so can much. play a four-minute game just blocking back and forth. No blocking. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he's like, but why do we have that? We should have blocking. It should just be normal. Like, like it's always the same. We're, we're not allowed to call it sudden death. It's oh. not called that. What's it called? No blocking. No blocking. Oh my gosh, I've been calling it that all day. It used to be called that. Mm, sorry, team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I put that in all the communication that went out for this weekend we too. Okay. <laughs> cool. Cool beans. Yeah, I'm sorry, team. It's okay. No blocking. These are opportunities to do better. Why do we even have no blocking? That's what Matt Kramer said. There we go. Nailed uh, it. To make it quick and keep it on time for a yeah. tournament. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because you could block forever. Like a couple good, really good blockers. Yes. Oh, I just watch and envy. Maybe we'll have a 1v1, Erica. Maybe oh we'll have your opportunity to block. It won't take long. You'll just destroy no, me. No, you get me in the toes. Uh, sometimes. Oh, oh Betty Mac. Wow. Mc yeah, McCaffrey, I, I think she's been working on her drop Easy shot because yes. it's been getting past blocks. Yeah, that's awesome. Just put a little bit of spin. Oh, look at the quickness there. Oh, hey. oh hey. my gosh. Oh, Cash. no. Oh, no. Nice job. Buto caught out by Trung. And Buto oh, has a pretty good throw, mm -hmm. but Trung, pretty better catch. Better know? catch, yeah. Yep. She was ready for it. She just was waiting. Yeah. And, and, you know, you, you can kind of get Buto kind of on that. She, she gets really excited and will throw those balls. So if you can kind of, yes. you know, bait her a little bit, sometimes she will. She'll give it to you. Yeah. And in that case, worked out for Rack Attack. But, you know, McCaffrey but talking, Yeah, I was going to say, survivor. I was going to say, if you were talking about people who are great at surviving, she does sometimes get a little bit um, aggressive, I find, McCaffrey. Yeah. Sometime to her benefit. Takes that hit there. It's 1v1 now. She, I, I find she's been really working on that um, that counter. Oh, don't go any further back. Oh, my gosh. She's so close, close to that, that line. line yeah. That's the way you definitely don't want to get out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> taking their time. Taking the full 10 to, to take her throw. Oh, wow. Oh, what a comeback for Tiffany Trung. Big catch, big hit, takes the game for Rack Attack, one nothing. And and we like still have so time. much time. But that was like half the <laughs> <laughs> half the first half, <laughs> I guess. Eight and a half minutes left in the first half. All right, now we'll see. A couple other players come in, Rachel Wong and Jasmine Linford on the Supernova side. Linford, another big arm for their team. Rachel, so good. Wong is so good at surviving and mm -hmm. looking for those catches too. So yeah, like really good blockers. Both yeah. both Linford and Wong. And we'll get hopefully a couple of smiles here from uh, Bader on the other side, coming in for this game. That's her default, I mm -hmm. think. <laughs> it's just smiling. Mm -hmm. Sugden though has a game face. <laughs> yeah. Well, McCaffrey throws, but. Not quite in that spot. Oh, nice oh, shot by Sugden. Hit by Sugden, taking out Juvenville. Who used to be on Supernova, has moved over to Rack Attack, I think, two years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sugden, yeah. Oh, and she played Thunder as well. She so Thunder. she's like. She went Thunder to Supernova and then to Rack Attack. Rack so Attack. basically, she's like, Jasmine Linford is just. Following in her, <laughs> her footsteps <laughs> of making sure to play all the teams. I mean, it's a big commitment to play on a team that's in a different city. Like, three-hour yep, drive definitely. for practices and, and, you know, all that team bonding aspects. You really – it's easier, obviously, if you're in the same city. I know in Ontario there's a lot of people who play on teams in different cities and, and make that travel happen, but mm -hmm. a little bit rarer in Alberta. And we do have, like – 
pretty large communities in both and oh Big nice catch, catch by, by Mac. Mac. She was ready for it. Oh, but there we go. McCaffrey said you can't have two of those. <laughs> Tran taken out there. But she was in a good position too. Mm -hmm. Those are hard sometimes when you just don't make it, but you were there, you're in a good spot. And she was down on her knees, which uh, today I've seen a lot of her just having the ball running to the line and, and really putting some good pressure on. So, mm -hmm. Wang but taken she, out. She can also do the, the block if she needs to, or the, mm -hmm. the catch if she needs to. Big blocks all around. Buteau taken out by Mac there with the, the counter. Do we also just love how Betty Mac is just like so composed, like so unassuming, and then just crush her. She's just like the nicest. Also, we love her because she's on the board with us and she does such a good job. Yeah. Hey, speaking of jumping, I just saw Mac jump. Yeah, yeah I did too. And Bader was taken out there. So we've got Lamb, Mac, and Sugden versus McCaffrey, Lou, and Linford. Speaking of Linford, I do really like how she throws. It almost looks like she doesn't have like a full windup and it's very deceiving. She is someone who also like newer to dodgeball. Came in last spring, I think, spring 2023. Yep. Um, but she's like a very athletic mm -hmm. person. She, she was on a rec team um, with her, like she works at Starbucks and she was just like on a Starbucks random rec team. Somebody noticed her. And so then we brought her on to Banshees last year and she did great. Just moving on up. And mm -hmm. she's only like 22, 23, oh, something yeah. like that. Oh yeah, super young. She got oh. married last year. Mm -hmm. So now she's the Linford. Now she's Linford. So you might have seen her in a different name before. Which I can't pronounce. So I like the Linford name. Sort of the B. I can't Bar remember. It's like Baron Direct. Yeah. Baron Direct. Yeah. yeah. Marrying into easier last names. That's, oh. the, that's the way of the game. I married into a harder to say one, but n n less easy to get made fun of about. So What was your maiden name? Dick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Spitzmacher now. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. what's better? Harder Big to spell. Big hit by Sugden. Just yeah. right on the toes. So accurate. Oh, no. It's right there. A ball. Uh, not being shagged. There. Now it is. There we go. You just need a, a Schmigelski gets to, that ball. to yell really loud and yeah. something happens. Yeah, Schmigelski's voice really does carry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So Rack Attack able to whittle down Supernova to one player. Throwing all their, oh no, well they got one ball left. Oh wow, what an now interesting choice. I do really like that choice of McCaffrey there. She was looking like she was gonna throw at Mac, but then said, no, I'll hit, I'll, I'll go for Lamb. Preventing that Lamb to be able to kind of counter her back. So yes. I really like that choice to kind of come really hard where there's only one ball and you can Taking only throw at that one person. There. Sugden took out three people, I think, in that set. With yeah, her toe shots have been bang on today. Yeah, I'm lucky she plays on the other side, and I don't have to really deal with her very much. <laughs> <laughs> just hope she's taken out by the time I'm still on with her. Now we'll see a couple of other players. Amy Chu is now on for Supernova. And he swaps on the side. Yvonne Schur is in. She uh, got a free hair dye job. She so it was free. It looks, looks amazing. She's got some uh, red and purple in her hair. Yeah. But then she matches Supernova better then, doesn't she? I mean, it gives a little more color to the Rack Attack jerseys. Yes, yeah. I do really like them. Like, I love the, the lettering on the Rack Attack jersey. Yeah. But they are pretty uh, Sure, it takes black. out Buto. So five on six. Or six on five, depending on which way you look. Yeah. Supernova with four. I think uh, I, I saw a quick uh, flash quick in the, the chat. chat. Yeah. yeah, Melody Zwalik gave us a nice little shout out saying our no. chat is great. Thanks, no. Mel. Thanks, Mel. Love you. Mm -hmm. We miss you. Yeah. Oh, the nice, li nice counters by both Jubinville and Sugden, but both still safe. Yeah, still 6v5, so pretty long game. There's uh, just a, over two minutes left. Big oh, nice catch. catch there. She made a few big catches. Yeah, Wong is uh, getting caught a lot. You gotta adjust that throw just to some toes a little better. She's pacing a little bit. She knows. Oh, oh, Chu just about. Oh, just out of her grasp. Nice try. That was a big hit. Sounded good. 
But we want to talk about people who are hard to hit. Chung on Supernova. Like, yeah, incredible. Man, very oh. dancey. She moves so much and she moves so well. She's like, just her feet are constantly buzzing. I oh, think. yeah. And a blocking, like, really nice blocking. Yeah. Supernova deciding where they're going to throw it. They've got four balls. Oh, nice. They throw Sugden counters, both misses. So still six versus three. Sure is coming up at the line, putting a little bit more pressure. See, this is where you lose balls because you're like, I'm going to get yeah. her. But she and can block you. She can block so well. Yeah. And she's also really fast on her feet, so she's moving all the time. Mm -hmm. No uh, surprise that she's on Team Canada. <laughs> yeah, not at all. Oh. Linford no hit one's out. questioning that. No. Oh, also love to see Betty Mack on that list of like top top six, top six Canadian, yeah, foam players. Oh, nice Ooh, shot by Juvenville. Shot taken out Trung. Sugden wow. also taken out by Juvenville. But Chung just again killer killer job just staying alive there. Yeah, four balls for Supernova. Two of them left on court. Four on rack attack. Looks like Juvenville's gonna take that throw. Oh, both both take that throw. Looks like she was okay, but I guess Looks we'll like see. Yeah, sure. Yeah. They're saying it was a bounce. bounce first, so no hit there, but pretty close. Oh, there we and go. And there's that hit on Chung. Nice shot. Throwing two though, and then right two balls under the block, yeah. On Juvenville. Oh no, sorry. They got three balls on rack attack. Still alive. One ball remaining for Oh, and this is a, not sure. a place where you want to be without ball. Yeah. Juvenville has a rocket. Yes. Nice. Does. Takes out another player. But there we go. Sudden death. Oh, no blocking. Ah, oh, darn. I tried. No, no blocking. No blocking. Entering into the no blocking period of this game. Yes, thank you, Shri. Juvenville versus couple rack attack players. We got Mac and we got Lamb. Yeah. Kind of cool that there's a sister sister duo on, on rack attack. If I'm rack attack, I feel a little bit better about this because Juvenville's very good at blocking as well. Oh, and um, probably and I, would want to. Yeah. yeah. I would think, you know, maybe I could catch her on when she's not, you know. Yeah. Or th catch yeah, her throw off guard, two. maybe like throw two. Yeah. yeah. But she does do this kind of drop a little bit to get low there, but so does Lamb, so we'll see. Get her without a ball. Come I do on, find Juvenville. she also like cheats to one side a lot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean I shouldn't be saying this. Just watch back and be like, oh Shrina. Oh my back. goodness, what a nice finish. She was ready. Oh that was close. man, that was so close. That easily could have gone either way. Is that a four two V one in the end? But I think she had like four V Yeah, I think that's where it started. Yeah. It was a four V two I think to Good start for out Juvenville. with. Yeah. So I guess we have to go play each other now. Right? It, no, there's Second half. Oh, that was just the first half? Oh, my. Man, you're so excited to play me. I know. I'm just so excited to crush you, I mean, Tree. I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> I will destroy. <laughs> We're going to be fine. It'll, it's going to be great. Yeah. My team. Um, Lots of Edmonton players on the Dinos team. All but one. Um, never practiced together. Never. Had, this is the first we've ever been on a court together. I mean, you've played three games already? Two. Two. Oh man, this is our fourth game. We're almost oh, done. Oh wow, yeah, we've got two in a row coming up, so. Yeah, we were, we were had dreams of hot tubs after this. Oh, delightful, yeah. Nice. We'll that see. is the one thing that is a little bit sad. Um, Dodgeball Edmonton is known for winning the party, and it's gonna be it's an afternoon party on St. Patty's yeah. Day. I mean, so there's good, good mm. things about it being on St. Patty's Day, but yeah. uh, it is a little bit different. It is a little bit different. Sure, taking out Jubinville right off the gate, taking out a big threat on the court but lots of good Supernova players remaining. For all those people watching at home, we've Take decided to do a few more uh, awards at the awards stuff tomorrow. So if you see a really good play, please do clip it. We yeah, want to have a, all these clips. The link was shared on the event. Mm -hmm. I think it loaded. Yeah, I tried to post it, but hopefully it worked and you'll find that link. Uh, there's awards for best catcher, best dodger, dodger. yeah, big uh, survivor, mm -hmm. and we've seen a lot of good survivors. Epic on play, it. epic play in honor of uh, Kyle B's uh, tip up catch pop up thing. Twenty twenty two, yeah, yeah. yeah. amazing. Oh, nice shot on Wong. <laughs> yeah, I think Yvonne has been just knocking him down one at a time here. So yeah, 
Supernova going to have to come back and you know, look so knock happy down one there. at a time. Oh, just a little short. So yeah, get your clips in. Get your like post some clips for us so that we can go back and look and, and make it easy for us yeah. to share everything <laughs> later. <laughs> And be able to justify all the awards. Yeah. yeah. Shree and I both on the Dodgeball Alberta <laughs> Committee. So please, <laughs> please, please help for us. us. Please for us. Oh, Matt Creamer was also talking about a really good, oh, was it Ankle Hunter? Best Ankle Hunter. Feet Finder. Feet Finder or something? Oh, man, that for next year we'll have to put that Kay. on the list. That's a good one. I mean, Sagden's hit a few. Oh, man, yeah. Today she, she, be would be, she would be the winner for the, for the women's At committee. least this game. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if she made that many on, a, on our game, but mm. she just wanted to wait until she was on the live stream, and then she's like, let me just tag yeah. this toe right here. Big Supernova, yeah. Pump fakes from Supernova. Oh, nice catch. Supernova just kind of not able to, to make any connections here, but which is interesting because they were super accurate when they were playing against us. So <laughs> might just be, you know, a couple more games after and it might does, be getting it a little bit. It does take a toll, you know. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's there one. There we go. Friend of Lou making yeah. a hit. But Another person still got who five people to take out on that side. So yeah. tall order. Yeah, but she is an incredible survivor too. Just... Soaking up balls here. Mm -hmm. Big block from sure, making it look easy. Mm -hmm. Just casual. Really love the pressure that where attack has been putting on today too. They are just holding that line. Mm -hmm. And they did that against us too. Which I feel like you don't see as often in foam for like multiple people too. Oh, Big nice catch finish. There, yeah. Good pop up. Again, like we pop were saying with rack attack, rack attack and their pop ups. They just love each other so much. They just yeah. you know, team throws. Yeah. She should have made it a little more dramatic, though, like the Kyle B catch. She could have, like, jumped in the air and, like, thrown it up to somebody yeah, else. Yeah, then we could have oh, we we clipped, clipped it. Clipped it, put it in the form. That's right. But now, you yeah. know what? Right. I don't think that was – I don't know if that was worthy. No. Oh, okay. No. Opportunity's over anyhow. Yeah. It needs yeah. a little bit more showmanship, a little bit yeah. more intensity. Yeah. What is the oh. – there's, there's like some sort of, I'm sorry, I'm really old, so I don't know these things. Like the TikTok, TikTok thing where they're like, intensity. Oh, more passion. There we more go. Footwork. Thank you. More Thank energy. you. I knew you would know, so I'm glad. I mean, there was also a whole TikTok with you in it. I, know. <laughs> I don't actually turn my phone on with sound on. Hey, oh, big, big catch. catch. They're so catchy. Yeah. I've like, I used to, when I first started in foam, came in being like, I'm going to catch everything. Yeah. And then I feel like since developing my throw, I just, I don't trust them anymore. I don't it's go so for hard to catch. Much. Yeah. Like, that, same thing, yeah, like it's with the rubber background that we have, like everything was a catch. Yeah. Because you can't throw those balls. They're really difficult. So we're like, we'll just catch everything, and it'll yeah. be great. And you Which could, because they were giant. Which is why the has been so nice. Yes. Well, well, I'm like, you. this is a nice one. For you. Uh, <laughs> you can catch. Yeah, if it's right at my chest, I can catch it sometimes. But, yeah. Oh, well, a nice shot. I know you've got a camp next weekend, so. Yeah, camp in Edmonton, bringing cloth to Edmonton. Very exciting. I'm also attending. You, as you should, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we had a mixed cloth camp last weekend in Winnipeg. We had a couple of women's squad members at ours, uh, Kaylee Krochak and Natasha O'Reilly mm -hmm. showed That's up. Awesome. So. It's so cool to watch. Uh, I really am enjoying being on the ground floor kind of of the of the cloth. I mean, it's not the ground floor for Ontario, but it is yeah. for kind of the rest of Canada. So that's been Yeah, I mean, like, it, it's so neat. hard to get some... <laughs> Sorry, you're getting a, a photo <laughs> taken of us, so I had to Must smile. Stop. <laughs> Must stop. Must stop talking. Um... And we're always looking for more people who want to come yeah. and play, do some drop-ins and stuff. And yeah, like we don't have cloth leagues out west. I think uh, outside of Ontario, there's one night in Winnipeg now. Yeah. They had their first season, inaugural season. They yeah. won, uh, or they, they finished, finished it up off. this yeah. week. Um, Fantastic. Really no cloth opportunities out here. We've been kind of practicing on our own and mm -hmm. having some drop-ins. We've actually had a lot of people come. Yeah. And so that's been really nice to, to But it'll be nice to, like, get some more competition out here with the yeah. camp so just have to talk to dodgeball alberta don't I mean, worry to don't worry oh, nice. oh, big oh my goodness Betty all Mack. the action tran hit out there i'll make you look good though next weekend thank you throw, appreciate throw a couple it. couple easy ones <laughs> yes can you just like uh, muffin them up for me please yeah. that would be delightful tony if you're listening to this eric is amazing <laughs> <laughs> You can say the same about oh, me. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Brian, of course, Shree is the number one. But he, he already knows that. I don't know. 
Yeah, we'll see. It's the, oh, it's nice really shot by Smith. Oh, Betty but Mac, big, big oh, catches. And like, so again. quick to get down. Yeah, we should probably talk more about this game. Yeah. Betty Mac, big catches, rack attack, 4v2 here, Jubinville and Lou. Oh, wow. Taken out there. Betty Mac just said it's time. Betty it Mac time. said Mac attack. Yes, yes. Okay. That's probably what's in her head right now. Yeah. Look at, look at look at her. She's showing off for the stream, attack. you know. She's like, I'm going to watch this later. Mm -hmm. Can I this. I'm going to make sure I'm getting the awards. Oh, first. nice one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, got the last three outs. No big deal, Betty. Yeah. No big deal. We can call her Big Time Betty. Big Time Betty. Mm -hmm. I like Mac Attack, though. Yeah, then it's good, too. Yeah. When you have so many things that can work with your name, yeah. what do we put for Spitzmacher or Harrington? It's too long. No. Shree is, nah, I don't know. I got nothing. No, nope. nope. I got Sorry. nothing. Sorry. Sometimes I uh, get Shreezy as a nickname, but. Oh, I like that. I don't know. Not easy Shreezy, though. Not easy. No, you don't want that. That's not, not easy being Shreezy. Yeah, that's true. Uh, my husband calls me Shred also sometimes because my, oh. my name uh, autocorrects to that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like Bryce is always Bruce every time I yeah. message him. Yeah. We can just start calling everyone by their autocorrected <laughs> names. I like this. Oh, okay, we've got four to one for Rack Attack. Supernova starting to lose a little bit of steam here, but. Yeah, wish they'd do that against us. Maybe next game. <laughs> yeah. They do have the ability to to put some pressure on and do come back here, but yeah. maybe for this, there's still seven and a half minutes left. You know, like there's still lots of opportunities. So hopefully they yeah. can make the adjustments that they need to come back. And I think this is also maybe their their fourth game. Yeah. And oh. Rack Attack. I think oh, we haven't still played them yet. This is only their third game. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why we played somebody. Else. Oh my gosh, Betty Mac again. Popping up her own yeah. there. I just walked away uh, like I'm yeah. so good. She got and hit then after, but win. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she is so good, but she didn't good. see that one. Didn't see that. I would that take Betty Mac for my team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, Number she six subbed, in Canada. Uh, she said for my Wednesday league team, she's in Edmonton. Oh, yeah. yeah I remember I was that. like, man, I think this is the first time I played with you on the court, and it's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you very secure. Here. That'd yeah. be great. Well, she has been working at Edmonton a bunch, so we did, yeah. we did get to see her a bit this season, which was nice. Yeah, I was like, let me know when you're here so you can suffer my team and not the other team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Supernova down again to three players, 5v3. Nice throw by McCaffrey, just yeah. a little, little off target. Good spot, though. It's better than throwing it right at the chest and getting that catch because Rack yeah. Attack is there to make catches, apparently. A lot, a lot of pop-ups, but... A lot of just straight up catches too. Yeah. If I'm rack attack right now, I mean there's six minutes left. I'm up four or one. I'm gonna play this slow, disciplined. And that's what they did against you guys too in that last yeah, game. Yeah, it was really annoying. Yeah, they were just standing at the line and they were counting it down all the way down to one and, and then yeah. throwing at that point and you'll you'll see them do that here, I think. They're they're just lots so of disciplined. It. Yeah. So hard to be. You just wanna throw balls at people, am I right? I just yeah. And yeah, yeah, they're just hard to hit and so then they get all the balls and then, you know, hard to come back. And I mean, they've made so many catches this game. Yeah. This game or this match? This match. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. This oh, match. Lou able to keep it, <laughs> keep it on the ball there. So yeah, when when you were playing a team that catchy and that willing to look for pop ups and stuff, you gotta be really careful about your placement, how many you throw, that bounce. Yeah. Always appreciate everybody checking. I do that a lot too. I'm like, you know, sometimes it's hard to tell. Yeah, yeah. The adrenaline, if there's multiple balls coming at you. I don't know. I'm just of the mind, if in doubt, call yourself out. It even rhymes, so it. I mean, we have two refs and two line That's true. I, I, I'm it's fine fair with people ask. deferring it's fair to, to the ask. refs. Yeah. Oh, I guess it's 4v3. And <laughs> sure, in the end, at the end there, looks like she's playing, but she's actually shaggy. Oh, 3v3 now. Yep. Slowly taking them out. Yep, they're crawling back here. And then. It's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't think Rack Attack really cares here. I mean, they just want the clock to go down. So No. Yeah. I mean, even if they lose this set, it's like. Yeah. So their their main goal here would be just to keep things going. Keep blocking. Keep this game going. Yeah. Segged in with a nice little block. Gets that back from her shagger. So is Supernova going to continue to play pretty Pretty slow. Looks like they're running up to the line real quick here. Yeah, not fast enough, I think. Mm -hmm. 
I wonder if they're feeling a little like, you know, four minutes left, three points. It's doable. It's doable. But you gotta play a little bit faster. Oh, there oh, it is. There it is. is. Making Brenda the right Liu choices. Just making those, yeah, making those connections. Good for her. And with the three balls, they do have a little bit more options too about like who they want to throw or who should be throwing and when yeah. to throw. So, what was a five v three is now a two v three. With rack attack, having ball onus to throw with more balls. I think. What do you do here? You throw one. You throw two. I think that Rack Attack's just going to be slow. Yeah. Or are they you talking about Supernova? No, I was talking about Rack Attack. They, got four, they had four balls. But yeah, you're yeah. right. I think just throwing one, playing it slow and easy. They run down the clock quite a bit. It's just over three minutes left in this game. I do really like that, that they're getting Lou to throw most of these balls. Having that, yeah. that kind of cover on the sides is nice to keep the balls there. Yeah. Good McCaffrey choice by just McCaffrey. disarming, sugged in there. Looked like she probably could have gone for it, but yeah. <laughs> don't expend too much energy around Robin. <laughs> well, she's pretty close to that line there. Yeah. Hopefully they're watching. Lam just, she's also so good at surviving. Yeah. It's like all of them, I think. Any any one of these girls on either team. Where is the riot person who's supposed to be doing the lines? Oh, Des is sitting there. I just saw her. Yeah. There, Shagger makes a big catch on the Supernova <laughs> side. This kid moot. No. Christina Lamb making some really good blocks there and staying alive. Just keeping the time rolling. That's exactly mm -hmm. what she needs to do. Just letting go of one ball, throw it right at the block. Yeah, this has been a long set. Mm -hmm. And again, just goes back to that discipline that Rack Attack has. Yeah. Conserve your energy, play it on the clock. Yeah, they've got one more game yet, too. They still have Aurora to play in the last game today. If I'm Supernova there, I'm throwing two. Yeah. I, I wonder think why they're not. What do you think the reason is behind just throwing one, just to keep the control? Maybe. But here, yeah, take that. There we go. Time There's it a, a little one. bit so they're throwing, throwing it at the together. same time. Yeah. I mean, she's sitting in the corner. So if I'm McCaffrey, I'm going to try and get her, like, left flank or her right flank there. Oh, hey, what a catch. catch. Taking well, out oh, McCaffrey. Oh, but she stepped Touched over the line. line. So Supernova oh, should yeah. take that point. Yep. Yeah. There we go, Supernova. Good honesty to, by Rack Attack 2 yeah. immediately. Like, no, no. No, yeah, she out. Yeah. But that was a really nice catch. It was a really nice that catch. That is so unfortunate. After working so hard to, like, keep the clock. But, I mean, I mean she did exactly what, She did her job. Yeah, she did exactly what she was supposed to do, and that was just keep that, that clock moving, mm -hmm. so. 4-2. Lining it up closer. for one minute left here. Supernova looking a little defeated. A little, a little less pep in their step as they line it up. I don't know what just happened. I Not really. Yeah, we were missing a ball. Oh, no, we weren't. I don't know. Okay. But here we go. Betty we're ready. ran, though. <laughs> Betty was ready. Yeah. Preparation is key. Yeah. No. yeah. You know an engineer is always ready. <laughs> Oh, nice shot. Big and catch a catch, too. Ben to Lou there. Taking out two Rack Attack players right off the bat. I mean, there's 25 seconds. Wouldn't that be just something? Eh? Just Left. go finish this game, hit everybody out, and then, oh, we got one more. Yeah. We can tie this. Yeah. I mean, the chance of it is rare, but. Well, now pretty low. Like yeah. 15 seconds left yeah. on the clock. But they are playing pretty cash over there. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty close game. Taking out Lou. Nice shot by Jubinville. Oh, oh, oh. I one don't last. Yeah. No, oh, no Rachel hit. Wong there. No. Still in. So we'll do our sudden. Oh, no blocking. No blocking, period. I stopped myself. Nailed it. Mitch is so proud of you. Yeah. Give you a thumbs up. That's perfect. Thanks, Mitch. I'm sure everyone in the chat is also like, wow, Erica. Great save. <laughs> exactly. Obviously, everybody really cares about what I talk about <laughs> Yeah, that's why we commentate. Yeah, I know. Well, everybody yeah. cares. Yeah, everybody cares. Yeah. I mean, actually, it's really nice as a player, like when you have a big moment and you watch it back and, you know, you hear the nice things people are saying about you. Yeah, and the excitement that goes with it. Yeah. I made the mistake of wearing a JP Nguyen's Fury jersey at Westerns. And then I won a 4v1 on stream. And, they and kept the whole time in. they kept 
Call he kept talking about how I was wearing a Fury jersey. <laughs> and then after, they were like, shout out to JP. I was like, JP wasn't on the court. <laughs> I was. <laughs> you don't even get the props that you fully deserve. I know. So For now I'm only wearing my own jerseys till the end of time. Yeah, that's right. Well, I don't know. I, I hope that you listened back to all the amazing catches that you made in Houston there at North Americans. Oh. Shree Harrington just put in, uh, put on a put on a clinic in catching. I really like catching. I feel like it's uh, like one of my favorite things to do in dodgeball because it's like, it's nice to not only get somebody out but like bring somebody back in. Yeah, yeah. It's, like it's, a, real it's, a, it's a real swinger, right? Like yeah. it's a, it can swing a game. Oh, oh man, big catch. speaking of catches, this one counts though. Oh this man, this one counts. She was she's in. like time for some redemption here. And it looks like, I mean, the clock might be done, but I don't know if they're running a different clock over there. Yeah, this is the no blocking. Oh, and another catch by Christina Lamb. She said, "Forget she said, this. I'm I will really catch them this. all. I will catch them all." Oh, oh, Linford's able to take one out. I mean, maybe maybe she might win best catcher. Who knows? Oh man, after that. A performance. That was a performance. Linford able to stay alive? Linford is really good at staying alive. Oh, yeah. She's jumpy. She's dodgy. Oh, it's oh, so close. But nice I feel like every time I start talking about someone doing something really good, yeah. they lose it. And uh, I feel bad. I shouldn't be nice to people until they say do something good. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We, lo we love everybody. So. We do love everybody. So now I guess I we got to go, except we don't like each other anymore. So we have to go yeah, play against dead each other. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Erica. Thanks for Shree. nothing. <laughs> okay. See you on the court. See you on the court in 20 <laughs> seconds.
We're good. <laughs> We're not back. Now we're back. Uh, you got Paul Lakin here with Adam Bader to commentate this women's match. Now that we're, we switched the stream over, I think, one game ago. So this is an all Edmonton matchup, so Paul will have a better insight into who's who and what's what. So, yeah. Uh, that's Christina Barassa there getting the hits on Pam. I don't know all the last names offhand. I do, but, you know, I don't. So it's okay. Last names are, oh, nice catch by Schmiggy. Yeah, and Favon with the counter there as well yeah. on Chelsea Sherman. Yeah, Schmigowski. Yeah. I don't know. Does she not like that? I, I thought it was a cool nickname. Maybe I can uh, let that one die. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I thought so, right? Schmiggy, yeah. Okay, we got Dodgeball Alberta present Erica Spitz. Oh, we had Dodgeball Alberta president Erica Spitz. <laughs> Do you want to explain how the Riot team came about and yeah, what all so, happened in Edmonton uh, this year? Some of you may remember here, if you're in the stream, that uh, Edmonton had the Edmonton Thunder team for the longest time, many, many years. Uh, they decided to shake things up this year, do a tryout process, pick a, pick a team to be kind of the team representing Edmonton, and so that is Riot here. And then there's a couple other Edmonton women's teams as well. And then Dinos here is kind of uh, your, you know, misfits throw together team you know and uh you know they're they weren't on other teams and they're all together but there's some you know pretty good talent or up-and-coming players on here so but uh yeah riot's kind of the the picked team from edmonton and yeah so you might recognize some new faces from the thunder years past yeah no definitely it's good to good to see a shake-up it's that's a tough thing you get in with your squad and you do it for year after year after year um and if you're kind of the top of the top of the game for the city it's hard to want to move on from that but sometimes a little shake-up helps especially as other places improve and get better across the country big catch there nice dodge dinos on offense here Oh, double throw and double hit. Oh, and a trade. Good yeah. trade, though. Megan Frerichs takes one down with her. She's an OG Thunder, correct? She's an OG Thunder, that's right. Yeah. Nice dodge there by Aaron Robichaux on the left wing for Dinos. Oh, nice jump by Mel. Favone is very difficult to hit. <laughs> She baits balls all day. Does she have endless energy? She has endless energy. For anyone who follows her on social media, you'll see her workout videos, and uh, <laughs> she doesn't stop. I, I like the dentist TikToks. Those are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, I think she runs uh, half of social media oh, in great Alberta. Catch. Great catch. Another catch there. Good dodging. Oh, yep. Endless energy. Up, down, sideways. So that is Annette. I believe it's Mayon is her last name. Uh, two catches here in the last two sets. Great work. Oh, oh it takes a hit there, though. Good moving. 1v3 still winnable. Oh, nice, nice no look. Oh, Great gets team. out of the way the first, second one gets her. Great team. There's some great new jerseys this year here. Yeah, I was going to say part of that selection process, uh, getting new jerseys is always a great yeah. reason, you know? Yes. My, my jersey drawer may be full, but what's one more? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a trade already here. The riots, the, the T on the riot is like a spiked 
a bat with nails in it. You know, it's oh, a, really? It's a good look, yeah. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Got uh, 2 nothing to Riot here. Lots of time left for Dinos to try and muster a little bit of a comeback and win this one out. Good dog. Oh, that's Jessica Jeffries sliding out of the way on the right wing there. That's a new addition to the women in Edmonton. She comes from a softball background. Am I mistaken on that? Or? I'm actually not sure. Oh, I don't oh know. big throw by Jessica there, too. Great shot. Great hit. Uh, yeah, so Jessica Jeffries, one of the members of the women's team Canada Cloth, I believe. Oh, amazing. Hey, you guys got quite the Team Canada Cloth squad up there in Edmonton. Yeah, Edmonton has a long history of uh, rubber dodgeball, and the cloth game is somewhat transferable. So you'll also notice the Edmonton teams like to throw balls away a lot more. <laughs> it's just what we grew up with. So uh, yeah. get used to it, everyone. That's what we like to do. Yeah. Hey, it works. If it's working, it's working, you know. Team throw there, dodged by Pam. Do you guys have any cloth program up in Edmonton right now, or is it just more drop-in stuff? Uh, no, it's mostly just the people who are in the Team Canada program doing some drop-in stuff together. It would be nice to do a tournament here in Alberta. Yeah. Um, but we haven't done anything yet. Well, I know there's a 2v2 coming up that uh, Dodgeball Hub is organizing, and that one's got a cloth component as well to it. So for anyone in Alberta looking to try it out, that's a good chance to give it a, give it a go. And that's great. Oh, and great great counter there by Kristen on the left wing. Four balls for Riot here. They send two. Jessica Lai gets out of the way. Nice fakes. Ooh, just missed him. Good nice throw. Shree in the middle here is also representing for cloth as well, correct? Is she on yes. the mixed foam or mixed cloth? Or is she on women's? I'm not sure about the, the mixed or women's, but yeah, yeah Shri is part of the cloth program as well. Yeah, she's also Dodgeball Alberta's social media person, so shout out to her. If there's any great clips from this, send them to Dodgeball Alberta, and she will gladly share some of the awesome talent we have here. Oh, a double ball. Team good row. Block, Ooh. yep. Nice block. Confusion, yeah, looks like a clean block. Good. I feel like Dinos would be the best team if we had like a drum heller squad, you know? <laughs> Sponsored by the Royal Tyrell Museum. <laughs> yeah, so we have a dinosaur museum here yeah. at Drum Heller. Yeah, so for those who can't see the Dinos jersey, it's got a little T Rex on there. It's very cute. It is. And a little dino on the sleeve, too. Oh, man, jerseys just get better every year. <laughs> Nice dodge there on two. Kristen able to get out of the way again there. Was Kristen a new addition as well? Kristen's a new addition as well. I believe awesome. she comes from a handball background. Oh, okay. Uh, so for anyone who knows handball, uh, they make great dodgeball players. So yep. if, if you're a handball person looking to get into a new sport, dodgeball's for you. I can see that. You're moving and throwing probably quite a bit. Oh, yeah. great catch. Good job, Shri. Catch by Shri. Clip it. Team throw, and that's a great oh, shot. Team throw, good finish there. All right, that's three nothing here for Riot. Just under four and a half to go in the first half, if our clock is correct, which I hope it is, I believe it is. Oh, some team clapping over there. You'll notice that that was Mel Chang helping lead that cheer. She does come from a little bit of a cheer background, <laughs> so she is also very high energy. Maybe it's just a Mel thing. Maybe it just follows across the Jeffries and Aaron oh, Robichaux Mel makes the catch. Falls out of bounds, but still takes the catch with her. Oh, great try. We saw her teammate try and, try and catch the catcher. All right, we got five on five here. Riot to throw. Oh, great timing. It's a trade. Got her mid-fake. Mid Stacy has a very, very nice underhand. 
Yeah, the windmill. I play against Stacy in co-ed league, and I think she's hit me about 400 times. <laughs> it's just deadly. Yeah. Great team throw there by Riot. Yeah. Mel making the call. Oh, some big counters there. No, nothing. No, hit. oh, just a hit on Erica there. Ooh, Haley with the dodge. Good dodge, Haley. So Haley came to you guys from Victoria, and I know this because when I lived in Victoria for a year, um, I played the equivalent of like ESSC. Okay. And she was my games wow, coordinator for an all sorts of sports league. And she like was super cool, super nice. And then she's like, yeah, I'm coming to Alberta, like going for, I might've been school hey. or work. And yeah. And then she was like, she just showed up. I was like, you live in Calgary? Like, and she, she's an incredible person, a super nice person. If you ever see her around, definitely say hello. She's now the referee for Dodgeball Edmonton. So, and I bet she's great, great at it. All right, Riot with players to throw here. See if they send one ball. Oh, oh. good try, Haley. Go. Haley try to catch him off guard. Counter. You think they're going to dump three or just two? Two. Oh, two, nice. yep. yep. Haley staying alive. All right, four balls for Dinos to throw. Nice throw. Oh, good block. Another block by Mackey. Another attempt to pre throw. Yeah. Right, we'll go back and regather. Breaks up the uh, offense there. Let's see if they send two again. Just one. A single throw and a counter. And a counter. And a good dodge by Mel. Five balls now for Riot. Send two. Mackey able to get out of the way again. by Haley too. I wish I could block like this, you know? Yeah, it's amazing, really. I, I, oh, oh, great, great, hey, trade, trade, trade. trade. We have Pam left on the left wing. I believe her, I believe Pam's last name is Melkor, but don't quote me on that. Let's see what Pam can do here. Try, Sends one deep, Riot to throw. And she gets out of the way. Great she job, Pam. Away again, five balls on her. Good call attacking the ball. Mel sends it back. 35 seconds here left in the half. Just missed the feet. Riot, three balls to throw. And a double hit there to end the half. This will go into no blocking here. All right, that will bring it to four nothing. Going into no blocking. If Dinos can steal one here, it uh, makes the second half a little bit more. Yeah, let's see what they can do here. Yep. Uh, Erica Spitzmacher on the right wing, president of Dodgeball Alberta, known dodgeball player. Let's see what she can do here. Also team counter the cloth. There's a hit. Spitzmacher on Schmigelski. Right, pushing up. Ah, oh, good time. Aaron McKay takes the hit on Spitzmacher. Oh, good hit on Megan in the middle there. Rarex missed the catch. Shearman with that hit. And looks like Dinos has four balls. Ooh. Now five. Now oh, good oh. catch, Aaron. Aaron with the catch. It's always a bit demoralizing when one of the hard throwers makes a catch against you. You probably know about that, Adam. Uh, you've done that to us a couple times. Oh, you guys have made your fair share of catches <laughs> on me too. It's it's no love, no love lost between us. You guys yeah. catch me 
in our last game. You just uh, you got me there too, Paul. You picked my toes. Every once in a while. All right, so we have two players left on dinos here. Riot to throw four balls here. Nice dodging. Roga show out of the way again. It's over both of them. Riot with five, four. For Bowen making the play call here. Calls herself, but oh. gets hit on the counter by Shearman. And she survives. Great job. Oh, catches her looking around. All right, Christina Barassa, you, you look away for one second, and it's coming in. She has a great throw. You can't, can't take your eyes off her for a second. Another huge dodge by Robichaux. She is hard to hit. Oh, and there's Barassa oh, again. again. Five balls here on Dinos, Aaron Robichaux. Oh, good. There yes. is a Jess Miguelski. Thought she could block for a second, it looked like. Ooh. Almost went for the aggressive overhead <laughs> block and no blocking. <laughs> Love to see it. That's one way to get out. Yeah. Robichaud oh, again, and finally, Savannah gets it. So, big first half there for Riot. Yeah, 5 nothing here going into the second half. All smiles on the faces of both teams. You love to see that. Do they all train together pretty consistently in practice? Yeah, and there we do have a women's league as well in Edmonton that has about 30 women. So oh, awesome. they see each other every Tuesday night and are probably teammates in the women's league as well. So, uh, yeah, great, great to get yeah. to play against your friends. Yeah. Is it, it's an all draft league? It's a uh, all, yeah, all women's draft league. So we choose, yeah, so we choose our four captains and they, they draft the rest of the players and that's how we play for the whole season. Super it's great. Fun. Yeah. All right, now that I've got the last names of some of my best friends memorized, let's <laughs> <laughs> let's play uh, second half of dodgeball here. I'm so nice. bad for remembering names until I like I'll meet someone, but until I like add them on something or have like a Facebook profile, I cannot remember a name for the life of me. So yeah, this is a good opportunity to learn yep. your friends' names here. All right, Rye takes the throw. Dinos have four now. Might have to start quizzing you on the names. All right, <laughs> Sherman yeah. with the throw. Takes out Barasa. Good start for the second half of the Dinos so far. Six on four. Yeah, Dinos hasn't taken a hit yet here. Let's see if Riot can get one with four balls. Schmigelski oh, with a big throw oh, there. Big dodge on the second. Dinos on the return. Four balls for them now. Favone dodges that one from Shearman. They're going to have to send another. Another one. Yeah, they have more players still. Big fakes. Nice block. Block by McKay. Great dodge by Schmigelski. Pop up. Puts, bats it in, oh. but no one is there. Great try, Jessica. Target, good block. All right. Riot, four balls again here. Send two, dodge both. Spitzmacher sends one. Favon gets out of the way. Dino still to throw here, more players. Good dodge by Savannah. Big block there in the middle. Oh, Big block by Erica as well. Big block by as well. Oh, and, and the, the hit counter. to follow. That's my president. <laughs> <laughs> That's her. Good block by Erica. 
Oh, big catch. Ooh, Jessica catch Lai Jess. there. One player left on the right side. Aaron McKay with a classic high miss there. The Great block. block. Big fake. Oh! Can't reach it in. Good job. Dino's first point on the board. That was a great team game there. I think everyone got involved a little bit for Dino's on that one. Yeah, they were in control that whole point. Looking over at uh, Christina Barassa after she got hit out last point, she said, shout out to my mom. Let's see if she can do something worth it here. Oh, it doesn't quite get the hit. Christina, we'll shout out your mom officially as soon as you get a hit here. Another team throw and a hit by Dinos. Brassa stays alive there. Riot to throw, four balls. I want the windmill. Oh, there it is. Oh, good counter. Great counter by Dinos. Dinos, Dinos is hitting on these counters, counters now. Another hit, Barasa taken out. Dinos is really capitalizing when they get an extra ball. Big fakes, lots of fakes Ooh. there. Good job by Riot, staying disciplined on those fakes, not giving away a free ball. Now they have five. And oh, get the hit shot. on Mayone on the side. Stacy, first windmill doesn't hit. The second one connects on Shearman. No hesitation on taking that second one, too. Great shot. She was just calibrating on that first throw. Yeah. Probably didn't even slow down. Just kept the rotation going. Just load her up. <laughs> Good dodge. Good block by Great. Jester. Dinos to throw again here. Oh, good hit on the left one there. Uh, Campbell taken out. Riot with four balls here. Three on three. Good block by Haley. Four balls. Dinos waiting for that. Good block by Shree. Corners are going at each other. Oh, great block by Favone there at the line to stay alive. Four balls on Riot to throw here. Three on two. There's Two on target, hit. and that's a hit. The block. Oh, the and the underhand block just and the cross right to the shins. windmill to finish it. Right, goes up 6 1. Just about six minutes left in the match. Christina gets a hit off the rush there. Shout out to Christina Barassa's mom. <laughs> oh, you stuck to that. I didn't know you remembered that. Good, good for you. The true friend right there. Oh, with oh, the oh, ponytail. Jeffries gets hit in the hair. Oh, counter. Oh, great, great throw. 
That's a hard hit by Barasa there. And another windmill hit by Stacy. She is she's on target right now. Good dodge by Mill. Good throw by Jess. Riot to throw here again. Free counter, so they'll have to throw again now with three balls. Oh. Right, dodges another one. They'll be sitting at four balls now. Let's see if they use two of them here to try and get that hit. They, they do, do and but she a gets net they own dodges. They're gonna have two, or they're gonna have four balls. Opportunity to return however they like. Oh, oh, great catch! catch. Oh, Counter another catch, one. double catch, catch Let's by Fabone. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and that Mayon making a catch of her own and brings back in Erica Spitzmacher. Four balls now. I know my hands are full, but thank you. <laughs> a great catch! Oh my goodness! Again. Oh. Not wow. to be outdone. What Dinos with a around. double catch of their own here. And that's huge. Oh, the refs are coming in to talk about something. There was a lot that happened there. That's fair. I don't really know what happened either. I'm just no. excited. I heard cheers and seeing catches everywhere. And nothing happened. And there we go. All right. We're right. And we're All back. Right. And with all of that, Dinos have brought it back to 3-3. Three, three. three on three here. This was five on one at one point, wasn't it? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Spitzmarker with the hit and the dodge. Their timer stopped. Another hit here. Dinos with an opportunity to turn this point around. Kristen Klimzak staying alive here. Ooh. All six. Oh, ooh. one on one. Man can't catch that one. Let's see if Spitzmacher can finish it up for Dinos here. herself on the finger block. Kristen Klimzak finishes it off. That was a close point. Good on Riot for pulling that one out after Dinos took some momentum halfway through that. Yeah, it's difficult to, when the momentum swings back the other direction to close yeah. it out still, and they managed to do that. So that was really good. So got 7 1 here, about two minutes left. Gelski misses. Oh. Mitch is critiquing our mic for him. Sorry if you couldn't hear us for a while there. Yeah. And Spitzmacher taken out by a double throw. Riot still with four balls here. See if they double throw again. Unlikely, considering they're down, but oh, they, they do. do. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just got to send it, as they say. All right, Dinos now with four on the return. Double throw. Just like a good old Civil War right now. Line up, throw. You line up, throw. Send as many as you want. <laughs> it's oh, the, good try. The honorable way to play dodgeball. Yep. All right, Dinos again with four here. Double throw, and oh, in and out on the catch. Okay, okay. Right. can hang on to it there. Three on three though, they took someone with her. They took Haley. Oh, I did miss the hit on Mackie, great counter. Big dodge by Savannah. Dodge by Dowell.
30, coming up on 30 seconds here left in the match. Big block by Aaron. Oh, the block and the return hit. Aaron has a cannon. She does. She really uses her body well. Like, it's a big, big whip. Yeah. Savannah Dowell with another block at the line. Riot will have a chance to throw at least one more time here. Shearman with the block. the block. Ten seconds left. Oh, great counter. Hit on the floor. Good block by Sherman. And we're going to go with no blocking, two on one. All right. For the plus minus. For the plus minus. Let's see if Chelsea Sherman can get them to two points for the Dinos here. Big dodge. Aaron's looking. I think when she reaches, oh, good dodge. The second oh, sends one. a second oh, one. Oh, and Chelsea stays alive. Two balls still for Riot. Chelsea has four here. Oh. And McKay finishes out the match with a catch. Awesome. Well, this was fun, Paul. That I was think great. I have a game coming up, maybe. I don't know. I've lost track of the schedule. I think I have a game as well. We'll have to switch out for some new commentary here. Yeah. But uh, thanks to everyone who was listening. Hopefully, Christina Barras's mom was, in fact, watching the live stream. Yep. Uh, thanks again, everyone, for all your support. Uh, just on behalf of our team, Mint, I know uh, everyone has been um, really reaching out and providing a lot of support, and we just really appreciate that. So I just wanted to say that really quickly before we sign off here. Yep. All right. Thank you. Yes.
we have an Excel with roster list. Hello, everybody. This is Shree Harrington with Natalie Wall. We are here to watch Supernova versus Dinos. Um, er, Natalie, you're on Aurora. Have you played both these teams today already? We have played both of these teams. Suppose. How'd they go? Um, we beat Dinos and we lost to Supernova, but they were both really good games. Yeah. Ooh, big hit by Hope Juvenile. I think we actually uh, beat Dinos by the same amount Supernova beat us. So. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Nice clean slate in the in the standings for yeah. us. Yeah. Supernova coming out real strong this year. I feel like they we were I commentated one of their games earlier. They picked up a couple really strong uh, strong players and Hope Jubinville and Jasmine Linford and Megan McCaffrey. So I mean already a really good roster that they started with. So yeah, it's definitely brought a renewed uh, speed and power to their game. Absolutely. Erica looking for that pop-up off herself that doesn't make it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this Edmonton Dinos team, mostly Edmonton, there's one Calgary player. Um, they didn't even get a chance to practice before this tournament. So <laughs> it's... Oh, oh so Rocha close to a touch catch there. Catch. Um, but, yeah, a mix of, like, very experienced players and Erica Spitzmacher um, and then... You know, Haley Mackey's also had a few years of experience. Chelsea Sherman's been to nationals and played at a few provincials now. So, I mean, strong, solid players on the Dino squad too. But they are coming into a doubleheader. They just played against us. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, they, they were playing pretty well. Well, thank you. Uh, our friend Mitch over here is pulling up the rosters so we don't mess up anybody's names. Burden is on dinos to throw. We got a 6v6 still, so things are looking pretty even right now. But Supernova, of course, took that initial first game. A couple big trades here. Chelsea Sherman's out. Melissa Chang is out. And I want to say they just also took out Rachel Wong, but I can't remember if she was on the front. Uh, yeah, she got hit early in the play before all the counters. So a 3v4 situation. Maybe Dinos can turn it around here. The onus is on Supernova. And back to Dinos. Uh, Annette my, my own on, over there on the far side of the court from us. Uh, she made a couple of killer catches on our team. Yeah, Two I saw those. Those were great. One of them was mine. It <laughs> felt bad, <laughs> but I was really happy for her. Yeah, it was a nice catch. Yeah, she's uh, pretty new to to dodgeball. She uh, was mentioning that she played basketball in high school and like that this has been a really nice transition as an adult into a sport that's like a team sport. And she didn't realize there was so much strategy and stuff to it. So it's nice that she's getting to play her first provincials and, and making some great plays already. Looks like it's 2v3 now. Yeah, the Dino's taken out. Couple throws and misses from Supernova. Not a lot of urgency so far to no, the game. It's pretty, pretty it's a bit of a slower paced game. Yeah, but I think this might be one of Supernova's last game and I think this is Dino's last game too, so. Yeah. Later in the day, get a little more tired. Dinos is coming off double header as yeah. well. Definitely play off. Ooh, I thought maybe they hit Jubinville there, but it doesn't look like that connected. Just sounded good. <laughs> <laughs> you always love a throw that makes a nice, good sound. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that was a nice hit right to Jubinville's feet there. Big hit there. I think that was Jess Lai that made that connection. So Buteau against two in my own and fly. Ooh, Buto makes a toe shot on fly. I was mentioning earlier, those are my least favorite ones to get out on, but one of my favorites to hit. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Making that nice, clean toe hit yeah. is always what you're aiming for. Yeah. We were and trying nice on finish. you, and you made a couple <laughs> catches, so we were like, yeah, Natalie. Yeah, it was a nice finish there from Bateau. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've, I've had a couple good ones today. I mean, you are a very good catcher, so. Some days. Some days not. Today, but, uh, pretty good. <laughs> 
Hopefully it bleeds into tomorrow for you, except Pre against us. Provincials is the day where I, I do hope that it comes out. I think that's probably yeah. most players' strategy. Yeah, I think a lot of people were taking this whole week pretty easy to kind of rest up, make sure they didn't, you know, had some juice in their arms to Jazz be able to take the, the hit off the rush, or the throw off the rush, but not no hits, taking a yeah. hit. So it'll be on Supernova. Good Melissa block Chang there takes from that. Mackey. And then another counter that doesn't connect. So four balls to Supernova. What did you find about their, their play style when you played them? Um, it was a bit of a mix. They kind of came out pretty hard. And then um, they had a bit of a lead, so they sort of switched to a bit more of a defensive game mm -hmm. um, on us after that. Um, they did the same thing to us, too. And I we mean. almost took them, but <laughs> <laughs> if you have a lead and you can keep alive, it's it's not a bad yeah. strategy, especially in these long tournaments where you yeah. want to be able to reserve some arm power for playoffs. Yeah. I, I do find their lines a little bit interesting, too, when it comes to the no blocking time. They really switch out the players that block really well, the survivors, and they're just, like, putting out their arms, hoping to take it out pretty quick. So it's five Supernova players versus four Dinos now. And the onus will be on Dinos. Jess Lai takes that throw, not connecting, but it'll be back to Supernova. Melissa Chang takes that throw, no connections, a couple back and forth plays here, but no one really getting out. It's hard sometimes in those scenarios where you're like, it's not working, we're throwing one. And yeah, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta figure out something to change the balance of trying to change up strategy, but still maintaining your ball control. Yeah. It's always the, the balance in these kinds of games. Five for Supernova, three for Dinos. Throwing another single, but not connecting. Yeah. Yeah, even though Dinos is a new team, I definitely wouldn't take them lightly. Like, they've, they've made some really big plays. Haley Mackey's just been taken out, but she's been throwing really good, solid counters all, all day. She has, yeah. Makes, made a couple clutch catches on us, too. As a reminder to the fans at home, you can vote on awards, along with everybody who's playing today. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so if you see. So if you see anything, like a good play, nice dodge, you're like, man, wouldn't want to be up against her. She's a really good survivor. You can vote for her. And those links are on the website? They're on the Facebook event. So Facebook if you look up, page. like, Alberta Provincials, <laughs> probably something <laughs> will pop up. Yeah, search Dodgeball Alberta. Yeah. Provincials, perhaps. Yeah, I think we know that link, but uh. yeah, Natalie, <laughs> Natalie and I are both on the board for Dodgeball Alberta. It's been a little, it's, it's been a crazy couple weeks. It has. Like yes. obviously moving into provincials, the lead up is always like a lot of logistics mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And then of course with um, Kyle B's memorial and um, that whole situation kind of coming into effect in the last couple weeks, there's been a lot more conversations than normal, a lot more there have, group yeah. chat. Yeah, chatter. <laughs> Hard to keep up. <laughs> About to start a new point here. It's currently 3-0 for Supernova. About five minutes left in the first half. Nice strong rush there for Dinos, but still not quite connecting on the hit there. A nice block there from Juvenville trying to save that ball to get four for her team, and she does, so it'll be on Supernova. But 6v6, though. Lots of balls going by. Um, but they get lucky in one rolling back to them, so they have four. Everyone's looking a little more tired. Yeah, this is... This is <laughs> A game where people are showing their wear and tear a little yeah. bit. I'm, I'm kind of glad for that two day because it's uh, sometimes hard to still have anything left for playoffs. Yes, I definitely um, 
think we both played in Westerns about a month ago, and there were some long days there at that tournament. Yeah, I was like, day two, I had nothing in my arm left. Yeah. I felt really bad for my core team. <laughs> but I mean, better to pull it out for, like, it was our uh, Riot's first um, tournament together, so I'm happy to put more into that day than yeah. my co-ed yeah. day. I think a lot of people kind of treat mixed the same. It, it can be a bit more of a fun game. Big oh, a catch big catch there by there. Chang. Oh, look at us going for the same terminology. Look big at us. catch. <laughs> and Max Cluche is just walking by us. He's actually coaching Supernova, but doesn't seem to be coaching right now. <laughs> just Sassing calling us out the right coach, now. walking away. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, the women's games have been 30 minutes today because um, there's fewer games for the women's teams to play. Everyone's playing each other. And then uh, the men's games have been 20 minutes. Um, so the, the game timing has been a little bit different. Yeah. So I think Max just came off the game. He's trying to, trying to eat some food. Yeah. <laughs> but unacceptable. He yes. should be coaching this. <laughs> the, the idea to allow every team to play each team once um, rather than having teams play a, Potentially having women's teams play some teams twice. Uh, yeah, um, absolutely. That was the, the rationale behind that. Kind of a, trying to get everybody the same kick at the can, and you don't end up with a potentially easier or more difficult schedule depending on what matchups work for you. Totally. And it's really nice that like everybody's in it tomorrow. You know, like this was yep. just seeding. Tomorrow is a new day. Anybody can win this. Anybody can qualify. Oh, nice um, hit there from Dinos. Yeah. Anything can happen with dodgeball. I feel like everyone's had, like, there have been some really good heroic moments, too. Big catch there by oh. Linford, but Chelsea yeah. Sherman also catches her ball. Doesn't count because Linford's catch was made first. Yeah. It was a nice catch, but unfortunately, nice. just a bit too late. Yeah. Sherman's got some solid catches, so mm -hmm. that's a good player to take out. They take out Robichaud out there. Bateau taking the throw there. Spitzmacher looking for the counter. Spitzmacher oh, takes I'm the counter, it. but she is also countered on. She, uh, Couple trades <laughs> there. She was, she was excited <laughs> still to make that. She was just cheering She's on her own there in the corner. Happy she took one with her. Yeah. I don't think she has any intention to actually go to Nationals even if they qualify. <laughs> she's, uh, she's on the mixed, no, not mixed, uh, women's cloth squad for Team Canada. So I think it's been a lot between that and being president of the Dodgeball Alberta Board. Mm -hmm. So a lot of time away from her family and a lot of commitments going around. So she's just a nice oh, catcher nice by Jess catch. Lai. Uh, yeah, Erica wanted to make sure that we had a lot of competition in this tournament and that everyone had a good full rounded team. So she joined Dinos for this. A lot of the other women on the Dinos squad are in the Alberta uh, competitive women's program and have been participating in practices with the Riot team. So mm. that's like been really cool to see how much everyone's been progressing and improving. Yeah, a great opportunity for some development for everybody in that program. Yeah, absolutely. Burden back on Supernova to throw. So two Supernova players, Buteau and Linford versus three Dinos, Campbell, Sherman, and Lai. Uh, Campbell is a ball player, softball, I think she slow pitch? I don't know. I, I've never really played ball. I am much. not sure on her background, actually. Yeah, I think. Oh, ref's taken a... There's debate about whether Linford was also hit when she took out Sheridan. I Not totally clear. Some of the shaggers are kind of standing. <laughs> ball retrievers, I don't know. Yes, ball retrievers. <laughs> I always struggle to switch to that terminology. <laughs> it, is, it is shagger in my heart, but I'm going to try and say ball retriever for this stream. <laughs> yes, and also for everyone, is everyone's awareness, something I learned today from Mitch Jansen. Um, it's not called sudden death anymore. It's the no blocking period. Mm. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gotta, it's hard when language changes and you're used to something. And, but we'll all make some slip ups here and there, but. Sherman gets really close to that sideline, but they oh, managed to take out yeah, Linford. Dino's taking fun. it. Maybe this Good can be their point. momentum shift going into the center point. Yeah, it could be. I don't know. That's the beauty of dodgeball, the beauty of sport. 
I, uh, and why we do this, otherwise everyone would just be going, you know? I'm, I'm sorry to bring this up, but Rack Attack did kind of have a bit of a, a regrouping against you guys. I mean, I don't know why you're doing something. Yeah, we were up 3-1 against them, and then they, I mean, they're a very experienced they, team, and they've been playing together for a long time, so it, I'm not surprised that they were able to regroup and adjust. Yeah. Um, I'm really glad to have a coach who's probably going to be re-watching some of that footage <laughs> when he can and seeing what we can do if we play them tomorrow again. I have no idea what the standings even are right now. Um, I believe Rack Attack is in first. You know, we can check it out on Dodgeball that, Hub that because is. that is our... <laughs> that is where we are doing all of the scheduling and the uh, standings, and the teams are also, I think, listed there. So, yeah, Rack Attack is currently in first place with three wins. Uh, Riot's in second with two wins, two losses. Supernova, though, right now is leading. So if they win, they will take our spot, uh, but they're currently in third. And then Aurora, y'all are in fourth. Mm -hmm. One win, two losses, and then Dinos uh, are 0 3 at the moment. Who do you play next? Uh, we play Rack Attack. Okay, yeah, so, so that'll be fun. A, probably a tough game going yeah. up against the first place team. Yeah. They're all solid players. Yeah, but I mean, a Rack Attack is a great example of a team who, like, kind of unseated the previous AB1 team in Thunder and, and really has, like, solidified their position now. So, mm. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there's. If maybe not this year, but in future years, they, they should probably watch their backs. <laughs> you can't rest on your yeah. laurels too much in this sport. No, I mean, they've been together a lot of years, and there is something that does come from a few years of uh, playing together. Yeah, like being able to trust your team is going to get you back. They, uh, we were saying they, they get a lot of pop-up catches, too. They're always just, like, ready. Oh, it looks like Supernova missed their uh, ball countdown, so they are having to give back all six balls to the opponent. All if you don't balls. throw at least one within 10 seconds, you lose all your ball possession. So six balls for Dinos, three ladies on the court. Oh, and, and they, they take out yeah, one. They, take they out use two. that opportunity to get a hit and tie it to three players versus three players. And they still have five balls. They don't connect there. Um, and then they have two balls left, so on Supernova to throw. And it is Chung, Wong, and Buto on the court. Big catch by Haley Mackey. She's so good at catching. She People is. underestimate her, yeah. I think. I mean, it sounded like it had a lot of power. I don't think they gave it to her by any means. <laughs> no, but uh, I mean, throwing a single on her. Yeah, it can be dangerous be, for gotta sure. Gotta make a reach. <laughs> gotta hit her in the toes if you can. <laughs> Getting pretty close to that timeout they again they on are. their throws, so they almost risk losing all their balls again. But 4v2, Dinos against Supernova. It's Chung and Wong left on the court. My own is playing corner along with Tanzas. Oh, my own's taken out. Mackie moving into the corner now. Shearman making the play call. Mackie is really good at those uh, free counters, I find. Mm -hmm. if, as long as you're aware of them, they might be common. Then it's easier to block, but a lot of people aren't ready or expecting them. So Big dodge there by Shearman. They collect three balls to throw. And a secret, she's calling herself to throw. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the play call. <laughs> Uh, lots of pylon throws here, trying to hit toes, but just missing. People are just dodging. Excellent. Seeing the, the April Ferentz next to me showing me the, the chat, so people, people are liking the chatter. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this is my first commentating uh, experience, so. <laughs> Melody's the best. I don't know, some other chat. Apparently Quebec's provincials are today, one day, and they're in playoffs, but the Alberta oh. provincials have more viewers right well. now. So, oh, which uh, Twitch channel are we on here? I don't know, but Mitch was just telling me that, so. Oh. 
Burden is on Supernova to throw. They took oh, out Sherman, they take out Tanzik, so it's just Haley Mackey against Jennifer Chung and Rachel Wong. See that pre counter that I was talking about there? Mm. She often connects, so you gotta be aware of it. But I mean, if she does it every time, then it's a little bit easier to to prepare for a good block there. She's getting really good at blocking mm -hmm. too. She's getting down nice and low behind yeah. that ball. She's getting ready. She, I think, has played at BC Provincials as well. I think she's originally from Victoria. I believe so, yeah. But she's uh, been in Alberta for two, three years now. Um, I think she moved during the pandemic, which we don't talk about, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Burden on Supernova again. Oh, oh, is she um, calling herself out or? Yeah, it yeah. looks like Wong connected there. Yeah, well, that's too bad. I love a good close game when I'm not in it. Yes, you or close to see, uh, yeah. see the score be nice and close, keep it interesting for everybody watching. Yeah, so and playing, it's more fun. To have five a one for Supernova, just under ten minutes here to go. Your team is repping. You're playing right after? Yes. It's nice that you're getting your vocal cords. <laughs> I was just going to sure say, I'm going to make a lot of good play calls. A, a quick warm up uh, here after this. But. Just lie, taken out. You'll be fine. Yeah. I actually found the break nice. I often like to stay warm by shagging and, sorry, ball, ball retrieving. retrieving. Um, <laughs> I think you're still allowed to say it. It's just, it sounds more <laughs> awkward. <laughs> um, yeah, that's how I like to stay warm, but get get my steps in, but sometimes it's too much. Yeah, I definitely have had a experience where I ball retrieved a little too intensely and then ran out of gas in a game afterwards. Ooh, big hit there by Butuo taking out Spitzmacher. So six players for Supernova on the court, four for Dinos, but on on Dinos to throw, having more balls. I actually uh, ball retrieved earlier for your husband's team, Cannoneers. Oh. So Natalie is married to Bryce Parody. Yeah. He was he w he had some spicy moments. I call him Spicy Brycey <laughs> when he does good things on my Wednesday team with him. Ooh, Annette Moyen, my own, sorry, taking out uh, McCaffrey, but Supernova taking a couple punishing shots. They didn't no. like that very yeah. much. Brought it down to two players on Dinos versus. McCaffrey wasn't ready, though. She's still blinking a little bit. I think she got <laughs> in the face. Oh, Batuo making a very solid counter there. Yeah. They seem to be having fun. Butuo's smiling. I think I'd be a little scared if Butuo, <laughs> if Butuo was smiling against the court on me. Tanzik surviving. She's, she's uh, another player um, who started in rubber, actually. She started in ESSC, Edmonton Support and Social Club, rubber, um, and then made the transition into foam. Um, she's, I think, been really enjoying it. Her and her friend Savannah Campbell, who plays on Riot with me, um, they both played draft, mm -hmm. women's draft night, and they've been really enjoying it. So I think she's been playing um, Wednesday competitive co-ed as well. I don't yeah. recall if she's this season, but she definitely has. Yeah. I don't remember what that team is. Is it called Underdogs? Oh, uh, the, the ref is uh, they lost signaling their time. they've lost their time, but <laughs> uh, but Cuche Max is coming Cuche to coming in. <laughs> it's uh, on-site web development. He's the developer behind Dodgeball Hub. So I think he'll end with his uh, partner Megan McCaffrey yeah. on Supernova. some important web development of <laughs> turning the tablet back on. Yeah, <laughs> very important, very exciting to have on-site hosting. Um, burden on dinos to throw. <laughs> Looks like Supernova's got five balls here. Oh. Look at Clute trying to coach now that we called him out. He's back in it. Oh, oh Haley Mackey some, taken out. Yeah, some big hits there on Haley Mackey. They're not wanting to let her get another catch. Yeah, I find this side dodge uh, hard sometimes. You're not really in a catching position. Sometimes it's just the way the body wants to go. Yeah, totally. And sometimes you're just reacting. I am a proponent of a dodge that allows you to catch yeah. in case your dodge fails. It's generally Big a better idea. Big hit by Spitzmacher, taking out Buto. Mm. Not surprised. 
Erica, always a punishing uh, presence on the court. So it's Erica Spitzmacher, Taylor Campbell, and Pantanzix on the court for Dinos, and then five Supernova players. Juvenville. Oh, I thought maybe she was taken out, but nope, oh, she is taken out. There we go. <laughs> I was like, ah, I thought that was it. <laughs> Hard, Hard to, to say see. from our angle. We're pretty far away from that yeah. side of the court, but her teammates being good, honest uh, players on the side there, calling her out. Letting her know she was hit. So that's just three players now for Supernova. Oh, nice dodge there from Spitzmacher. She's so proud of herself. She made it. <laughs> she made it. <laughs> <laughs> Very proud. She, she liked dodged it on there. mini hop, and she doesn't usually jump. So I think she was really pumped there. Big hit, Spitzmacher taking out McCaffrey with a cross court. Yeah, I mean Spitzmacher is definitely a player I like to try and get out before she takes me out. Yeah. It's oh, oh another yeah, couple taking out big two, hits Cam there. and uh, Erica taking out two there. Um, they both got some pretty good throws. I do. It's funny because I, I mentioned earlier Spitzmacher just here to play, doesn't really care <laughs> if she goes to nationals, but. I mean, she's also a very competitive person. <laughs> yes, she is. Once she's on the court, she def definitely likes to perform yeah. well. Um, just Lou left here for Supernova. She's a pretty Ooh. strong blocker, so. Just two balls here for Dinos, but Spitzmarker's like, I'm throwing. Four minutes left. I mean, you might as well try and make it a quicker game, but if I'm Brenda Lou, mm. I am trying my best to survive as long as possible, play this, like, yep. play it slow. Run out the clock. Four minutes left here. Just shy of Erica's toes. Bouncing in front of her. Pam makes that dodge. And Erica. Oh. Trying to punish Brenda Lou. Trying to get the counter rush there, but doesn't quite connect. I don't know. Maybe, uh, yeah, we were saying everyone, everyone thought maybe Erica thought she hit her. But. Oh, it didn't look close from this angle, but. Yeah. <laughs> Yvonne sure hit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She's making a connection there, there with the ball over. retriever, but. <laughs> Yeah, this is a long, uh, long little set here. Brenda Lou doing her job, yeah. playing it out, running the clock. Gee. Is she going to survive for the full three minutes left? Oh, Ooh, no. taken out there. Looks like Dinos has made Tanzix the connection and there. Tanzix and are celebrating as they should. Nice finish to that point. Yeah, I think uh, they were mentioning earlier that they they didn't get any points for a little bit, like they hadn't scored any points so maybe that was you actually maybe not you but your team aurora mm -hmm. maybe it was dinos then in the one of their first uh the first couple of games they hadn't scored any points so i think these little wins you take them yeah i mean especially for a new team but uh it's good to kind of focus on the positives and what you can build on and yeah. keep improving for future tournaments also sorry for thinking it was you. I feel like it was one of those tournaments that, or every tournament is like, you just talk to so many people, little conversation snippets here and there, and then you're yeah, like, it's hard to remember that who you that talk I was to. talking to? Uh, but always good conversations and always very lovely people. Erica oh, Spitzmacher yeah, taking nice toe with another passport. Toe. Channeling her inner Kyle Brisebois mm -hmm. with those cross courts. Yes, he was. He had such a quick release. He was so good at those cross courts. That yeah, I think Mint has really been missing him today out there on the court. Yeah, yeah, definitely a, a hard loss for their team for sure, and the community in general. Absolutely, and I think such a different mindset for them this weekend. I think when the pop up, but I think everyone is just trying to stay alive there. I get it. Sometimes it's not worth going for those when you're putting yourself in a bad situation. Yeah, especially if it's first. not in a, a particularly good position to catch. Sometimes it's better to just save yourself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, absolutely, though, you will see oh. teams like Rack Attack go for those pop-ups. And everyone else on that court with a ball is protecting those players going for those. So that's kind of the difference sometimes. 
So we have Jess Lai and Erica Spitzmacher left on the court against five Supernova players. We have Amy Chu, Jasmine Linford, oh, who's just taken out, Jennifer Chung, Melissa Cheng, and Hope Juvenile. Some strong arms on that side still, especially in Hope. Trying to get to sudden death here, some quick throws. Nobody's taken out, so 2v4. Dino's up against uh, Supernova. Looks like their ball retriever, Aaron, was just pinching Erica, so. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get her, get her focus ready. We are starting this no blocking period. Jess Lai looking for confirmation on whether she was hit out. Desiree Goyette giving that to her. So it's just Erica now versus four. Oh, big Amy catch Chu there by that catch. And this game is over. 7-2 for Supernova. All right. Well, it was great commentating, and I have got to go warm up. So I'm running away. Hi, <laughs> Natalie. Good luck. I hope, uh, yeah, take down. Yvonne's right in front of you. Look at her. Just take her down, you know? Just make a catch. Yeah. Oh, catch out oh, Betty Mack. Yeah, I'm going to request that she gives me a nice throw. Okay, cool. Thank you.
All right, we got five minutes left here. Rack Attack versus Aurora. Score is tied 3-3. Commentary just joining here. This is an exciting match. Aurora just caught four straight balls to end that previous point and tie the game up here. Kim Fair dodging on the left wing. Four balls for Aurora. A big side note here. Rack Attack is without loss. Currently without day. loss. You are correct. Let's see if Aurora can keep the pressure on here. So the, the tie-up kind of makes things interesting in the, like, for That's a story great line. trade. Kim Fair for Amanda Sugden there. And it's not necessarily Aurora playing defensive during this last while, uh, but they're playing to the game of rack attack, which is usually not a lot of people tend to do. Absolutely, Aurora has shown a lot of confidence in this game. And another hit there on Trina Tran. So close to the microphone that you heard the boom. It's literally like five feet away. I love that sound. <laughs> and even the, the flick sound when they release the ball from the fingertips. Releases. Oh, oh, it's a great I love that sound. sound so much. All right, rack attack here. Three players, four balls. Send two at Desiree Goyette on the side, and she dodges it. Rack Attack is still the number one team in the province. Rack Attack is the reigning provincial champion for the last three years in Alberta. Uh, it's been a while since they have lost you mean a last three championships, not necessarily years, because that's you know, true. There was, there, a there was the year pandemic there, yeah. year that got skipped, but yeah. Yeah. That trophy has a lot of rack attack on there. So technically four years. <laughs> it has been four years. <laughs> I can't speak to their record at the previous provincials. I don't know if they uh, went without a loss, but they have been a very difficult team to beat in Alberta for many years now. There's not a lot of places in other provinces where you don't see the top team not going like full on winning every match they play too which if Rack Attack wins this, that's just another one. However, this year, that's a little bit different because I believe Ontario had at least one loss for the top team, BC. Yeah, it's really nice seeing a lot of parity. The competition yeah. level just keeps going up. Oh, great catch there at the end to finish out the map, or out that point, I suppose. 4-3 now for Rack Attack. Got at least one more point here before that. It's a well-deserved cheer as well because if that went the other way, that's... Uh, yeah, that That's have, panic mode that right there. I would have there. brought it right down to 1v1, but here we go. 4-3 uh, rack attack. Let's see if Aurora can match him here again. Sharon misses off the hop. Four balls for Aurora. Six on six dodgeball here. Lots of pumps from Aurora. No hits there. Four balls now on the return for rack attack. Yeah, there was no way that they could have even went for that counter because that way pump too many fake. pump fakes oh yeah it's great it's scary we got five balls now for rack attack let's see if they send a few here just one Devon share missing oh I expected a fake and <laughs> that ball went flying <laughs> She sent that one. Yeah. All right. Six players for Rack Attack, so they still have to throw here. They send, they get two hits. Ooh. That'll make things uh, easier for Rack Attack right there. Except for the fact that Aurora will start to play defensively and be harder to hit. Oh, just skimming Kim Fair there on the out. Christy White on the right wing, one of the best Catchers in Edmonton. Let's see if she can turn things around with a big catch here. Who would you see it say is the best catcher in Calgary? That's difficult to say. I don't have a great scope on the catchers in Calgary. Huge hits there. Wow, yeah. Oh, what a catch to end the point there. And they will be going into no blocking, it looks like, here now. We'll see if they do one more rush. They might do one more rush here. Aurora with a slim chance to get a point. Usually the go-to is 30 seconds or less. Yeah. But it's always fun to watch people run. Although there's no balls on the oh. other side. Oh. 
and a delay there. That might have taken all of Aurora's opportunity to yeah. potentially tie it here, but let's see what they can do. 30 seconds left until no blocking. No, that would have been tough to get a point within a minute, though, too, if you think about it. You have to play really fast and get really lucky. Yeah, even the refs still call it sudden death, too. Yeah. yeah. We're never going to get away from that term. That's OK. Oh, big catch by Desiree there. And Cher getting the hit on Wanziak to end the time will be going into no block. So automatically, this means rack attack uh, was lossless this entire yeah, so Tournament. regardless of the, the result of this last point here, Rack Attack will go undefeated in round robin here and be the one seed for playoffs tomorrow. Which they're a great team, but that's still a very impressive feat. Ooh. Wall trail there by Caitlin Martin. And the third one finally yeah. takes out Avon Cher. Ooh. Well, yeah, it takes kinda, one to the head on yeah. that one. Just dodged down, didn't get down fast enough. She's still got a smile on her face, though. We appreciate that. Whoa! Oh, Could no. not hold on to it. Didn't Almost have, stuck to her. Yeah. She even was aware she didn't have control. She had three catches in the point right before we came on commentary. Couldn't quite hang on to that one. That was a great point. They haven't won a point since, but that doesn't show how good they've been playing this entire match. Yeah, they're going to be happy with this result. They played really well here. Ooh. Oh, Janko can't hang on to it at the end. That's okay. Hugs all around. Great match. Rack attack takes the 6 3. Yep. And even though we don't fully have standings uh, readily available, there has to be, there is some auditing being done. We do know that starting tomorrow morning, uh, 745 local, 645 Pacific, 945 Eastern, quarterfinals. Men's quarterfinals is the first match. Men's quarterfinals. Is that you? Is that going to be you? You don't know yet, probably. It could be my team. Yeah, I think uh, a good portion of the men's teams. Well, there's eight teams, so most of the quarterfinals happen at that 7.45 a.m. local time. Uh, it's an early one, so you got to have your team up and ready to go. Yeah. All right. Do you want to do the sign-off? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, you do the sign-off. I how it's did done. not get it. Show you how it's done? Yeah. Wow, okay. That's uh, a lot of pressure. Uh, no, you did. See you tomorrow, everybody. All right. Well, this <laughs> is uh, Paul Laking from Dodgeball Alberta signing off, and we will see you tomorrow for the playoffs. Have a good night, everybody.